Okay, yellow still does have one. No stair all downstairs. Okay, I don't give the old blue cubes. That's that's a double kill right there. That's a good one. Yep, yep. finds the double. One flush, one knock, two v three now. Three v two, I should say, in favor of Venia. They know they're downstairs again. Look at this, Keanu pushing down the stairs now, realizing, great, I have the position. Oh, that's a good flash. They've got to be wide up for that one. Yep, not seeing anything. At least, at least no, oh. he's got his teammate. <laughs> no, Stewie. <laughs> Okay, are they gonna pull back here as well? Yeah, In they between are. all of them? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a risk you have to take sometimes. Oh no, oh. it's on fire as well! Seiko, flash is thrown in. He can't even say, he can't see anything. As I say that, he does find one, but immediately traded and shift W. Oh, let's hold that for a second. Here comes Beamy full speed forward. Comes a rowing oh. page, ready. Take it oh, the DBS. the DBS fights the double. I'm not even sure if that was the one shot of what it was, but so much damage being done. And this helps to be a veneer push. Yes, you can see the pushing over the hillside instantly. They're here. They're ready to take the fight. And oh my lord, the heroic needs to deal with things fast if they want to be ready for the fight to be I just died. To guns, uh, to, 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 to explosions and flames. In the meantime, well, we said it. Here comes last hands. They knew the spot was open, but not for much longer because here comes Enterprise. Oh. They pulled up at the exact same time. And as a two man team, they take down last hands. Spots Flammy as well. Remember, he does not have a vest on right now. My lord, Spots him close, but Flammy is there to secure it. And despite the fact they're actually putting up on this full speed forward, they come. Oh. Philip does some damage done. They get the first two down instantly. It is trying to wrap around. That's so much damage done, and they're already. Situation. You have two nades and a Molly's LP. This is when you throw them. You oh. won't have time to do it later. Unfortunately, he doesn't get it off. Godzilla again. Skate in this position. If they can hold off having oh. to make this rotation, they're going to be sitting super tight. Dead breaks now. Those go down. He's going to get flushed as well. Yanni and Grenis. You saw the vehicles on fire. You might want to get away from it. We'll be able to throw it on the other side, but there you have Skate waiting for you. They are in a tough position out here in the open. Okay, okay. I see you. I see you. And no, not gonna happen. Sakura <laughs> takes him down. In these type of situations, similar to some of the other good edge teams like Navi, like Virtus Pro, they will start grabbing. They will start trying to clear out sides early on to take more control. Beamy in a solid position to get killed, but he's gonna go down. Axeti finds him. I thought Beamy had killed for days up there, but okay. The skate is not in a hurry to third party this whatsoever. Beamy finds one more there in a perfect position here. Oh. T-Bone finds the second. One more left to be taken down and no casualty is going the way of Heroic. But you can see now that they are all getting getting up here trying to take this fight. They know that they want to take out Pat. They don't want to have him close to them. Alice finds one. Luke finds another one. Ooh. No. If only what? the outsides with one HP, what can he do? Nothing. For Misa, that is huge. Molly's going forward, yeah. but Caleb is there with the Groza doing damage. T-Bone had his oh, own Molly. No. Unfortunately, hitting team, so they're going to be taking damage. Correction will fall. Let's go rowing out of the equation. Now, all is left for Caleb to win, but not going to happen. Well, a little bit of rotations coming in. People still trying to find himself a good spot. Three Fox is getting pulled up by pull up here. Gets the first knock here on Benz to find a second one as well. Oh, the pull up is full on commenced. Unfortunately, it's not really working the way they wanted to. It's still inside, and they yeah. try to hold that down for the other team. <gasps> oh, oh, get out of the one. car and die oh. trying. Oh my lord, Impulse. They're all just burning alive. It's there a is big barbecue. No place for you here. Let's see. Comes around the corner, somehow finds one, but already a lot of damage done, and that's GG. On that uh, hillside. Dolphins are getting shot at while they're in vehicles. Gangs are getting <laughs> away from here. Here comes the second. Oh, no, no, the vehicle no, 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 instantly. Trying to back off, but they weren't really near anywhere to back off towards. Oh, oh, no, hello, buddy. There really is not a whole lot they can do to help. Oh, oh, oh hello, no. Oh, <laughs> One of these pull ups. <laughs> okay, so we've misunderstood the concept of pull up. Stop there, stop. stop. No, going too it's far. About <laughs> you could have stopped inside the oh. circle. Why? Why? I... Now is when they start tossing everything forward. Don't separate yourself. I even stole behind the tree that didn't spot him. They push the tree. Oh. Trailers gets one, gets two. You do not have HP to tank flu here and pull up. Will.
PUBG players from Europe West, Europe East and Middle East and Africa are heading back to the battlegrounds to show off their skills and to define a new champion. This is PUBG Continental Series 5. Let's see how it works. The tournament kicked off in early August with open qualifiers across the three regions. Europe's top challengers battled through tough qualifier rounds, each hoping to earn their places in the next phase of the competition. The best 15 teams from each open qualifier progress to their respective regional playoff events. Here, they're joined by nine squads invited to the stage directly. These 24 teams will be split into three groups of eight before competing together across three tournament days. The top three teams from each regional playoff, that's nine teams in total, advance to the PCS5 Europe Grand Finals. Awaiting them there are seven of the region's best squads, bringing this elite lobby to 16 rosters. The Grand Finals takes place across three weeks, starting September 18th, with matches played on Saturdays and Sundays. Just like PCS4, in PUBG Continental Series 5, the team with the most prize money at the end of the tournament will be crowned champion. Squads earn funds based on weekly leaderboards. The teams with the most chicken dinners each week place higher in the standings, with Thai's teams separated by their total kill points. Each week, teams will earn a share of the weekly prize money on offer. This amount increases as the event goes on. $60,000 for week one, $70,000 for week two, $100,000 for week three. In addition, $20,000 in special prizes will be awarded at the end of the tournament, bringing the total prize money to $250,000. So that's PCS5 in a nutshell. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the battlegrounds. Get ready for PUBG Continental Series 5. After fighting through open qualifiers, 15 of the toughest challengers from the Middle East and Africa, Europe West and Europe East meet nine invited squads in high-octane regional playoffs. There, rosters will battle it out for a chance to compete in the PC S5 Europe Grand Finals, where they can take their shot at the $250,000 prize pool. And that's not all. PCS5 is the last chance to earn those all-important PGC points, and the Grand Finals winner will be invited to the PUBG Global Championship directly. The Grand Finals action takes place every weekend from September 18th to October 3rd. Watch the stream and support your favorite team at PUBG Continental Series 5. We'll see you on the battlegrounds. Welcome everyone to the final day of the PCS5 Europe West Regional Playoffs. I'm Toby, joined by Frost, and we have one hell of an exciting six matches coming your way today. If yesterday and the day before is anything to go by whatsoever. Frost, are you excited for today's matches? I'm super excited. I mean, if anything I've shown the past two days is that anything could happen in these games. I'm not just talking about circles. I'm talking about people can do anything and... Some teams, they come, they go away with some stuff that they should not get away with. But dude, that is just how PUBG goes sometimes. That is indeed how PUBG goes. I mean, it's it, it's been a wild last two days. We've seen both the circles being absurd, but we've also seen teams just do crazy uh, scent pull up on one another in situations where we didn't think it was going to happen at all. We have these moments where we think it's quiet, we think it's calm, we kind of anticipate the action to come one circle later, and out of nowhere, three teams are on top of each other. 
I feel like that that's like what's happening every game more or less. We always had this kind of magnet place where we're going to have a few teams fighting in it. Mm. Sometimes it's early, sometimes it's late, and we're going to have ourselves a little, you know, nice little graveyard in terms of both vehicles and bodies. <laughs> exactly. Well, we have six matches to go. Let's take a look at the standings and see exactly where we sit coming into the final few. Only two teams so far has managed to get double wins. I knew, I know I kind of messed it up on Skate yesterday, but both the winning team so far of skate and last dance got their wins back to back so mm. i mean you said it for us yesterday who's going to be today's back to back winning team i'm not sure but if stats are anything to go by the fact that entropic has had so many top three placements you'd kind of have to put your money there it is seven out of nine games that they played that they've it, gone top it's three absurd. And their worst game is a sixth place with six kills. But you also got to remember, the last dance, they're playing six games here today. Mm -hmm. While Skate and Tropic, Heroic, all these teams are just playing three games. So, last dance right now, they are standing there pretty tall, pretty good on the top there. But they yeah. have still control over the whole situation, which is not the same fact for a lot of these teams. They are not playing all of the games. So it's going to be hard. Imagine just playing three games. You might get yourself a win, getting yourself two wins. But then you get a, a nail biter in front of you there, sitting there for three games, not knowing what's going to happen. Exactly. If you finish it, they had two wins. That's, uh, I mean, while while that's, of course, impressive, given the fact that you only played 12 of 18 games, you're still in a situation where a team like Entropic has so many kills that, I mean, <laughs> if you aren't sitting mm. in or around the 50 kill margin, as we see right now with Skate, I'm not sure those two wins are going to be enough. I mean, we said last dance, they get to play six more games. Can they grab themselves one? I don't know. I mean, I talked to them earlier. They, they, they seem confident in being able to do so. But then we have Shift W as well, another mm -hmm. team who get to play six games today. And as you can see here, three Arangles followed by three Miramas. I mean, we, we've we seen Shift W once they're feeling it, once they're on fire, once Chris gets things going, they can be as, as unstoppable as anyone. Yeah, yesterday they had three games. They won the first one and the mm -hmm. last one, they got themselves a fourth place with 12 kills. That just shows you how much on fire they are. They had a little bit of a slow start to first day, but now coming in today with six games, I believe that they're going to get the momentum going. You could see in the player camps yesterday how fired up they were, yeah. just like how hyped they were, just get, wiping out a team like Apex on uh, on Erangel by Milta Power, and then they just kept on going. Mm, exactly. Another team who's had some incra in crazy, that's crazy and incredible in one word now, apparently, but some incredible performances, but still aren't all the way up there in the top is Heroic, a team mm. we've seen literally take fights to everybody, I feel like, in this lineup so far, and still they are they're they're falling short of those wins needed in order to get up to the top they do have one they do have one lockdown already but they still need i want to say at least one more but we'll probably love to have two more in order to guarantee their spot and going through and uh, that's them needing to win some three games pretty pretty big order to ask for yeah and still like anything's possible right even the teams that doesn't have a win yet we've seen yeah. it back to back every day so far and today i mean we might even see our free wins from one team. Who knows? Everything is uh, not written yet. It is still to be written here tonight mm. with the six games we have. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, more so than ever, these most chickens matches or the, the MC rule format has shown us teams we didn't expect a whole lot from going out and get wins and, and just fly their way up the leaderboards. But let's not wait any further. Let's hop straight in to game number one. Plane is in the air. It seems to me like it's a pretty diagonal one. So it should be uh, pretty decent for everybody to go exactly where it won. Okay, so a little further west than east. But uh, of course, you know, for us, I mean, if there's one thing that's dangerous, it's not only the players, but so far it's been the circles too. <laughs> yeah, it could literally go anywhere. And basically, all of the first circles have almost always had a lot of water in them, which means that we're cutting out a lot of the playable areas straight away. And we had some really rough ones. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see what's going to happen on, uh, mm. on the upcoming one here. And by the look of this one, I mean, anything is possible. And you also, of course, if we have a more of a northern circle or towards the center northern, you're going to have the river cutting off as well. And that is also a big hurdle for a lot of teams. Usually, you see a lot of teams opt to go for the north side because it's so much easier to crash towards the south side with Rossock and everything and just get there late if needed. Exactly. I am getting word that uh, Vis are playing with three, not four players. It's only it should only be for the first game. 
But still, of course, I mean, when you don't have that many games left to play, you would, if anything, want to be uh, full in numbers. Why they're only playing a three, I'm not quite sure, but just a, a kind info to the, show you guys. You can see Super Jack and the gang up North George getting mm. themselves looted up. Only three to kick things off. And oh, no, oh, Greg. And, three wait, teams there's three here. teams contesting the same vehicle spawns. <gasps> you got a Greg here? It's on a knee. I got a I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what he's got, but enough for the two other teams to uh, to want to get away. And now Entropic is here as well. Oh. Everybody Karks. wanting a piece of this same action. Karch with the VSS. Oh, that would have been hilarious, but nope, not going to happen. Karch will go back in cover, continue his loot, and is wait. Oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> they don't even have weapons yet. They don't have guns, and they're still chasing each other. Godzilla, where are you going? You don't have a gun, mate. Go somewhere else. The thing is, the last task, of course, they, they're losing a little bit of time doing this. But at the same time, you got to remember, they have two wins. They're sitting on the top of the leaderboard. They're playing six games here today. They can do these kind of stuff if they have a team that is in their way that might be a nuisance later. They might just screw a little bit with them right now. I mean, I, I, I know... I, this has probably, probably only been for fun, this was said earlier, but I had a talk with Mum when we were playing earlier, mm. and uh, he did say, I asked him kind of how many wins are we getting today, he said, we're getting one win, and then we're hot dropping in Tropic all day, because we don't want them going through. I was oh, like, yeah. you know what, I mean, that's <laughs> it, it, kind of rude, but that's a strategy, I mean, you're if there's a chance for you to prevent a... Uh, arguably one of the most con I mean, uh, honestly, despite not being in first place, the most consistent team in this lobby, it, it, if you can prevent them going through while having secured your own spot, it, there's a pretty solid strategy in doing so. Uh, it's not just in this lobby, right? If you look at the PGC points, Entropy is a team that is currently sitting in sixth place on our overall PGC points mm -hmm. on the EU side. And the thing is, though, if you start doing that, you're creating enemies for life here. Yeah, that would be uh, that, that 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 would be pretty pretty insane. I know a couple of players here on the Entropic roster who for sure would not be happy with it. But we'll see. Of course, that's all theory crafting. It does mm. require that uh, Last Dance do secure themselves one more win because while they do have two wins already, they aren't that high up in kills. And yes, okay, of course they do still have uh, they do still have six games to play, but they uh, but they're uh, quote unquote only. At um, at 38 kills, and there are a few teams sitting behind them, both heroic and entropic, uh, and skate for that sake, who have quite a bit more already. So uh, hopefully, hopefully they can get some good games going because the majority, I mean the very big majority of their kills came on those two wins they had. The remainder of the games weren't that killy, but they had one sixth place with seven kills. Other than that, we've been in three or below. So um, so hopefully. Hopefully they'll get uh, some kills added to uh, to their hopeful wins coming in today. If you look at the stats here for Entropic, uh, let's go ahead and say that Nalip is a key player, sort of a key player here for the team. A lot of damage, a lot of knocks, a lot of kills. Jeez. But of course, it's a team effort overall to get to those kind of places. And even though you see someone like with QBE with uh, a little bit less kills and damage, mm. it comes down to not just that uh, having kills and damage, but also how you're setting people up for taking mm. those kind of fights and stuff. Sometimes you have someone like QBE maybe sacrifice himself to be, uh, make sure that Nailu could get into further on into the next circle and be able to play the game from there. It's, uh, I'm already now starting to theory craft on, on in terms of PGC points because if we come into a final match where it becomes clear that a team like Heroic can't qualify in top three for whatever the reason. Mm. And, 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 and they have a chance to prevent Entropic from qualifying because where they're sitting right now in the PGC points, if they know they're out, Entropic is a team they don't want to have surpassed them in PGC points. So yeah. they might say, we're not like, we, we, we will keep you on this sinking ship of not qualifying uh, because we don't want you to take our spot for PGC. That could be a very, very, I don't know, again, very uh, conspicuous, but still a worthwhile strategy for them to try and go for. Well, it could be a thing. Actually, no, it can't be a thing. I'm sorry to destroy your dreams here. <laughs> but I just realized something. Entropic's playing the first three games, right? And then Heroic is playing oh, yeah, the last three Oh, yeah, they're not playing the too. final three. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep, yep, never mind. Never mind. They're not in the same group. Toby, good night. Thanks, uh, thanks all for but... tuning in. I'll see you tomorrow.
But you know, I like the I like the idea of it though, because as you're saying, Heroic is sitting on 275 PGC points, while Entropic is sitting on 250. So it's a big battle between those two teams. Exactly. Whoever's gonna make is probably gonna be above <laughs> the other one after PCS. But they won't be playing against each other today. So completely no. <laughs> dead theory crafting. <laughs> Once again, Toby says something that he thinks sounds smart, and then for us comes in and says, "Nah, Toby, you, 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 you're not right, mate." And that's why I have Frost here. That's why I have Frost here. The, the corrector of uh, of bad facts. That's um, it's it's it, 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 that's. That's why we function well together, bros. I like it. <laughs> In the meantime, Circle is, uh, well, honestly, as center as can be yeah. on Mir on a wrangle. And, and everyone, to some extent, trying to center up. But we have, of course, Potato, dead center. And, and they, there can only really be so many teams up here early game. And that's one of the things, right? If you have Potato being center right now, as we can see the Circle, we're looking on, on the map stream, of course. Seeing that with this kind of circle, you don't need to go like center straight away. Sure, some teams like to play from the center, just hold down a compound, just double book you on that. We're gonna get every circle, but that's not always gonna happen. Well, it's worth grabbing. Some teams so far. We'll see if uh, if if anyone can catch all nine. Or oh, they're chasing. Have to wait. Okay, for Rafik. They're not. They're not letting Last Dance get away from this. Karx finds do it. That's one down, but that's in the other direction. That's kind of unfortunate. They were the ones chasing, and now they're the ones getting <laughs> shot at. So maybe back off here. Seems to me like Last Dance is coming for it. And and it, you might be right. I mean, Last Dance, they seem to be playing a little bit of a, a Joker-style PUBG right now. Not, kind of careless. And, we'll, you know, we'll take the fight if you want to fight us. Maybe the uh, the idea of them having six games to play today is, is uh, giving them a little sense of extra confidence. I, I really hope so, because when you... Have playing a little bit more careless like that you don't really care too much about it you're feeling really comfortable feeling good that's when you play the best you have no pressure on you and that's kind of what it looks like from what last dance is doing right now driving around like that and we saw him in the stars wall chasing a little bit having a little bit of fun that's gonna give a good morale boost to the whole team mm. For sure. Well, I'm still a minute and a half out of the new circle popping and everyone really except for Shift W already inside the circle. Again, it was a very, very center one, as you can see. So everyone with a pretty, uh, pretty straightforward path into it. We do have some teams splitting out towards the west. We have Yikes on a kind of north to southeast split from... Uh, from, from Everest down towards Pachinki. And then on the south side, we have Wub Trucks, a team who has had some really good games, but they've kind of been overshadowed by the not-so-good matches they've had. They're in a pretty wide split here as well, in 2-1-1 split. And should this circuit go south, I mean, they pretty much get to pick and choose exactly where they want to play from. Yeah, that is true. Also, actually, one thing that I just uh, remember is that the last dance, they won their two games on Miramar. And we saw yesterday when they played Erangel, it wasn't their best of games. Uh, mm. So perhaps being a little bit stronger on Miramar, you're going to have those three games towards the end. It, if you can make something happen in the first three games here, get yourself a few more kills, that's going to give them a lot of confidence coming into uh, Miramar later on. Oh, yeah. No doubt about it. We'll see. Shift W slowly making their approach to the circle. Mansion being driven past by Mika and Kilia Kai. Brax now entering... The circle as well, trying to scout for the forward. Again, keep in mind, they're coming in here with absolutely no info. And the thing is, I mean, once we have these circles where the center is somewhat open, being potato this time around, you can't really be too certain because there will sometimes be teams that do these 2-1-2 splits. Oh, 2-1-2. Oh, 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 two, two. Yes, we have five players now. 1-1-2 uh, <laughs> one, one, splits out in the open, and that's where you can really get called off. And circle, well, it was center before. It's going to center up again. We see Havoc, of course, uh, sitting down there. Pretty comfortable in the center right now. It looks like they're going to opt to take both sides of the road there, though. Make sure they have full control over the whole compound. But they might want to be careful because that's one of the compounds that you can easily get crashed on either side and don't want to get caught out and uh, get a third party easily there. Yeah, that will be uh, would be suboptimal to get pulled up on phase two. But then again, I mean, we've seen yesterday, at least on Miramar, it was uh, phase two was the pull up phase. So who knows? Yeah. Maybe, maybe we'll see more crazy shenanigans to follow this time around. And Tropic, well, they're playing it slow. They haven't really been in a hurry the other games either to try and full speed it center. So it makes sense that they're taking their time down here in the southeast side. In the meantime, this only three players keep that in mind, trying to find somewhere 
Let's play in the middle, going up towards the dog houses. Should be able to have safe passage getting there. We don't really have anyone with Kovalevi leaving. We don't really have anyone playing inside of uh, apps. But let's hold that down oh. for a second. Don't shoot, please. Getting pulled up on here. High shift W, two down. Hardy Beetle, solid double coming in there. But still more for him to find. Oh, to find Smuka. So only one player left alive. See here, kill your guy behind the vehicle. Tax coming in, but he's all alone here. Let's see what Killian Kai can do. He's uh, up against two players here from Don't Shoot, please. Does he find auto? He tags him up a little bit, but he's tagged up as well. He does know about Feature. Tags him up as well. That's some good tags. But he's down to one HP right now, and Feature is going to go around him. Is he aware? There's no way he gets that first hit off. He does? Oh, my he lord. He does. Finds the first. Oh, Feature still prone on the other side. Flashbang's thrown forward. Does that blind him? It might. Oh, Ooh. my lord. Kill you, Kai. With the double, they stay alive. And not only that, he gets to get teammates back up alive as well. I thought that had Don't Shoot Please written all over it when Beetle got the double. But Kill you, Kai says no. You said it yourself. Phase two. That's the pull up phase. And that's I guess what we so. saw there. I guess so. I mean, Shift L, you're playing it so slow on the edge, but they run in, so don't shoot. And again, I mean, their their position looked pretty decent. They were ready and waiting for it. They get the double, but uh, the 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 power of Kilikai was too much for them to handle. Atomic now, in the meantime, spotted the Dolphins up above. Ooh, Ooh. nice spray, Macken. Gets the first one oh. down, getting shot at from below now, too, though. Oh, did he get to throw that, Nate? I'm not sure if he... Landed on himself and nope, just in hand. Okay, so uh, no suicide with the nade there. Atomic is knocked though, and I'm not sure because Lipsy is actually making a run for it here. Mackinac got stolen by physics actually, and uh, it looks like Atomical is gonna get revived here. But they gotta be careful. Forafic Farkas on the east side of uh, Entropy right now, and it looks like they're trying to push in because they heard the shots, they saw the knocks, and they want to get involved in into this fight as well. That is some nine billion IQ car parking. Just gonna say, it's uh, the fact you can then prone and look underneath the car. Pretty, uh, pretty, pretty good strats here. Not, uh, not expecting too many opponents to be prepared for that one. We'll see. Should fights erupt in that area of the map? And Tropic now again playing very slow out east, making their way on. And they know, they know with the last circle being centered on, uh, on Potato, and also of course having heard shots that oh, that people will be coming really that centered. way. And once again, centering up, the donuts keep arriving and. Well, I mean, everything's pretty much taken already in terms of compounds. So you would have to expect fights to erupt now. Super Jack goes out, and this is now down to two players. Remember, they only started with three players in this game. And here comes Shift W. And doesn't look like Strahd is going to connect any shots here. Are they just going to pass by? I mean, they might, but where do they go from here? It's uh, it's pretty open. Do they go for the granny? I think they might the just full speed it to the one story. We'll see. Free kill finds Kendrick. So uh, one player gone down from Enterprise as they try and run further forward. It's a really solid position to be in circle. Still is a bit more southern than where you prefer this one to be. Deadbreaks finds one as well. Does he get the second? No. Luke over the top finds one in return. Solid trade coming in. They don't really have a threat on the north side, but Rice and Win are over by the school, and they're doing everything they can to both teams, really, to prevent them from having this fight. And you can see that Tixi is alone over here, while Jan is a little bit further behind and trying to uh, give some cover, but... Is Tixie going to be able to do anything here? You can see that Yikes has already recovered almost. They have still one more uh, five. <gasps> Tixie goes down. Oh, to Havoc. That's from us. Yep, that's from inside the compound as well. Havoc finds him. Now Yanni has to bail. Three wheel Dasha. Half HP on him. Half HP on the Khan. Not up to And here comes oh. Last Dance. They're just sending it. And there's the position we were just talking about. Duffy finds the first one. Can't find Godrilla. He's going to go down after. Let's see if Gaxi has something to say about this four man push. Finds Godrilla instantly. So two players down. Oh, I don't think you have time oh. to go for that one. Oh, the underhand Molly straight up. And nope. You are down. But look at this. Above above. This with the Nate. Finds the flush on one. The knock on Karx as well. They might be making a play for this one, despite the fact that they're only two players alive. Those ones are not going to reach, but yeah, looking at it, I don't I don't think they're going to be able to push this. It's way too open. You got to run in the open. You're going to get shot by a rise and win. And they know about it. They don't want to push it. They wanted to see if they could do anything with those Molotovs, but they did not reach all the way. Nope. Entropy now trying to stand tall on top. Atomical did get back alive, so they are up as four. 
as Entropic reach the foothills here in Denver. Well, they've heard they've heard people, and they're going, nope. <laughs> we do not want to fight people on the edge of the circle right now. We have way too much at risk here. Let's uh, get further in before we take more fights. Only 18 kills in total so far. They need a real good day in order to try and qualify. Yeah, taking the western side there, we can see that uh, Lipsia also took the one store, the granny that we were talking about earlier. Shift W didn't go for it, so Entropy only got three plays up there on Potato, and they are opting to take the western side, which is not too bad. It's a little bit easier to hold, and uh, knowing that you're not going to get pushed uh, from uh, below and so on, you can have more control from there, basically. Oh, Circle goes Ooh. back down towards Potato, forcing pretty much everyone out into the open. We only have two compounds left. That's where Team and Havix positions. Everything else, really, is uh, out into the open. And unless if we, we, we consider the one building by Entropic and, uh, and Entropy a, a compound. I, I think we did the, like, I think we checked it once on the uh directory i think in order to be a compound you need to have a wall all the way around the buildings and i don't think they have there's just a bit of a wood fence but then what qualifies as wall i'm not sure <laughs> park a few vehicles outside and you got yourself yeah, a compound. True, but maybe that's the wall maybe that's the wall <laughs> i think i think we uh we, we looked it up once trying to find out what actually makes a compound and i'm pretty sure it's the wall the wall mm. around the buildings makes it the compound let's see now black trying to make a run forward they if they you know see if they pull up on this you might have a play to make because there's only two entropy players down here. There aren't a wide two-way split right now with the two of them opting to go for the building. Brax and Kilia kind in the meantime sitting below, not really wanting a piece of this action, but they might not be able to avoid it because they're coming full speed forward straight towards them. Kilia Kai able to find one, jumps into the car, jumps out on the other side, but can't find the connection on number two. Him and able to take him down. Oh my lord, nice moves though. Smart play on his part, Brax. Now, solo player left alive for Shift W. They do have four kills already, so that's something. But still, not what they would have wanted for. Falling here in 13th place. Shout out Brexit. He wanted to push up there to go for Black, but he got a little bit distracted by Atomic. But right now, looks like uh, Black is still keep on fighting here now against Entropy. So team after team, right now, one guy knocked. But they're looking solid in this one. Atomic, last one up here for Entropy now. Is he going to be able to do anything? That is a big question. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one before against Black Heeman. Massive impact on that fight there. Took down two. And also, of course, took down Kildika on the other side of things. They get all four players back up. And I'm a little yeah, a little curious as to why Entropy opted to make that split. I'm not sure if they initially wanted all four to go down the hill. But with this being said, they'd have to think that either Hilltop or the Granny was going to be contested. Either way... They, uh, they pay the price, that's for sure. Oh, don't run towards the nade, Senex. Get away from oh. there. I have no idea how much damage he did. Okay, half okay. damage. Still able to prone down again. And they know they have opponents right outside. They want to flush them too. Yeah. You can see free kill is on the other side of the road as well. He's going to try to find any angles he can. But meanwhile, Senex should be able to get Luke uh, back up on his feet there. Because they, they're going to hear if they try to push out from the um, building itself towards them. Going forward, just a little off, unfortunately. Dix knows exactly where he is, but the issue for for Yikes right now is that Luke is sitting on his own on the other side, and well, he needs all the help he can get here because he's essentially in a 1v4 because Dix's uh, uh, free kills position doesn't really allow for him to help out a whole lot. That's that Molly is going to be good. Yep. Backed up, burning. He's going to be down to real low HP. He should be able to survive this one. Yes, he does, but Shirtlight knows that he's low. Okay, let's push her off. Does he even go into the smoke? No, he doesn't, but gets <gasps> him down, but physics! Physics! From the other side, gets him down in return. So despite a courageous effort, having actually losing a player on this. They did manage to wipe out, yikes. But the big question is, are they going to be able to get Crypto Light back up, though? Looks like that five is uh, currently fighting a little bit against uh, the last dance as well. The smokes are out. Looks like the, it's going to be recoverable easily here. Yeah, Circle once again going up the mountain. It truly is a uh, King of the Hill style mm. battle we're going for in Entropic. I mean, they <laughs> they weren't looking too good coming into phase two on the very, very edge on foot there for a second. But all of a sudden with two hardships going their direction, things are looking at least a little better. Mika, you want to find that knock? Elska is going to be the one to get it. Mika is there though to get to the flush confirmed. That's an, well, the first one down actually for Forafic Fark. So far, they've been holding up pretty good up there, but this is what they need to be focusing on. Right now, 
Ryzen win is the team that will be pushing from the outside of the circle that is mm. just north of them there. So they got to hold that edge. They got to hold it clear. Yeah, Ryzen uh, and win him with a, with a kind of, not a tough push per se, but a tricky one. The thing is, I mean, for a team like Last Dance, they're looking in all directions right now. Like they, they, they can't really anticipate where they're getting pushed from at this moment because people are kind of coming in from everywhere. In the meantime, Havoc do fall down, never got to leave the compound. That's good news for Last Dance, one less team for them to worry about. And look at them last dance, they're just farming right now. They're taking kill after kill, currently sitting here with six kills in this game so far now. And mm -hmm. still 28 people alive, they're in a pretty decent position, but looks like Mormon is actually going towards Farafik Fark here. He's going to try to find himself a few more kills. Yeah, I mean, we talked about them wanting kills because that's kind of what they were lacking, despite having the two wins Ooh. already. And oh my lord, they're feeling it right now. Shots on point, Mommy going for more. Is he reaching for too much? Though no, Zamo <gasps> stays alive what? and finds the third as oh. well. I did not see him winning that peak off, but he does. Solid plays coming in. Three kills for last dance added to it all for Mommy and Ryzen win fall in seven. The last dance now currently sitting with 10 kills in this game so far. And look at it, we still have 22 plays. They're in a good position. They got three plays up. They are feeling comfortable. God really got an arm. I mean, can you ask for more right now? Well, I mean, you could ask that. And Tropic wasn't alive with four on the east with that much space to maneuver around because that's got to be at least a little scary for everyone <laughs> else on the server. We'll see if it's going to commence to anything. Oh. <laughs> Solid nade throw from Silas. We know he has the mechanics. Well, have great plays and that nade plays exactly where it had to be in order to get the knock. Rudy falls down. He wants more, though, looking down in that direction. Now, finally, Entropic forced to move, but uh, not really too far. Local Rook's approximately 20 meters out of the circle already. So, should be in a decent position. Rob Chucks as well. We saw them on the south side earlier. Now, making a push over towards where team. They have Norway kind of helping out on top here. But the uh, most optimal situation would be for, for him to kind of look the other way because they're already dealing with a full four man team coming towards them. Yeah, and Norway is doing the only work he needs to do oh, right now. Just tag him up a little bit. Straight on the feet of Udi, full HP to zero HP even with level 3 gear. That was a picture perfect throw nade. And remember, we still have Entropic up on the hillside. Jones driving down now. They realizing they do not want a piece of this. I think he might have run into Foot, but not sure exactly what happened there. But Foot is down to low HP now as well. They have to worry about the threat from the east. And, I mean, with Black kind of uh, hovering up above, their approach to this circle for Bob Trucks just got a whole lot more difficult. Yeah, Novik... Gets tagged up. He's going to back up a little bit, but the work is done for him. He was holding off both of these teams. You can see Verpro is now going to head east towards uh, Antropic instead because they don't want to go up that hill. It's going to be so rough, especially having Weird Team just next to him as well. But the big question is, do they know about Antropic over here? Are they knowing who they're going to be running into? Because Antropic looks like they're ready for this. They know that there's a big potential team will be coming up from the south side of us, and we gotta have control over that side. We have two people, three people looking at it. I was. That's it, really tight. It was me actually that found the Jones there. So that's the first one for Vertrox to knock right now. And Entropic, they don't need to do much more. They can just hold him out. Meanwhile, Salas is still fighting against Five by himself, just picking him off one by one. Yeah, where team allowed to push a bit further forward to will get inside the circle. Now I kind of backed off, realizing it was essentially looking at two different teams at the same time. Don't want to be soloing that. Recycle in the meantime, slowly making its way towards last dance, but with the utility thrown forward, that should be the clear indicator that they're aware of his whereabouts. Flashes again, thrown on in, recycle. Cooking the nade, lopping the nade. It's in the air, it's on the other side. Damage should be done. No, only five, not really enough. I'm to have a big impact on that one. I like the idea of flashing first and then throwing the name, making sure that Godrilla can't really hear it or maybe oh, see it. Oh, he has it. no idea. <laughs> he has no idea. <laughs> I think Godrilla might have seen a backpack or something. But uh, down goes Recycle. That's five out of this one in sixth place. Once again, just to add to it, we have Entropic in the match in top five. But look at this, Mama actually peeking up solo player. I mean, he's feeling it right now. Solo player making a push up towards Entropic. And, well, we talked with, uh, I mean, again, heard him earlier say that if he could do something to slow down Entropic, he's going to do it. And that worked right there. Nail up, falls down. I believe it's his first knock. So should be able to potentially still get the rest. But Mama is still up close. Yeah, he needs some backup from his teammates right now. He's done some really good work so far. And he got more. No, he cannot. Oh, Lukovic does HP. find Mama. And they want to get the nail back up. And from the look of it, they're going to be able to do yeah. that right now. 
and yeah. it's gonna be rough now for the last dance i don't really know what they're gonna do are they gonna try to go west instead try to push towards black maybe that's the only answer they got i like the idea of them pushing up there but i think they were expecting for uh, like they, they wanted to keep people on the north side downhill because they were expecting maybe a sweep from black in behind them which just never happened so uh unfortunately they lose mommy he was aggressive he was peeking forward but does go down and as you said i mean entropic back to four alive in top five once more with a decent spot in the circle now the question becomes does qb and lookworks push south around oh, oh my lord but will almost took the helmet off your teammate there Karx does fall down will get flushed in the end as well and black 11 kills for them well this hurts silers on social media earlier said best of three for a qualifying spot oh. we need a lot of wins and silers connects the ones needed to get at least one more team eliminated five kills for him five for him and but down to potentially just two left alive make that maybe one maybe down to one but looking at it no matter what they got himself a lot of kills which is going to be really necessary for them uh if they do find the wins they are only playing the first three games so they only have three chances here and now down to only two players Let's see what they can do yeah well trucks they've been sitting tight on the fortification down here ever since they got up the hill they're not in a hurry to take a fight to anyone it is solid red dot spray comes in takes down wrist so him and solo player left alive again everyone up with three except for entropic if there's one scary team you don't want to give too many advantages in a battle that would be them they're kind of spreading out now trying to wrap north around itty oh uh, uh, sorry look at rooks up real close to him and here but he knows there are multiple people around he doesn't want to peek it alone doesn't want to make an aggressive play that could potentially get him killed scurry finds him and so black out they do get a ton of kills though yeah a ton of kills, and it's going to help them for now, but they still need to get those wins mm -hmm. if they're going to get anywhere at all. Bird products, as you said, they've been laying low, playing it really smart. They don't need to engage in a fight. They know that everybody else is fighting. They want to stay all three alive if possible and force other teams to fight each other. And as we can see right now, Tropic, they got a good control over the circle, but they have one big hurdle, and that's going to be weird team on, that mm. is inside on the southwestern side there. Birdprox, they might be coming up towards uh, Entropic here soon. Are uh, Weird Team actually rapping all the way on this? They're taking Black's uh, they, 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 Yeah, I was going to say, they're going to go down and take the Plateau, which makes pretty good sense. There's a lot to defend, but they might be able to hold it off. The thing is, where does Entropic go? Do they just wrap North around? Because then if they do, it's really all on these guys. It's all on Rob Trucks. Do they wrap rest around in behind Weird Team and allow for Entropic to third party? Or do they wrap East up on Entropic and give Weird Team a good chance of bringing this one home? This is, uh, this is a pretty wild one because while Entropic have the numbers, they're kind of the ham in the sandwich right now. Yeah, but at the same time, they are playing very slow here. Is it opting out to get as much information as possible before hitting the first strike. You can see Lukerux, it's pretty close. He's been sitting there for quite some time, and I don't think where team knows about him at all. Ooh. Yeah, no, that might be it. That might be the pushing time now for Entropic here. Let's see what they're going to do with that. At least IMS is pushing further forward. The blue was on his back, so he knew he has to do something. And also, this is huge for That's up trucks. Remember? Oh! Not far enough. That utility, had it just rolled over the hillside, that could have been one more knock to add to it, and then it could have looked real good for them all of a sudden. Nailup is still looking south, and there's a full three-man stack down there, which they aren't really seeing. Nailup should have audible cues now. You'd have to expect spots one. Here's one. Go down to low HP, but they do get Nailup in return. Trading one for one is not what you want to have happen when there's a three-man team on the other side of the hill that could potentially capitalize, and where team are slowly but steadily moving forward. Lucas is going to be the one who's going to hold off where team. Meanwhile, while the Entropic is fighting the other fight here. Nailup is on his second knock, remember that. So they got to fight to go for it right now. QB is going to go for the rest. Meanwhile, we do see that the nade is taking around. Ivers gets knocked as well. Oh, Barret comes over the it's top, gets apart. the nade confirm on Nailup. And Ivers now down as well. As much as you hate to see it if you're an Entropic fan, Vobtrox is playing this one extremely well. Come in, stab, back out. Come in, stab, back out. They're doing exactly what they have to. All they want is for Rob Trucks and Wear Team to please, for God's sakes, fight <laughs> each other. The layout of the land right now is just not looking like that's going to happen. No, and Wear Team still free man up, of course. Oh, Lucas is nice. actually on fire. But it should be all fine with those smokes going there. 
The blue oh, is pushing. Yeah. The center is gonna be right where you're seeing this middle of the screen there, in the middle of nowhere. There's gonna be nothing Pretty to play. Much. So right now, all the teams they don't want to take the fight, but at the same time, you kind of force to take the fight, or you're gonna end up getting third party while taking the fight later on. Well, Rob trucks, the ones with the high ground, but as you say, I mean, no one really in control of the circle center. They can't really peek freely on over. Where a team falls to make moves now as well. They've thrown smokes forward. They have a passage to move on. Jones, not in a hurry to peek. Remember, again, I mean, for both Where Team and Wop uh, Wop Trucks, they don't have wins yet. They need real good games here. Uh, they, they, they're both really clinging on having to get that win in order to get anywhere close to qualifying. And, of course, same thing for Entropic. So no one wanting to be the ones to initiate this fight. Yeah, everyone just waiting for one of the teams taking a first step. <laughs> no, the jump might be it. Don't jump in that situation. There's one more. No, he hit him He's with the molly. Fire. They hit each other with the molly. No. No. No, that's not supposed to happen. QPE, you gotta go. Oh, do you have time for this? Do you have time for this? Oh. Keep crawling, mate. Gets inside the circle. Vavarit trying to peek on. Oh, QPE dies to blue. Oh. Oh, that is not the way you want to go down if you're in Tropic. Food, food now. Peeking forward. Jones at 1 HP. They want to hold this one. The dot is right in between the two teams. Three versus two. Numbers advantage are on Valve Trucks, but don't take blue damage. You don't have vests or helmets. You don't have HP to do this. Food, food, move. You don't want to oh, take geez. additional damage on this. Hide Seraphy that was very low. Now it's on the way I left there. There you go. Verprox getting their first win there. Five kills. You said it yourself. They were playing a little bit passive towards the end there, but that was all necessary for them to get yeah. that win, and that's going to put them up there on the board. Nice to see finally that they get to manage to get that chicken dinner. I mean, Robchucks was doing exactly what they had to do in order to bring that game home. They were playing it slow. They knew once where they were in the fortification and everyone else were kind of fighting each other. Now we just wait. We, we aren't in a hurry. As long as we can keep our utility and everything on for, for longer, we should be all right. I mean, going back in history, what what could Entropic maybe have done? Made a push down the hill to take them out, but that's simply too risky at that earlier stage in the game. They want to maintain the high ground control, and they did manage to do so, but the end game goes in the favor of, um, of Rob Trucks and yet another top three that Entropic don't convert to a win. Sometimes you just need to have a little bit of luck on your side, right? True. Like what just happened there, you know, Entropic getting a first knock on where team and then Molotoving yourself. Um, that does help you out if you're not engaged into the fight like Verprox was True. then. But again, they were playing it so right. They didn't need to do anything and the uh, fight was forced to the other two teams and they just needed to clean it up afterwards. Yeah, it was a, uh, a fortunate set of circumstances there in the end game for them to save the least. But uh, again, I mean, still got to give them credit for a solid... Uh, the mid game rotation up the hill and knowing how to kind of play the terrain to their advantage they're playing it slow in making the needed push to get the top kill over the top i believe it was Reverit who peeks on over found nail up in the instant trade they're smart peeking from him and jones together and then uh, and then, then then finding ivis as well instantly after smart plays again get the knocks get the kills back off Get the knocks, mm. get the kills, back off. Never over aggress, never over commit to such an extent that you end up going down, and they worked out for them. Yeah, Verplus is also one of the teams from Group A, of course, so we're going to see them in the upcoming two games. That's going to be their last two games mm -hmm. uh, for the playoffs here, so they got themselves a win now. The big question is, are they going to beat a team with a back to back win here today? I well, know. I mean, so far, the back to back winners have been teams that started at zero, so who knows? Who knows? Mm -hmm. And if there's a time to get a back-to-back, -back, it would be with two games left to go. So, uh, so hopefully, hopefully for them, they can get something along those lines going. But of course, a lot to ask for uh, for a team that hasn't hasn't shown the most impressive performance yet. But having said that, I mean, they knew exactly how to play this end game, and it worked out for them. Yeah, and that's all you want to see, right? Learn from your mistakes. Learn from the the previous days, and make sure that the last one, at least, if you haven't made an impact yet, this is the time to make it. For sure. For sure. Where team as well. It was a quiet game for them. Look at this. I mean, coming up to the black uh, fight against Black, they only had two kills. 
So uh, a, a slow approach to this one coming in from the west side, but uh, they as well made a smart play. And then this one, that's just unfortunate. QBE got up on his feet and unfortunately moves in in front of Luka Rooks. Of course, should never happen, especially not in this period of the game, but does happen regardless. Mob Trucks managed to get themselves the win, and then we go by kills down second through, uh, well, 16th. So Black... So ending in second with the 12 kill performance and last stand behind them with um with 11 solid amount of kills coming in for last dance a team that as we said they want to get the kills to kind of add to the two wins they have already yeah and that's gonna put them just one kill behind skate right now mm -hmm. skate is not playing these first three games but they're gonna play the last three games of today so last dance have two more games here where they can catch up a little bit with the kills itself because we know that it might be a big factor. It might be the big tiebreaker mm. for who's going to be passing through to PCS5 after the game here today. So all the kills you can is necessary. And we talked about it in the beginning of the game. You want to see a team like The Last Dance being confident, getting a lot of kills. And that's mm. what they did in this one. Exactly. Up trucks as well. You can see them on the leaderboard. They're jumping from 12th up into 5th. And if they get one more win, they're up there in kills actually already off of a few good games. They're sitting up there already. Give them one or two more good games. Who knows? Maybe they're a contender for a top 3 spot. But guys, we're going to talk over, take a short break now before game 2 comes your way. So stick around and we'll see you in just a few.
one game down, five games to go for us. But for select eight teams, that's only two games left. And uh, for us, if you're one of those teams, now is when you really need to get things going your way. And by things going away, I mean wins. You need wins now if you want to make it through to the grand finals. Are we even going to talk about Entropic getting another top three? No, because I feel like it's us cursing them at this point. Okay, let's not talk about them at all this game. <laughs> I almost. feel like some of the blame is on us at this point when we keep <laughs> mentioning it and they keep getting top three and still not win games. But, uh, but so, so let's, let's, let's try and not give them too much focus. One team I do want to focus on right now, a team that uh, unfortunately for themselves fell out kind of early last game, is Shift W. Mm. A, a a team that we saw be absolute beastly yesterday, and uh, in the I mean honestly, despite them dying early in this one, good one v two from Kill the Kai in a situation where they were not expecting to have to take a fight. I mean, one thing is one thing is that 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 you have a team that is good at shooting, but but it still also to some extent requires that you're ready for the fight. You know, they were rotating, they were going up to Volcano. Okay, let's see what's happening, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, boom! You've lost two players to Party Beetle. They, being good at aiming is one thing, but you also have to be real damn quick at reacting when stuff like that happens, and they did. Yeah, and they, they still have a few games to recover, though. They are playing all the games here today, so they have five mm. more games to play, and we can see that the first circle has set itself. Not too unusual uh, for us here. Uh, it's like True. the past few days. We got a yeah. lot of water into our circles. You know, why not? Why not make it a little bit harder on all of these teams here? It's not like they're playing for anything special anyway, you know? So uh, might as well throw them some crazy curveball circles to to add some fun for for the viewers because we know the viewers is all that matters. A team you were talking about <laughs> in the last game there, Black, sitting in Milta Power or Milta mm -hmm. area now. They're pretty decent into the first circle here, and we know that they've been fighting a lot in Pachinki earlier in this tournament against yeah. five, and now opting to go away. They got the circle on the side. This is their second to last game, so hopefully they can make something happen here because you, you want to see them get a win. They've been playing pretty decently. Probably. Yeah, true. I mean, they had themselves a, 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 a ton of kills in the previous game as well. So for them, it would be massive to see the circles keep on going down in that direction. Even even up towards Lumber, up on the uh, the hillside up by Prison, there could be a decent shift for them. They could kind of play it up on foot. And we know, I mean, the players like Silas Himen as well proven to be. These guys are incredibly scary up close. I mean, Silas is a killing machine on his own. He's shown that time and time again. But the other guys, I feel like Nawik, of course, as well, uh, good. They, they, they work well together in those up close engagements. It's more of the like. I feel like what what kind of brings them down, or what 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 tends to become their downfall, is the rotation game, is the 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 the, the grander picture because we know they can fight. It's mm. just when they're a team that haven't been worked that like molded together that much yet, the rotations, making sure you have the clear comms when you're about to take the fight, because when they have the info, when it's all about hitting your shots, they know how to do that. It's it's everything that in my book requires you to having played together as a team for a while that they're still kind of lacking. Yeah. And in the end, it is a team game. And as you're saying, it's not just about aiming and getting those kills. It's so much more than that. Rotations is such a big part of the teamwork and being able to make sure that what you're doing is perfectly fine for the team. Hmm. This is a good example. Look at Mom is just, just scouting down a compound, looking, giving all the information to his teammates while they are trying to make a move. And this is the kind of synergy you need to have. But nothing happened this time, though. Once was... again, the last dance, make it try to make a quick move here, an early move. Was Mama baiting his teammate? I, I'm pretty sure he saw people in that compound. Didn't he? Uh, Didn't he see one of the east side buildings? Because he, he, even if he did, he still has his teammate drive right past the compound. Like, dude, you told me there were no one there. <laughs> I, I think I think they knew there was one there, but not two. Or and they, they were gonna to opt to go shot. for it if it yeah, was one yeah, play yeah. only. But after the second one started shooting, I think they just decided to back <laughs> off instead. And Hopefully then sending, it was not baiting. <laughs> sending him past in a buggy as well. Not exactly a uh, a good situation to be in. But they do uh, they do manage to stay put, keep all four alive. And again, I mean, they were playing a little, uh, a little careless in the last game. Not careless in terms of uh, we will risk everything. But they, they were they were they were being yeah they were being aggressive. 
to an extent that you just don't see a whole lot of teams be these days, and especially not in this type of format. And uh, again, could could have to do with them having more games to play than others. And also, I mean, right oh. now, they are sitting in a real damn good spot, both obviously because they're in second place currently with a good amount of kills to it as well, but they also have that many more games to play than m many of the other current top teams. This might be dangerous here. Footfoot -foot just let them get past here. Yeah. They still have two on the bridge. And Verpros has two more by Fairy Pair as well. They might start to pinch them down now. I mean, that, that that would be a fight that I don't think Dangerous Dolphins would be expecting at all. Because as you said, I they just let either. them pass Rise and win. Crossing over the bridge. Whoop, that's a nice little kick flip. Uh, or, or whatever, whatever the flip, <laughs> something else. They do get to cross, though. Shift W trying to penalize, but I think they might be a little too late on the rotation. And there was the punishment. Foot Foot lets them cross to the west, but does not let them come back east around. Oh, here and they come, he though. might be in trouble. Dolphins pushing in. Foot Foot can't find anyone. but And they recover a little bit, but where's the rest of Verb Talks? They're not even close by yeah. here. Yeah. They think... were not ready on that one. Yeah, Footfoot was not expecting that pull-up to happen after killing Haxer, but, you know, the Dolphin says, hey, we're not just gonna let you go that easy. They're still outside the circle. They're far outside the circle as well, so it is a fight that you really don't want to take if exactly. it's not necessary as well. Exactly. I mean, it's, it's... Yeah, no, sorry, continue. Especially if you're one of the those two teams, because you're only playing two more games here. Yeah, and also it's a pretty uh, like a flip compared to how passive and how patient we saw up trucks be in the last game that essentially granted them the win to go out and take a shot like this. Yes, you get one kill, but the fact that you lose a player in return is uh, is kind of the deal breaker. Are they pulling up on this? Okay, oh. they are not just scared to take a fight. This. Uh, back to four players alive. Maybe that gives them the courage they need in order to make this play. Mika, Nate in hand, trying to throw one down. Kill your guy, nice it. position across the street. Finds the first one. Ems is still there, and there are two in the other building. Throws a molly over. Maybe that can slow them down just a little bit. They know they have two players below, but Ems is Nate over the Good top. Game. Finds Mika. Chris, car 98. He's going to throw the Molotov and try to slow them down a little bit. Need to reload his M4. That's why he had car 98 on his hands. Now he's going to go for the rest as well. Question is, does he have time? Looks like it might oh. be just enough. Nope. I was, was going to say, we have Brax across the street trying to help, but five actually oh. from inside Milta are starting to shoot at them as well. I'm not exactly making things any easier. This is not, I mean, okay, so fair enough. If you're Shift W, you do still, you, you play six games today, so it's not the end of the world, but still, you you, you need you, you want to get things going right from the get-go. And these, I mean, I got to say, Mollies in this game are insanely... OP in terms of isolation. This right here, I mean, Chris, Brax, be both, they, they're, oh, yeah, it's, it's going to be open. <gasps> That's a double right there. Unless it's on the right goes on the, the other side. side. No, yep, it's it on the wrong side. side. Wrong side. And he doesn't uh, have any more nades. Imagine uh, if it was a Molotov instead. Oh, yeah, that would have been uh, pretty straightforward. Two kills on that one. Kill the with the scar. Trying to see if he can get a good angle over towards this. It's, uh, I mean, this as well. They do have a win already, but they're only playing two more matches. So, uh, that's 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 something to keep in mind and maybe add to the question of why they're up to take this fight. But they got the knock they wanted to drop on it, and I don't think they were ready for the full four man stack to be around this fast. Oh, that's a good Nate. That that's Stratus down. Yep. Ooh. M's now on his own. The guys <gasps> below can't do a whole lot. And Chris finds him from next to him. Solid shots coming through there. That's half the split taken down. Now we just need to get rid of the downstairs neighbors. Yeah, and as you can see, Killer Kai has been here the whole time. He's been shooting at them. He has all the information. <gasps> he gets fun. Oh. Now he's only explicit that left there. They're going to be pushing this straight away. Yeah, they are not waiting a single second. What is... Wait. Did, did he, he, I think he was staring the into the wall. I think it was him having issues connecting last game too. And if there's a bad time to DC, that's... Uh, that, 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 that's got to be it right there. In the no, middle no, no, of no. It was M's. It was oh, it was, oh yeah, true. Yeah. It was M's last game. Is Dedrick stuck? Oh, no, he's just boosting. I was oh. like, wait, he's not even near the tree. He should be available to drive, right? But it's his arm gestures weren't about the wheel. It was him trying to uh, chug a energy drink. Fair enough, fair enough. This tape is all good. Here we see the replay of X. Oh, he hit the tree as well. Had he been full speed and gotten around that rock in one move, that could have probably been both of them surviving. But two on a bike and then hitting the tree as well, that that's, that's death. Mm. 
Yeah, we're going to see a new circle popping now. Let's see where we're heading. Okay. Still a little bit of water, but it's going to head towards the east side, of course. And Shift W, they're going to need to move out. We did see them recover, though. Still four up. They got themselves four kills. And they're looking for uh, their second win here. Frost, are you ready for the Lipovka ending? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I am. Do uh, it. Make it this happen. This circle is brutal. Because the thing is, okay, right now, phase two, next circle can go anywhere. If we somehow center on the bay between uh, Milta Power and Lipovka, like if we have enough of that area in, we're forcing everyone out into the open phase three because we know, we know for a fact that the circle can't not contain water should it go there. But of course, that's a little times away from now. Where team, full speed sending it trying to beat Entropic, and they do manage to beat Entropic. Black, in the meantime, still, excuse me, maintaining their two-way split here. That has me a little worried. Because we've seen before what happens when you don't prioritize mill to power, or small mill to power, I should say. And right now, they haven't moved back together. The thing is, small power is hard enough to hold on with four people, exactly. but at the same time, it is a little bit towards the south right now, so I, I don't think they want to commit to it yet. That's the whole thing. But if they wait another circle to check it out and maybe want to group up then, it might be too late because it might hmm. be too many teams congested around them. It's going to be too hard to rotate without getting yourself knocked and killed on that rotation. Well, everyone's eyes, or at least a lot of people's eyes, are still on Entropic. And, uh, well, I mean, they're taking the more scenic route. Around Mills of How, I'm pretty sure they're Talk aware about that Rice and Win are in. <laughs> but uh, we'll see. We'll see how things play according to that one. Last dance in the meantime, on the complete opposite side of the circle. They have heard Enterprise, I believe, since Gorilla is looking around the way that he is right now. Again, could be looking at the map. I'm not sure. We're still asking for the uh, an indicator of those to be added to the game. Would be absolutely amazing. Um, mm. Grandis. Looking around, trying to see what he can do, see what he can see. They want to... I think they're, they're playing it slow, and they don't want to move in too soon. They, they would much rather make sure that no one's rattling in behind them. Yeah. And, I mean, the last dance is looking... I think they're looking towards the west, because that's kind of uh, the edge of the circle. So they expect their team to be there, or at least coming up there soon enough, uh, once the circle uh, pushes them in. But at the same time, we do see, actually, Havik has uh, been taking the Pofka. Maybe they're listening into what you're saying, and they already read this one. Yeah. They know where it's going. Remember the first game? <laughs> they were in the center compound True. until, like, circle six. True. It's, uh... <laughs> if you know where they are, stay next to them, because they will get the circles. No, that's, not, of course, not always the uh, the indicator. Rob Trucks, you know, slow up here on the north side. If, uh... Taking the foot off the the pedal there on that one. Playing it a little slow down by Lipovka. In the meantime, Entropy trying to sit tight in their two-way split. And a tricky one to be in because the guys up top don't have that easy of an angle to cover their friends down below and uh, vice versa. So with five being a split next to them and now Dangerous Dolphins being on the west side, then uh, could be could become hard for them to reunite. Let's see now, though, Frost, where are we headed? Hmm, no... Black. That's not what we wanted. Black. Looking at you. When are, where's the vehicle markers? There's the first one. one. Okay. I was gonna, gonna say, go. are they, do they up to cut do they commit to the Nowick and Sile or do they commit to the top position or the south one? They actually go up. Even though they know the circle is gonna come south, they're opting to go up. This has to have alarm bells ringing for other teams. You have to see Cass leaving Milta Power. Oh, he actually shot him out <gasps> there. Oh. He actually took him out but there. But he, he's safe there. Fortunately, he, safe. he falls down behind the ridge and should be resable. But that is a good oh. shot. Kill the guy. Oh, I mean, okay, they can't have seen that from there. Does no one see this? I don't think anyone has an angle from where they can see it. That small power oh. is open. Yeah. And if you're a team that is outside and you're not, like, you haven't seen any team leave there, you're going to expect a team to be inside already. So even if you're going to drive it, you're going to be cautious. You need to, like, clear everything out there. Shift oh. W is going to go to small milk, actually. Smart. Exact same pathing as well as it did the other day. Did he just... Yeah, oh, Greg. Greg, I mean, if you, if you want to try and stay incognito, don't park the car right out front the door. <gasps> Fortunately, Cox is there to help you. Yeah, exactly. 
The guys from Last Dance way up the hill towards the west side are actually chiming in here as well. You can see all the damage being done right now. That's not only Havoc players. Getting a little help on the other side. Vaverit now from <laughs> behind <laughs> as well, shooting towards them. Oh, this is all gone wrong for Don't Shoot, please. They're getting shot from everywhere and everyone right now. Yeah, no, And they're not so. even inside a circle. Exactly. They were trying to play it slow and peek forward, but they didn't know. Because, I mean, because uh, Bob Trucks had played it so slow in behind them, they didn't know they had a team quite literally right behind them. And down they go because of it. Azam finds the final feature falls, and that's Don't Shoot out in 15th. Hmm. Verprox now have to make their way in. Question is, do they know that Gregan is inside a shack? Because after that, you have to have a uh, have a team there. Just afterwards, a little bit south inside a circle, waiting for them as well. And they're gonna need to pass all of them to get inside. It. Well, that's a good peek. Fortunately for Freak, at least there on the return fire takes Tixie down. That's one dealt with, at least for now. It's a tricky position to hold from uh, downhill here when, when they have so much space to maneuver up above. It's equally a difficult position to push, though, on foot down there. And you can see how they surrounded the whole compound. Yanni on the right-hand side there, on the screen right now, trying to get as many angles as possible, trying to surround them, trying to take anything they can here away from Yikes. Dedrick's moving in slow. They are on the edge of blue. And I'm a little worried for some of these guys because now phase four hits. That means you can't really get those reses up in blue no more. Yanni, oh no, can't connect it. Luke finds him. One down, takes his eyes to blue free kill. Looking for more damage to be done up above because Circle Hell's just gone south and Shift W. Truly joyous <laughs> that they got themselves a free multi power. Oh, Senex. The double headshot connects. Great shots fired. Grendix, Grendix, last man standing here for Enterprise right now. He could back off, but Yax is not going to let that happen. Zenix is already pushing up here. He's expecting the rest to happen, maybe. Here's that flash. Grendix does find Zenix, but he has two more hits to find out. No, it's oh, not going to be enough. That is an impressive hold from Yikes. The fact that they get to stay alive, I mean, I don't want to say that too early, but the fact that they, after that fight, get to stay alive with three off of them being the first ones traded towards early. Oh, Mom sees that, doesn't he? Yes, indeed, he does. Fight oh, the first. Oh, 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 my man. That was taking too long. Does find the knock on free kill, but so much damage being done, and Blue coming in now. I don't think there's any chance for him to get back on his feet. No, there's no chance, and looks like the rest of the team is going to try to get inside the last dance that is. Meanwhile, as you said earlier, uh, in Minimilta, you have Shift W. They've been gifted that one for free because we saw Black leave that. And now, Verprox trying to move their way in, but Havoc is going to be in their way, and uh, it's only as left now on Verprox, the previous winner. And Godrilla. Able to get one kill, but they've taken so much damage already. They are trying to get the rest back on up. To one of their fallen players and should be possible so they will be back to three mommy the only one going down and uh and, and I, I think they're aware that there isn't there isn't too much pressure coming in from the north but having said that both havoc and the last remaining player from rough trucks actually going up towards them right now and they kind of need to wrap around here before all kinds of help breaks loose and i think that's i mean as you can see kind of see that's what luke is doing but i think they want to do the exact same thing issue is they've just been beaten to a decent position by havoc Critical Light and Havoc, they're gonna go and play up here in the hills. Lots of good cover for now, but the big question is, is the circle gonna go there? Because we kind of never see an ending going up on the hills there itself. Usually mm. it's gonna go out towards the east side or center of where the circle is. Arcs with a drive-by, doesn't find Gregan. Gregan does manage to stay alive, has to fall back. Flashbangs being locked on his head on the i I'm not sure because... Indicator being team colors. Tread light. Oh no, he ran over his teammates in the middle of a push. That's not what you want to have happen. Sub optimal to say the very least. Greg and trying to stay alive, but barely has any HP. Yeah, that should be him completely flash S3. Oh, okay, does see the backpack. Can't find the kill initially. Spots him second time around. Gets him down as well. Smart double push from Yuri and Gorilla. Yeah, I only need to pre-fire and just walk around the corner as well in that situation there. Ooh, okay, that's a shift. Wait, does Entropic wrap all the way around Shift W here? Are they crashing it? They might crash it, actually. They, they are. are crashing it. 
That is an aggressive play! Kill your guy there to take down Nate up. Flashbang over the top. Let's see if he can maybe get a second peek at the inside. That Nate. Old. That's coming in from way Ooh. uphill. Nothing really done with it. Flashbang smokes everything being thrown forward right now. They want to get the rest up on one, but as Look you can see now, the high ground advantage from inside the building, making it real difficult for them to do anything. I thought they were going to continue and drive further, but they pulled up on this and it's cost them dearly. Brexco is on the south side right now. He's behind Entropic on the outside of the wall, what? far away out. He jumped and got them. No, <laughs> he's jumping he around like a He gets a crazy person. Well. Actually oh, he's going getting the flush and the knock from jumping around like a madman. Tax there as well. Ivers still alive. They are three up. Mika is trying to get outside. Remember, QPE is way up towards main mill to power as well, trying to do somewhat of an overview. But he's alone, and the blue is moving in now. He has to leave. Right now, it's not helping with QBE over there. He's not finding anything because they're not showing himself. It's just a killer guy jumping over the wall from here and there. Hillikai, the kangaroo, doing everything oh. he can, but finally, Iva stops him in his tracks. No, no way, what? QP. What? QP no, got he got shot off by Mika. He got shot off by Mika, and the car <laughs> ran over. I was right after that. Oh, who would have thought that Entropic's biggest opponent was going to be themselves today? <laughs> Havoc eliminated in the midst of all of this. We still have Black and Wear team fighting one another. Udi left alive trying to get the res up on one here. Still two alive for Entropic Ivers. Finds Kiliakai again, but Mika is still inside. And remember, Shift W has yet to lose a single player. But this second knock on Kiliakai might be too much for a Shift W player to come and pick up. Brexler is by the long You might be going for it. Oh, that's a good turn. Yuri. And Godrilla both very low, but still alive, and that's what matters. They're gonna heal up, and they're gonna be ready for the next fight. Silas, all on his own, trying to get something going here. Godrilla is kind of there to help him as but well, but no, heal. he's gonna fall. Udi finds the double, but Godrilla might have Watch something out, to say. No nades, unfortunate. Gotta keep moving, Udi. Ain't got time for this. Ain't got time to heal up. Blue is pushing you. Same thing for you, Godrilla. The thing is, he doesn't have any meds anyway, so he might as well just go for it. 3 HP, next tick. It's gonna be him dead. Not gonna matter, though. Poro able to find him. That's it. Stop right now. You got still got Yuri down there, but... Big question is how much is he gonna do because there's so many smokes over there. They might already be expecting him where he's gonna be. Press for a nade. It's not gonna connect. Nope, trying to stay alive outside. Last dance will fall as well. Mika now down as well. We haven't seen a whole lot from Rise and Win so far. Currently sitting dead last in the tournament. But, uh, well, again, if there's a time to shine, now it's gonna be it. They are going to be playing six matches today. So who's to say they can't get three wins in one day? Rex, solo player left alive for Shift W, increasing their kill count game by game. Eight in this one already. Just one more win would bounce them straight up the leaderboards. Skill still going to be rough, though. And it was looking good for Shift W, but it fell apart real quick here. With a lot of teams trying to come down there and uh, take over Minimilta. Right now, it's uh, right and win. That's a conquer of it. Yep, Mac and Dark, full speed forward, still three alive for Dangerous Dolphins. They've been playing the forest side for a while now, and they here they managed to wrap around um, for Rafik. Good play by them. Now they're on the inside with a chance to potentially hold out against the opponent's Brex. in the meantime, saying, you know what, I'll push an entire building on my own. Let me just take a look at the gun as well. It's pretty it's pretty good looking, isn't it? Yeah, sure. I'll make a play one before. Let's see what's going to happen. It did get the first uh, knock, but it's not going to make a move on that. Dolphy finds one. Gets traded though. Yeah, this is a uh, suicide mission for the teams on the hills here, I'm name. afraid. Yeah, Molly might be on as well. Oh. Yep, catches Mag and Dark. Robin is still alive with a solid amount of HP to take a potential more fight. And remember this, we there's still Five. players below. Yeah. And yes, Gaxi goes down and Mac and falls as well. So uh, Robin gets his kill confirmed, knows the team is wiped, and that's actually giving him a ton of space up the hill. Up the hill for sure, but he's going to probably need to go down the hill in the next circle. And that's going to be uh, all sorts of problem for him with five sitting in those uh, houses just below there. Yeah. Rise and win though. They got all four up. This is one of the first times we've seen Rise and win with all four up for the late game. So let's see if they can make anything happen with that. Let's see. Five. They've been sitting in these buildings since phase two. Fortunate to have circles going their way. 
And uh, well, they still have Knaz across the street. That's what I'm a little worried about because I don't see how he should be able to reunite with his teammates unless if they cross over to him. But if he gets knocked in that wizard uh, in the in the tower there, I I, I don't think a saving mission is gonna be uh, a rescue mission is gonna be convinced. From them. Oh, no. here is the double from Braxco taking out in Trubic. This is a well. That's gonna be the first time they didn't make top six then. Yeah. That's true, actually. Feels bad, man. But yeah, with Knaz, uh, I believe he's more of a wild card just sitting here. He's not going to try to make uh, any sound. Mm. And he's just going to take shots as soon as uh, the teams uh, start pushing towards the rest of his team on the other side of the road there. Power is, the current... circle. Okay. Power is currently trying to find out if that's a safe crate or if it's a bait crate. I'm... <laughs> I was like, oh, it's only 10 meters away, but I could die if I go for it. <laughs> really, Guys, it might be worth it. Yeah, I can't really figure out whether to do it or not. And there's a Groza. Well, it's going to be great if they want to push the buildings. But as you can see here, Elska is waiting for uh -huh. someone to make that run. And it's not going to happen, at least not initially. Oh. Circle once again Kass. favoring five here. And Kass goes down, actually. Mm -hmm. So that is that one guy down for five now. Yeah. That's not what they wanted. No, and they're going to pull up on a smart play here from Entropy to just go yeah. full speed forward, try and take control. And one thing that's even more interesting right now, to be honest, is that none of the teams left alive here has a win yet. Mm, that is true. Uh, that is true. Unless if I'm getting debated by the leaderboards again, but I don't think I am. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> not this time around. Sorry, Skate, yesterday. But but no, I mean, we, we're going to have even more teams with one win. It's actually kind of wild that we have 13 winners in... Uh, in this lobby, over half mm. the teams having gotten themselves a win in these 18 so far, it's uh, it's, it's pretty wild. Not not something we see too often. Definitely not. And it also shows how hard it can be sometimes to be consistent, especially um, with the MC rule here. It's really rough for rotating lobbies. But here we go, rise and win. They're gonna crash it. They're Ooh. gonna go for it. All it four in one vehicle. It did work <laughs> out. They got them through, but they don't find anyone. They are they did, pushing in one by one? Did they just crash this four in one car and then run in one at a time? Oh, and there's no. the god nade from physics! Denied! And oh, then physics mollies himself. He was too heavy. He was he was he was way too excited for that one and then he blows himself up. <laughs> what now, the hell? Where team where team did push up here though on Rudy on the eastern side or north side here at the same time. So Rudy is having to deal with this by himself. Meanwhile, we see that actually Entropy they have been pushed up a little bit. Lipsia is across the road as well by the compound there and just waiting. Yeah, Rudy is playing this one real slow and understandably so. They have two buildings to try and maintain control. If I like how Entropy is playing this one, playing it slow outside, not in a hurry to do anything. They got the solo down on their side of the street, meaning they have full control over there. Not worried of a backstab, other than, of course, Robin still being up the hill. And I think they see him now as well. Yep, Carlo shooting up towards him. So they know there's someone up the hill. They just have to wait right now. Dedicate one player to look up that hillside and let everyone else fight each other in the buildings. Hmm. And you can see that Entropy, they, they try to take a lot of ground here. Try to take control over the whole situation. And as you can see, basically the center of the next circle is going to be between all of them. So they're just going to need to hold people out. Hopefully, if they can find Robin on the, the top left there, on the western side, they only need to focus on the northeast where everybody else is. Robin. Ooh, oh. Holy moly, what Good a headshot. Dog. But what is he going to do now, though? Get more headshots? He got free <laughs> nades. He got free um, Molotovs as well. So he got lots True. of utilities to use. But it's so rough. Look at the terrain yeah. for him to pass down there. He is inside the circle. I mean, barely, but just inside. And it's actually kind of fortunate for... Uh... For, for Entropy right now that this fight is taking as long as it is. I mean, 05 mm. is never a team to really aggress in these type of situations, and Weird Team is playing it really slow here as well. So really good for them that they're not getting pushed by another team while Robin is being such a pain. Very, very fortunate. But now, of course, with good Blue Molotov. closing in, they have to make a move. Molly to isolate. Smart play by Recycle. Spots one. Tax him, but not enough damage done. That <gasps> might Robin be enough again? for now. Robin no. again finds them. He gets the kill. Who did ice to blue, and that's them out. 
Thank you, solo player, says Entropy, as they now only have two teams to deal with. Wait, now there might be a big fight coming going on here between Entropy and Five, and Robin if that's going to happen, Robin might have the chance <laughs> to actually third party and win the whole game here. The thing is, they can't ignore him. First of all, he's, I mean, he's hitting all the shots right now. And, 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 and okay, so he does have to get down the hill. That's just an angle you don't want to have to focus when you're Entropy. Because you, can, you can't forget about him. You can't just look the other way because you will accidentally expose yourself to him one way or another. I'm a little surprised to see Entropy not using more utility in this direction. Maybe they don't have any remaining. I would assume that's the case. Because if they did, as we saw with Recycle just before, use those mollies to isolate and kind of force your opponents into the whatever area they want them to move towards. Lipsia could have a good surprise angle here as well. Robin does fall and now for entropy now they can turn around now they can turn their focus to five it's down to a four versus three entropy with four people up five needs to push lipsia finds one can you find another one no recycle bin does uh, return one of the knocks though oh, with trades Talking. coming in here it's going in the favor of the team with more players alive and entropy will get themselves the win six kills not that many kills you know what they don't care they got the chicken dinner and that's all that mattered and that is their first win on the board here. And uh, they are going to be playing all of the games today. So they yep. still have four more games after this one. A great chance for them to put up another win on the board and potentially to have put them up on a spot for PCS5. Yeah, massive game for them to go out and uh, and clutch that chicken Then It was, again, not, not, not an easy win by any means because mm. I don't think there is such a thing as an easy win in these matches. But uh, but solid, very important for them that they got Knast down early. And that was really what I was worried about, uh, worried about for, for five if they lose Knast in that situation that could be them losing all control and you can see that kind of turn out to be the case yeah i thought he was upstairs as well not downstairs being downstairs i mean it's so much harder to do anything mm. because being upstairs the other team if they want to push you either they're going to use a lot of molotovs or nades or they're going to need to push up on the staircase and then then you have the angle covered by your teammates on the other side of the road yeah but that wasn't the case so i'm not really sure what happened there maybe he got stuck there early on in the game but it didn't work out for them this time no not this time around they called a lot of circles but unfortunately not enough to get themselves the win in this one and for entropy this is massive i mean they're playing six games today so yeah. you wouldn't want to have it any other way now you got yourself that win yes it's still quite a road to uh to top three and to qualifying for the finals but you gotta start somewhere and if you gotta start at some point you might as well do it in the final day yeah, and having those already played those free games days, those are one of the hardest ones to play since you only have those free games. It's so easy to go on a down spiral with a bad game starting off and so on. But now, them having four more games, they already won the game now. This is such a game changer for them getting that win itself. We'll see if they can uh, get the momentum going coming into the final Erangel game after this one, of course. And then uh, as we hop on over to... Um... To, 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 to Miramar, that's of course where all the uh, all the puzzle pieces will be put together and we'll get the final picture by the end of the day. But I, I, I hate that I keep saying this, but I kind of feel like I have to. One more chance now for Entropic to get that second win. Because I believe with so many teams still getting their... Um, still getting their first win, as we see again here with Entropy as well. If Entropic can get win number two and still sit with the big kill margin that they have, I want to say that's going to be enough. Mm. But, oh my lord, is it going to be close? It is definitely going to be close. And you have so many good teams that will be jumping in later on on Miramar as well that you got to be scared if you're not getting yourself two wins, if you don't have the two wins already. Mm. And especially with the performance that we've seen now on. They've been phenomenal. They've been playing out of their minds. They're yeah. on a totally different level than the rest of the lobby so far from what they've been playing. And still, only that one win. I can't even imagine what it would feel like coming into the last game with that. Oh, it's uh, pressure is on, that's for sure. But even having said that, they, yes, of course, while you can be disappointed that you don't qualify, they have played insanely good PUBG. And I know it's not always rewarded, especially with this format, but... But 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 they really have played well. There you see some in, <laughs> joyous entry players, and understandably so. They finally get themselves up there on the board. Shift W again up there and kills. Short of the victory, but solid performance from them. They already have one win. They got four more games left to play, so they I think are somewhat confident coming into the final four. 
and uh, entropy of course with the win there as well but again a game where kills were pretty evenly spread out overall yeah it was uh, a lot of fighting all all spread out all, mm. uh, more or less so it wasn't really congested to one uh, little area but it was also down to the topology of the whole map exactly. now we can see here the total leaderboard though the last dance they've taking over skate now of course with those kills yeah. that they got added to it we saw them being one kill behind skate before the previous game there but look at entropic though 82 kills right now and the closest <laughs> one is the last dance with 55. yeah that's a uh, again that's what i'm saying before as well it, that's a pretty darn good buffer to mm. have but will that be enough for them to qualify? I'm not sure. We will probably know by the end of next game. But there's also the situation. There's also the situation where no other teams gets to two wins somehow. I mean, we have enough teams coming in from uh, uh, from the last group after next game. So we'll see. One thing is for sure, it's going to be right down to the wire. One more Erango game to go before we hop on over to Miramar. But first, a short break. We'll see you in just a few. The new game, PUBG New State. I gotta say, or off the bat, the expectations are through the damn roof right now. Come on. We got the PUBG New State closed alpha announcement. There's no freaking way. This is my first game, and we'll see how we do here. We're experiencing the first ever jump in. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. Ella, why are you in the way, bro? Oh, this is a bad idea. <laughs> Oh, you ran me over. You bag. Yo, this buggy's awesome. There we go. Oh, wait. What the sh? I missed every single shot. Damn, this looks pretty good, though. Beautiful. Look at the sunset. Dirty. This literally feels like PC PUBG. Damn! This is insane. It feels so good. Let's go, baby! Oh, Heck oh yeah! God. If this is an alpha, damn. But it was a doozy. But it was awesome. It really was. It was awesome. I'm not exaggerating. This game is actually amazing. Don't forget, this is just an alpha.
final wrangle of today of the playoffs for Europe West here as we once again take to the battlefield. It's um, it's do or die time for everyone in Group A here. You will be out. You'll be sitting and watching the last three matches unfold after this one. And then all you can do if you find yourself within the top three right now is... Um, Make all the prayers that you can that no one takes your spot away from you. That is the situation that we find ourselves in here for us coming into the final one. Also, you have a few teams with a win under the belt as well uh, mm -hmm. that is playing the last game here. It's going to be Entropic, Viz, and Verprox. If Viz or Verprox wins a game here, that means that Entropic will not be going to PCS5. Yeah, that would be uh, that would be tough, and we were kind of we were, we were because one thing I mean, and again, it sounds weird to say, but one thing is PCS five, but the big picture where you really want to make an impact is the PGC at the end of the mm. year, the glo the global championship. Europe is going to be sending seven teams through. We already have a confirmation that VP are pretty much through, given the fact they have a billion points already. Um, but but there's still there 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 is still a lot of other spots up for grabs and even if and this goes for both heroic and entropic who are currently both outside of top 3 even if they don't qualify for PCS5 they might oh, oh that's my. an interesting circle <laughs> they might still be able to make it to PGC but of course that's still a little down the line we'll go way more in detail with that as we make our way through the PCS5 finals and and get a better picture of how things are looking. I'm just saying, if you're an Entropic fan and they don't make finals here, don't go home and, and, and get super upset because there is still a chance, there is still a chance that they could make it through to PCS. Or PGC, I should say. Yeah, still a chance. But this is the last chance to make an impact here yeah. right now. That they have control over the situation. So far, we seem to having a good control over the situation, but not enough to the point that they can actually say to themselves, we're actually going to go to PCS5. Hmm. It's, um, it, it's going to be tough, no matter how we put it. One thing that's funny with this circle is, I, I like to call it kind of the south side belt. Look at how many teams we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six teams. No, five teams make that, sorry, on that southern side, who I'm all expecting will most likely wrap in south of Quarry or towards Quarry. Um, it's always fun to see how all these teams coming in the south side, how far they decide to go. Because mm. if you're the first team to move, for example, of trucks here, and you say, you know what, we'll sit around Quarry or we'll take Cat Hill further on the east side, that's going to make it so, like, that's a big roadblock for all the next teams that are coming in. So if one of the early teams decide to not go far, that's going to make it real hard for the teams that are further out to get a safe passage into the circle. And with so many teams having to rotate west now because of where the first circle is, that can really make for some weird and wonky situations where you're forced to take fights because all of a sudden you're three teams next to each other and you thought the rotation was safe, but you get like these traffic jams where everyone's just kind of caught in the same awkward situation. Also, you got to consider a team like Verprox, when they dropped out, they should know exactly how many is left on the plane itself. Yeah. And they should know that this is a time where it's not going to be that many people. We want to rotate early. Don't loot too much right now. We can go to a compound. We can loot up inside a circle and make sure that we're in a good spot mm. to play from from the beginning. And from the look of it right now, they have two players that is uh, just rotating right now. You can't really see them. They're just outside the map on the south side there. Uh, on the down right but we can see here the statistics of uh, the last dance of course yeah. as well and uh, look at Godrilla we, we've seen him pop off time after time but yeah it's outstanding uh, yeah. the number of kills he got but if you look at the damage pretty even throughout the whole team yeah the uh, the flusher I guess we can call him only 15 <laughs> knocks but uh but still, a 24 kills. That's some good. Uh, either either killing the final guy on the team or or flushing players who didn't get the knocks on. Solid performance, nonetheless, keeping the team up there in kills. And uh, again, of course, a lot of their a lot of their momentum came off of their back to back wins on their well, actually, first two games. Pretty insane yeah. when you think about it. Um, and they, they, of course, will still get to play on Miramar later as they are currently in Group C. Uh, they still have a way to go in terms of the rotation. Haven't opted to go yet. The team that has opted to go is Enterprise. Enterprise, they are making their way over. They already have Grandis over towards uh, Everest. And, well, I mean, we've seen a ton of circles going this direction. So not exactly a bad place to be. Yeah. 
and you could easily take control of the whole Everest uh, in a circle like this. Basically, you want to play two guys on west, two guys on the east, and uh, make sure that you can scout as much as possible. Scouting not only what's free inside the circle, but also what is coming towards you. That's not going to fit, Recycle Bin. It's, uh, it's not always easy. If you're not used to driving a big car like that, being able to maneuver around, <laughs> not, an easy, not an easy rotation to have to make. Let's see now, Havoc. Making their rotation on as well. No one Gatka. Everyone's already opted to go further west, fortunately for them and for the other teams that are currently out on the east side. There is some space for them to maneuver and entropy. Stopping early. Of course, wanting to scout forward. Don't want to risk anything. We've seen so many times how that team that wins the game goes straight to 16th place the game after. And if you're entropy, of course, you would not want to have that happen. Black. Over by Milta Power, a team that is playing their last game as well for today or for this uh, tournament. And uh, right now, you can see they're so far away from Circle, they don't want to rotate early. Because the chances are that the teams that is uh, be uh, between you and the Circle hasn't moved yet. And mm. you don't want to be passing them. You want to take your time. You want to make sure that your rotation is going to be secure. It's going to be safe to get towards the Circle. There's no rush when you're that far away. Exactly. There are certain teams that already at this point know they won't be qualifying. So this is a uh, kind of a... I, I don't know what you call it when you... Because I, I get you get like the showboat round where you've already won the race. But what do you call it when you play but you have already lost the race? I don't know. But that's the thing that other teams that are still in the qualifying position have to keep in mind. There are teams that are technically already out. That simply cannot make it in at this point and how will they play we talked about last dance playing a little careless in the previous two games that could be six teams doing that in this one and that's going to make it incredibly dangerous to take any fight at all here at the same time we don't know though like if you look at it some of the teams that is playing in this uh playoffs in this tournament right here they earned their spot from playing good in the uh, playoffs for PCS4. And we might see the similar thing in the future. So you still want to put up the best possible result because that might be uh, something for you in the future if you do that. True. Let's but see. we don't know yet. No, nah, no, 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 you're right, you're right, you're right. We're a team on the uh, rotation, realizing they have Entropic players up above them. Entropic, the ones to take control of Everest now. As everyone else make their way towards the circle. We still have five teams that aren't inside yet. And they're actually rotating pretty similar timings. Just off of your screen, you have um, you have Shift W a bit further ahead. They were taking shots at them just before. And right behind Fark, actually, if they stop for too long, they're going to be having Black rotating in right behind them. Here they are on your screens. They're going to be the last team to join the party. And there's still plenty of space east, plenty of space south as well. I mean, oh, for us, if we got a south shift here, like straight down to Quarry, uh, that would be the biggest funnel Ooh. of a rotation pass we'd see in a long time. Nice shots, Yanni. Yeah. Popping M's out of the vehicle. Not a whole lot you can do about that one. And more fights escalating now as Yuri pulls down. We saw Fox do damage before. Now they do it again. Do it. Finds a second. Cox goes down too. And that is not what you want to have happen if you're last dance. And at the same time, look into the east. Black is going to come in as well. They're going to hear this. They're seeing this. Oh, that is going so slow up. But Gorilla is going to escape with this for now. But look at this. For Epic Fark, they are chasing him down. They know yep. that he's slow. They know they tagged him. They know that the vehicle is, uh, is smoking. <laughs> and I mean, they're basically a just following the smoke trail. A team with nothing to lose is a damn scary team. They won't be qualifying for It's the last match, and they didn't get the kills to contest in Tropic with even one win here. Ooh. And they're just full on on the on. Oh, down goes one. Get away from the car, though. Run, 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 run. Don't be close to the vehicle when it explodes. <laughs> Godzilla will go down. Replace them with his that's coming in. Having had a good performance so far, but for this game, well, Mom is going to be all on his own. Mom is, yeah, last man standing for the last stand. Black, they got their eyes on Mama. They, Mama took shots at him, and they were not happy about that. And now, Mom is going to get chased down as well here by Black this time. Oh, this is tough. This is really, really tough. Let's see Nowik on the chase here as well. Black as well. A team with nothing to Going lose. to the water. Going the, to the water. The ones that are really <laughs> feeling the hurt from this last stance. <laughs> They're running into all the teams with nothing to lose here. And unfortunately, that becomes their downfall. 
Now, Black already took a long time to loot, so they're probably pretty set over and don't need to loot the corpses. Meanwhile, we do see the second circle pop, and it's going to go a little bit towards the south, actually. Not too much to the south, but, you know, it's kind of a little bit what you're alerted to. It's not too many people. Draw a line in the center of the new circle, and you can see on the south side, you have Shift W. And that's about it. Mm. Uh, Black is going to be joining them from that south side, but all of the other teams, yeah. they're basically north of that, and it's going to be congested <laughs> up there. More, I, mean, I think every single knock we've had so far, <laughs> we've lost eight players. Every single knock has been either from a vehicle or shooting at a vehicle. Here comes Physics, full pull up on Duffy. You take one of ours, we'll take one of yours. Duffy and the Dolphins, well, one player down, still three left to fight, and Viz in the meantime trying to get themselves into a better position in the circle. And remember, Viz is going to be playing their last game here now, and down to two players left, that is going to be rough for them, but it's far from over. We've seen worse uh, situations being recovered. Well, thanks, Seti. Finds Tixi. More and more damage being done here in the final game for a lot of these matches, including the Dolphins here as well. Did manage to get a win despite having a couple of chances to do so. They did oh. manage to stay pretty high up with the kills. Let's see now. Don't shoot, please. In trouble as well. Running into multiple opponents. And Explicit trying to see what he can do with the Annie in this position here too. There's so many fights going on right now. Mm -hmm. On so many odd we, places. <laughs> we talked about it. If the circle shifts <laughs> in south, because everyone opted to play further north, if the circle goes south, everyone's going to be trying to rotate at the same time. And because, I mean, well, for starters, vehicles are in incredibly easy to shoot from. Hell, if I can do it, mm. pro players can do it 15,000 times better. So, um, so it's one of those where they want to keep driving, but then you get stuff like this happening, and then you're forced to stop it take the fight if you have two players knocked in the middle of the open and you have, a, you have a chance to stop force the other guys to keep driving and get the reses you got to do it and therefore you get these fights in the middle of the open in the middle of areas where you go wait what, how did that even happen and well but, that's that's your reason why but look at forafic park if they play like this every game they got five kills so far all four <laughs> still alive and they're all good basically they haven't got a shot at they are the only ones chasing people and just shooting them down one by one. I don't want to have a dinosaur running behind you. We've seen that in Jurassic Park enough <laughs> times. No, it's scary. And well, here the dinosaurs come chasing again. They, yeah, why, did, why didn't you just drive around in vehicles for the entire 12 games you were playing? I'm sure that would have been a better end result. I, I think... I think that's that's a wrong way of putting it. We'll see. They are still in their vehicles, driving further towards the circle. Where team currently, the only team not inside the circle, they'll be coming in from the south as well. And we still, I mean, for us, we still have a very, very big split. If we cut mm. a line straight through the middle of the circle here, there are way more teams up on the north side than we have down south. Yeah, definitely. Ferrari Fark, though, still in the vehicle. So you know what to do if you're getting chased by Ferrari Fark. Stand still. Don't move. Don't make any sounds. Is that what dinosaurs do? Or have you not seen Jurassic Park? Oh yeah, no, I gotcha. I, I was a little. <laughs> yep. <yeah. laughs> don't make a sound. They, they 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 don't they don't they don't see well the dinosaurs. They don't hear well. Circle. Well, it goes south enough for this one to be a spicy one. And Tropic shifted away from. They need a damn good game here, and they're sitting. Well, currently the team furthest away from the circle. We'll see how they make their approach here. Here comes the dinosaurs parking the vehicles. All calm, but Yanni says no. Not gonna happen. Ronnie Cray up close. The teammates are coming in as well. He's pushing alone without them being here. Goes aggressive and it costs him dearly. Here comes the rest of the team with the drive by stuff. Joy is gonna go down as well, and it's only Robin Sandy now versus Yanni. One versus one. Yanni is tagged up, but he does find him. But wait! <laughs> A nade uh, from the Dolphins! Throwing the nade from Nanya to get the kill. And, they, well, you They're, got loot for years over there now. Graveyard. And eight cast for cover. Yeah, that's our new graveyard right there. Yep, we get one every game for us. We get one every game. I wonder how many more players we can kill in that spot. Because yesterday, I think we had, what? Was it 12 crates in one area? Something along those lines, if not even more, on the Shift W yeah. win. That was just insane. Well, okay, if we look at it right now, though, it's calmed down a little bit. But I mean, we're down to four to three players in phase three. Yeah. So it's plenty of space to play still. Plenty of space for every team to take. 
a team that we've been talking a lot about is the Tropic. They're currently sitting on the north side, outside mm. the circle, taking very slowly, but methodically. Uh, the way inside and, and and one thing that's good in this situation because usually we'd be saying oh, okay so we have one game to go out and do well it's not good that so many teams die early because you need the kills and if they keep just yolo fighting everywhere else on the map that's potentially kills for you going away but i mean entropic could literally like they'd be satisfied with a zero kill win here they don't oh, yeah. need kills while they probably want to get them just because they don't like sitting around doing nothing they don't need kills but they desperately need the win so uh, so they're probably pretty joyous seeing so many teams go down early because that should in theory give them more space to move around hold on have you seen the split from black right now yep the one 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 split it's that is taking split. up the whole circle yeah they're 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 making sure no one is using boats to rotate into the circle i like it it's uh yeah, what's the side is ours <laughs> it's coast patrol you know they're making sure that no one's wrapping in on this one in before the next circle, hard shifts east over towards the gut compound. They can go, well, we had half the circle and still none of us were in. That's unfortunate. We'll see, of course, in just about 15 seconds time where the next one will go. Gaxi picking Mackin back up. up. It's, uh, it's tough to be a swamp dolphin, but we'll see if the circle will grant them some favors now that they are here. Four, three, two, one. Where are we going? Set up Ooh, in the okay. middle of the open. That is very rough to play if you're yep. not Verprox and having the guard compound. Remember, yep. Verprox, they were looting by Fairy Pair. They were one of the teams that were closest to the circle. Them and Dolphins that was inside. And they, I mean, Verprox has taken a really good spot to play from. We'll just have to see what you can do with it. Silas here, finding some shots here on Yikes. But they are driving straight towards his teammates as well. <laughs> I, I, I don't know anyone that can control a 4X or even a 6X the way that Silas can. I mean, he's got yeah. enough highlight videos on YouTube to show. His, his like, scoped in sprays with guns is absolute next level. Gaxi finds physics. There's still class next door. Did he get attacked by the Ooh. Molly? No, he did not. Still alive. And kick in. Not that much HP to show for, though. Nate from forward's not going to do any damage, at least not first time around. Gaxi trying to back off. Does manage to get away, but Xadi goes down. Ooh. They do manage to get class on return, though. Yeah, Gaxi does find him with that nade. Good hold, but here comes the Tropic as well. They heard this. They want to get involved. They're still pushing their way into the circle, and this is the best way, right? You Hello? Know, Anyone you know home? <laughs> <laughs> uh... Let's see what Entropy is going to do here, though. Nades are getting cooked. They know that Gax is around this point. Yeah. Havoc getting involved as well now mm -hmm. from the eastern side. Pretty close by. Just on the other side of the swamp there now. Entropy. Entropic needs to change their focus from Gaxi. They know it's a solo player. At least they know if they follow the kill feed that Dangerous Dolphins are very low on their on cavalry. If they know there's a four-man stack on the east, that has to be their main priority. Again, kills don't matter. They could even just try and scare them away, but they cannot risk losing players here. Yeah. They do want to find Gaxi, though, just to clear them out and know that that side is going to be free from them. And then they can totally just focus on Havoc that is shooting on them from the eastern side of the wall. Meanwhile, though, Entropy, the winner from uh, the last game, they are looking to get into the guard compound that is held by Verprox, the winner of the first game. So the two winners here from today so far is going up against each other from the look of it. Mm-hmm. Trying to see what they can find. Obviously, not in a hurry to push inside the buildings. Makes makes pretty good sense that that's not really a priority of theirs. Let's wait and see if the circle is going this way. It's it's so unfortunate when we have a team that that full on pushes a building that they didn't really have to, do, and then the next circle goes outside of that area. Loka Rooks does find Gaxi, so that's a, a swamp dolphin dealt with. They will go down. In 12th place, Black now realizing they have players coming in from behind them, and they'll take the fight to them now. Ick, taking shots, but he's going to get shot in the back fight. Super Jack from the compound needs to really watch out here where he's peeking and who he's leaving himself exposed to. And it's all by himself on the south of Cider, so it's going to be rough for him now to try to get back because Yaks might try to push up on them. If they saw him go into that shack, that's an easy nade or molotov to get in there. But we see the circle up there. It's going to go to the west. It's going to be a swamp ending here. Swamp ending. It's been a while since we've seen one of those. Of course, some pretty memorable ones if we go back in uh, global PUBG. I remember Face and Gen G having a good battle in the swamp once for uh, for for pretty pretty decent amount of money. Mm. 
Super Jack, sneaky peek, moving his way forward, trying to remain unnoticed, at least for now, Loka Rooks. Again, this fight between Entropic and Havoc up on the north side is, uh, is one we'd want to follow, even though they're outside the circle right now. Oh, you thought you were invisible, didn't you, buddy? Wait, what? Riss? 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 Okay, finally. <laughs> that took a little longer than he would have wanted it to. Got to be able to control that SKS. Fortunately, does get the kill. But that is also why you see Black having that counter split so they can cover each other from different kind of angles there. And that is so smart from them. Having four people out there mm. a big part or portion of the of the current circle. But they also got to be careful. Again, Novik is still sitting in that shack there. I'm worried for uh, Entropic in terms of whether they got their vehicles into this previous circle or not because Blue is moving in right now. And while they are holding off against Havoc, he has solid damage being done. Only two more players left alive. If they don't have cast, this next circle, like this next, next push to the new circle is going to be incredibly difficult. Oh, wait, they have 19 casts over at QB. Never mind. We have we have the graveyard. <laughs> I forgot about that. They have the graveyard on the other side. It's all good. They got, they got like three casts each. It's fine. <laughs> Pick and choose. Which yeah, color? Man. Which model? Which one? We got them want, all. <laughs> <laughs> the free car dealership. They're, they're getting in them now. Yep. Oh, Greg. And how much damage can they do? Does he actually push on them as they drive away? Oh, first oh, one. They're, See, ready they're ready to shoot and return, though. Ooh. And oh, my lord. Him and actually able to find him. But that's from way up the hill. But look Maybe at this. Him and so instantly turning to nail up afterwards. One gone down. All of Entropy goes down as well. That's a fight on the east side. They're waiting to see Brew. They will go down to an Entropy. Just exactly. Makes it in with three. And I'm pretty sure we just lost Entropy as well. Uh, Verprox took them out. That means that they're going to be out more or less. They had one win, but that's not going to be enough. Wait. Frost. Yes? Um, Entropy is playing free market games. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> I can do it back. too. I can help you too. Yes, it's not only you correcting me today. Woo! It's a give and take. Give and take. <laughs> it's a give and take. Bring sometimes you give, sometimes you take. <laughs> well, explicit fights for the shack. He gets to maintain the shack. Entropic thought they could aggress on it, but not going to happen. Not if you have Uptrogus anyway. Seven kills, still four alive. Maintaining real good control right now on the swamp side of things. But this next circle... If you're an Entropic fan, you're praying for it to go north. This might actually not be that bad either. They have to rotate west, though, straight into black. And as you can see here, there's a bit of the run that's going to be hard. But right now, I mean, if, if Silas and black can help them out here, that'd be huge. But Entropic needs to make a play to the west, to the hillside. And the question is whether Rod Trucks will let them do that or not. Do you know who's saying this is not too bad right now? That team is called Shift W, sitting in that compound yeah. on the yeah. southeast. They haven't done anything so far. <laughs> Remember that. They they have all the utilities. They have yep. all of the armors, all of the helmets. Everything is still in their backpacks and ready to go whenever it's needed. They are chilling, to say the very least. And X oh, tries no. to get one, didn't finish the flush in the first before he peeked to the second. The Beetle punishes that instantly. Auto did go down to low HP. They both got tagged up pretty bad. But Senex did commit to the first one, which means he's going to go down. Auto knocked instantly after, though, by Freak. More players are trying to get angles on this. Beetle is able to stay alive. At least, uh, at least first For time around. Yeah, exactly. It's still, still quite a journey ahead of him. You can pick and choose here. Mm -hmm. You can go for Yikes or for Shift W. Yeah. Make your choice. Make your choice. Explicit. Well, you have a car outside. I think it's blown up, but I mean, is he going for it? I, I would be surprised to see him taking a car here. I'm not sure exactly where he'd no. be driving. Yeah, he should be on foot, but how far is he going? Oh, Beetle. I like that free kill never gave this one up. They knew there was going to be one more on that side. Um, Xenix had seen two, gave the info that two players were there. They never gave up this angle. They need to deal with uh, with Beetle here. And for Yikes as well, I mean, they got three more games to play. So despite the fact that they're in 22nd right now, if they get a good win here to start things off, that's good for them. Baverit in trouble, losing two. And now this battle, I mean, again, we have to expect... For Entropic to be pushing up the hill, but they need to wait for Vavarit to be out of the picture. And the big thing is here that Ooh. this is a big fight for both of these two teams right now. Yeah, Black I mean... trying to find their first win. Entropic looking for the second win. And they can't afford to lose a single player here, neither of the teams. But I they mean... need to fight each other. And while we say it's a, it's an important fight for both, even if Black do get the win, they still wouldn't be able to qualify. So I'd make the argument that the... 
The, the match is a little more important here for Entropic. Solid damage coming in, fortunately for Silas. Not able to connect the shots needed to get it second time around. Look at that 6x spray coming in with the AOG. Really doing damage down towards Ivers. I like the way he's peeking around the ridge here. Full control, but Entropic are still pushing forward. And he doesn't want to over peek, as you can see. He's taking very slowly. It's not finding oh, things explicit, there inside. Explicit, explicit, explicit! <gasps> oh no! The snake! The snake from behind comes up over, pounces, takes one out, QBE down. Ivis and Lookarooks, the only two left alive. Lookarooks now down as well. Again, we said it earlier, Black, they might not have the uh, most experience playing as a team, but when it comes co up close battling, they are real damn good at it. Explicit comes over the top, takes one more down, and he will fall. So, Entropic, you are now out, and you desperately need either Yikes or Black to win this game, because if either Shift W or Verplux wins it, you are out of top three. Yeah. And let's be honest, right now, both Verplux and Shift W is in pretty decent shape here. Yeah. Verplux is down to two players every shot a lot, but they are in a decent spot to play from. Brexco trying to find something to play from here, but they want to take more angles, want to take yeah. more controls, and that was what Brexit was looking for. But Steam Vertrox, he opted to not go for it. I mean, this is looking incredibly good right now for um, for for the likes of Shift W with four alive, and as you said before, haven't really had to fight anything yet. So helmets, vest, utility, all is still in pretty good shape. It's it, it, it it's gonna be tough for uh, Black as you can see you're coming down the hillside. Yikes are looking for them on one side and uh, Shift W on the other. Chris needs to hit some shots here in order to prevent them to make this run. It's actually Ooh. gonna be Silas on the other side doing the damage below. That's a lot of damage as well. Being dealt, but we also saw of course that Chris did find Azza from Verprox, so Verprox down to one player. Oh Azza. Goes down and out. Duff falls as well. Chris with a nade in hand. That would require one hell of a panzer faust in order to get all the way up to Riz. So not gonna happen. Second one though. Well, it's on the call of Azza, but not gonna really do a whole lot. Free kill. He's gonna go down. Blue takes him out of the picture. Foot foot. That vehicle's on fire. Yep. Down he goes. Brax gets the kill. And now 4v3. Black. The win might not matter all that much in the grand scheme of things, but uh, this is your chance to help out Entropic. The team that took out Entropic yep. might be the one who helps them out as well. We'll have to wait and see if Brexit does find Silas, so that's a big find. Now, Black being down to two members, down to one, only risk left alive, and looks like Shift W is going to take this one. Four versus one. Oh. Riss does find the first one. Not gonna give up, not gonna give up. This is all for uh, all for show. Riss, you got a chance here do something not even gonna fully commit to confirm that one the oh. remaining three players again don't want to take any chances either not gonna matter chris finds him with the net you can see the excitement of chris super heavy shaking the head there as well only a nine kill only a nine kill game what i'm saying a nine kill kill <laughs> nine kill win from shift w they got to sit in the compound for a while but they do manage to get the win they will be your third team to claim win number two and with that said <sighs> despite playing Phenomenal, phenomenal PUBG and Tropic are out. That is very sad to see uh, after seeing that kind of performance from a team that they're not going to be making it. Like, every game, they had, what, one game outside of top six. Yeah, that's, I mean, they, they uh, it's, in many regards, it's a very unforgiving format if you can't get the wins that really, we, we used to back in the super settings days talk about consistency as long mm. as you get up there. That's what it, that's what it's all about. Consistency, consistency, consistency. Now, closing out games. That is the new uh, thing we'll be saying on repeat. If you get into the top five, you damn better convert them into wins because second, well, that gives you the same thing as 16th. Nothing in rewards other than the kills you're able to obtain. And unfortunately for Entropic, not able to get it. But solid game for Shift W, an important one as well for us coming into the final three matches. And great to see that they, they opted to play a little bit more passive game. They took that compound and they didn't want to take in fights until towards the, uh, the end game there. Mm. Because a lot of times we see them trying to go for the kills early in the game and not only using a lot of utilities, but also maybe losing a player or two. Now, having everything done for them, they basically just a full force with four people up 
just an unstoppable force. Yeah, and, and not just any team, right? I mean, they've shown us time and time again. They can, especially when it comes to those, like, in-game spread out, take control fights, they can go up against anyone and uh, and completely butcher them. And while it wasn't really a butcher because there had been so much damage done across the board coming into that final fight, there was nothing in my mind that thought that Shift W weren't going to win that match in the end of it. Mm. Yeah. It was... I mean, it was just full control from them. And you saw how careful they were as well. The only risk they took was basically Brexco driving with the vehicle on the east side, mm. trying to find an angle, a place to play from. But he couldn't find anything. He was covered by his whole team the whole time. And he could just easily drive back without getting shot a single time. Mm. Now, of course, with uh, Group A done for, we have a, a pretty good outline, at least of who will not be qualifying. Not only is it in Tropic, but of course, also a couple of other teams that won't have a chance to make it on through. Having said that, they, uh, for in Tropic in particular, as I said before as well, there is still a world where even though they didn't make PCS5, they do manage to qualify for PGC. So don't give up on, uh, on the hopes just yet. We are now, though, Frost, introducing Group B to the battle, and one of the main teams out want to say is in that group is heroic can yes. they turn some of their many late game performances as well into wins we'll get to see when we head on over to miramar yeah i mean heroic is a team that we're also expecting of course to go through here uh and so far as you're saying their performance has been splendid they've been playing really good but again a team that hasn't been able to close down the games mm. they are able to keep themselves towards the end game but if you can't close down close down the games you're not getting anywhere so far they have one win on the board but we have three teams now with two wins on the board that means yeah. that you have to have at least two wins to go through to pcs5 and exactly. a lot of kills on top of that <laughs> 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 Yesterday was uh, the tongue, today it's the entire head bobbing around trying to uh, show the emotions of the happy German player there. Chris been in the scene for a long time and truly joyous with that win. And for them also, the fact that even the games they didn't win, now they get the win, but with ten or with nine kills, sorry, as well, they have been racking up kills in the games they haven't been winning, which is going to be massive. Because as you said, we have a tie all the way at two. And look at this. They just jumped <laughs> into first place. This is is massive for them because there's a good chance that the teams like we, we might have one more team joining with the second kill or second win maybe we'll get even more and then it's all going to be about kills yeah and if you look at it right now you can see all the teams on the left side has a win right now right mm -hmm. but there's a few teams that won't be playing so those those teams will be out and it's going to be what entropic um this and uh, Verbrox. Yeah. Those three teams are not going to be qualifying. Uh, well, of course, with the rest of the teams that were playing from Group A. But it's going to be rough for them coming in now for some of the other teams in uh, in Group B there, knowing that, yeah. okay, we need to get a win. Earlier, you could basically only get kills if you were going to surpass Entropic, which would be hard enough. But now, with a win, we'll have to wait and see. But we are going to take a short break before we come back with some uh, Miramar game. So stay tuned. Get ready for PUBG Continental Series 5. After fighting through open qualifiers, 15 of the toughest challengers from the Middle East and Africa, Europe West and Europe East meet nine invited squads in high-octane regional playoffs. There, rosters will battle it out for a chance to compete in the PC S5 Europe Grand Finals, where they can take their shot at the $250,000 prize pool. And that's not all. PCS5 is the last chance to earn those all-important PGC points, and the Grand Finals winner will be invited to the PUBG Global Championship directly. 
The Grand Finals action takes place every weekend from September 18th to October 3rd. Watch the stream and support your favorite team at PUBG Continental Series 5. We'll see you on the battlegrounds.
Here we go. Group A is all done for in the regional playoffs. And Group B now joins the battle along with the Group C players, of course, who have already played three matches today. I'm Toby, joined by Frost. And we have got three more matches to go, Frost, before mm -hmm. we will crown the three teams that will make their way to the grand finals. You know what is super scary for all of the teams, except for three of them right now? Is, is that, that all of the games? Well, the three leaders is still playing the three uh, mm -hmm. remaining games here. Mm -hmm. Yep. No one in Group A managing to clinch top three spots before their departure. So, yes, it's true. It's uh, it's going to be tough. But 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 also, I mean, we saw kind of in the previous game, maybe also a little bit in the game before that, that uh, there are teams now that know they won't qualify and they could easily become incredibly dangerous for the teams currently trying to fight for top spots. Yeah, definitely. We're going to turn our eyes a little bit towards Heroic, though, because they're, they're one of the teams, one of the big names here that's going to be playing. That is going to be chasing for another win to get themselves into the top three. Currently with one win, and so far as we know, you have the uh, the last dance, you have Shift W, you have Skate, all three teams with two wins. So currently, those three teams are sitting on the top of the leaderboard. And we're playing for the top three spots here with three games remaining. Yep. Everybody, everybody can qualify. It's uh, it's not often we see that with only three games to go. But because no one has managed to separate themselves to such an extent that uh, th that they've gotten, well, more than three wins, of course, that would be a lot to ask. But still, sometimes you do see it. Uh um, then, yeah, it's, it's really up for grabs for everyone here. You just, quote unquote, have to get... Three wins. Yeah, three wins. So we got the first circle. It's going to pop towards the northeast. And look who's in the center. It's our current leader, Shift W. They're going to be sitting in El Al Sahar where they normally loot. They're going to be pretty comfortable with this one. We'll just have, have to wait and see where they want to uh, uh, take, what kind of position. We know that they fought earlier. It would be in a compound more to west than pretty early on against uh, Rice and Wine. Rice and Wayne. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we saw him yesterday. But that compound is probably not going to be contested, not in this circle here. Probably not. Shift W sitting dead center. We know they like to loot up in the uh, in Lesaha area of the map. They've been up here ever since the G2 days, really. It's uh, yeah. it's been it's been it's been German territory <laughs> for for at least all the games that they've been playing. And I kind of like that. I mean, we, we do see quite a few teams. Who, uh, who who change up the scenery every now and again, just uh, whether it's because of patch things or maybe other teams are coming to contest. Uh, there, are, there are still the, the, the few that through the changes, through the roster changes, through org changes, through whatnot, they have uh, stuck with the same. And I think you can go... I mean, I would like to see a tournament where where Brax didn't uh, and his team up to loot a huh? It's been a while. Yeah. I mean, that's normal how it goes, right? You're feeling comfortable from that position and you have an IGL that has been playing from that area for so long that they, they know exactly what they want to do. This, though, it's Chris. He's not going to connect any shots, but he is all by himself as well over here. He might want to just back off from this, try to move away if he can. Full speed sprinting for the building as well. It's like, are you not going to look back at least once in that uh, 20 meter sprint? Maybe he did the math and was like, you know what? He couldn't be close enough because he had his back turned for a while. And if Elska had sprinted up the hill to shoot him, that could have been at least a couple of bullets connected before he got to the building. But uh, Chris, playing it safe for now. Pressured him off, forced him to leave. Elska reversed all the way down the hill, got himself <laughs> safe inside the building. And well, we, we, I mean, honestly, we've seen so many games end in this valley or around this valley that I don't expect Elska to actually want to move from here anytime soon. And seeing Chris actually holding down that compound, not leaving it, kind of gives a clue that that's where they want to play the game from. Mm -hmm. That's where they want to gather up and play from around that area. Yeah. And that's why he didn't opt to just like run away from it. Yeah, it's a solid, solid low ground position to maintain control of because it's so incredibly difficult to push. Not, I mean, it's okay, so you could easily drive a vehicle down the hill and just crash into the building. But because there are so many other teams that be able to shoot at you both when you're driving down and also when you're in that position, if you're not inside the buildings, come later game, you will be shot at by like four different teams. So very mm. few teams will up to try and crash it. And also, it's very hard to scout. Uh, when you're about to make the rotation in. Having said that, I mean, Frost, this weekend, I think I've seen more blind crashes than I have out of, I don't know how long. So uh, I would still be a little worried if I was playing that position. Yeah, 
We might have a fight coming up here very soon here between Snip and the Last Dance. Last Dance, we know that they haven't been shy of the fight. They're going for the tires, but he's going to get punished Ooh. for doing that. Karks taking the fight to him, and you can see this. I mean, Last Dance, they... They're around here, but doesn't seem like they're really wanting to take this fight. Karnx is trying to back off. Mum is trying to come over and help, not realizing that they are indeed peeking over the ridge line. Mum might want to stop this vehicle sometime soon. But there's going to be opponents close by Karnx. Shooting up hill. Not going to connect anything. Doesn't really have any meds. Low on utility as well. Mum peeking over with the 4 does find stealthy. Not as stealthy as you probably would want it to be. And Karx needs all the help he can get right now. Fortunately, good damage done. Seiko is knocked as well, so they're forced to back off for now. But does that allow for Karx to get back down the hill? I think it did. As you can see, Last Dance not shy of taking that fight. They still want to keep on pushing this, but they're going to take it slowly, though. Damage is done, and look at this. Rise and Win is just behind here as well. They got the sniff of Snip here now. They heard the shots. They know exactly what's going on. Oh, good shot, sir, from Koba. <laughs> Finding Seko. And that's another one down from Sniff. You know you're screwed when the first bullet in a spray like that is a headshot. You're like, well, I'm probably not going to survive this one. <laughs> Already got the dialed on in with the very first bullet. No, no, who sent us that lost the back tire on his vehicle. So the acceleration is going to be a little slower. We'll see, though. Should be able to, at least to some extent, get away from this one. Yeah. He's probably going to join up with Kleiner down here in this compound. They're probably going to try to play this low ground. Being two men down already. We're only seven minutes into the game. And uh, most of the teams have made it into the circles. We're still looking at a heroic and pull up that is still a little bit far out from the circle. Oh, a weird team as well, actually. Mm -hmm. It's all except for three teams have made it into the first circle. And um, as you can see, it's getting a little bit congested towards the center there. Veneer yeah. taking good control over the east side, though. Exactly, and when you have a hillside like that in the middle, kind of where a snip are positioned right now, it becomes so much more hard to really contest anything, because you're literally fighting an uphill battle your entire way there. So if you're driving up, you're going to be moving rather slow as compared to if you were just driving straight. It's hard terrain to run up, it's hard to scout uphill like that. And uh, for the teams that are sitting up there now, I mean, in a contrast, once they have to get down from there, it could uh, prove pretty difficult too. It looks like Veneer on the east side, they're trying to set up for a a, um, a rotation camp there. Mm -hmm. They have four people, so very spread out, but then they can take shots one by one if people are trying to rotate through them on the road there. Well, let's see, many teams, many, many teams still in the mix here with one win already. And uh, well, for Heroic, they're real close. m a little behind them at 36. And then we have Snip, actually the one with the most kills that are not uh, in possession of a win yet at 30. So uh, it's, it's it's still a pretty, pretty close battle. Of course, with Heroic be the ones closest to the top. Mm. They have shown decent results as well. But as we talked about, they haven't been able to close down more than one game so far. And that's the whole thing. You need to be able to close down the games or you're not getting anywhere. This is the MC rule that we're playing right now. Indeed it is. Very, very, very unforgiving. We've gone over that a couple of times, but uh, it's been proven to be many times. You really I mean, <laughs> can't hunt the lines enough. Those wins. Yeah. Those wins are absolutely everything. Um, let's see now. Enterprise trying to rotate further towards uh, a, a somewhat decent center position. They're still up on the northwestern side of things. And, and guess who is actually not too far away? At least they must have heard the vehicles coming in. You can kind of see him there peeking on over the ridge line. Fox, they had themselves a win on Miramar yesterday with a real good performance too. So uh, who knows? Maybe they can get, get themselves up into that two-win club as well. Mm, Skate, one of the top three teams there. Take a few shots. Sitting pretty comfortable. And not gonna try too much. They're towards the eastern side of the of the circle right now. Heroic on the other side, They're on the western side. Oh no! Last dance. Morix, get away. <laughs> Fortunately, got real, not really fully committing to the uh, to the battle. And also, it'll be fun to see if I mean nothing's guaranteed, but if Godrilla will uh, and, and and Last Dance will kind of change their more aggressive play style. We saw at the beginning of the day they didn't get that many. Uh, uh, that many kills in the last two games and of course didn't get that extra win in there so maybe now with kind of more on the line especially if a fourth team gets that second win 
that's when the three because right now the three teams on the top are kind of safe in the sense that they're the only ones with two wins but mm. if one more teams join that and all of a sudden becomes about the kills that could uh, that could force some change within those rosters oh definitely and you have a lot of good teams that has a win already that is potentially going to push them down if they don't get another win the last dance that is so they want to make sure to get themselves another win on the board and we saw them getting their first two wins in the first two games that was on Miramar they've been stelling they have a stellar performance on Miramar itself compared to Erangel so this is their strong map and we'll have to see what they can do about it meanwhile though M Force and Heroic, are they gonna go heads up here? I nope. wouldn't expect either of these two teams wanting to take a fight with 62 players still alive. They um M Force were were scouting forward, but because of the little speed bump they had trying to fight off uh last dance before they don't get there in time. And now heroic, well, they got control on the west side. There's no one playing Minas. All the lowland compounds actually. So should we see a south shift? <laughs> the buffet <laughs> is pretty much open for everyone to uh to, 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 to kind of chime in on. Everyone is playing either center or north and northeast. Uh, it's it's actually kind of unusual that no one, no one is playing lowlands, at least, and maybe just in a 2 1 1 split, like get some sort of control down there. Everyone right now up into play, either uphill or on the north side. But it comes down to the circle, right? It's yeah. kind of a hard shift towards the southwest. And we saw so many teams that was towards the center already that the teams that are that were on the southwest of the old circle is now the center of the circle so they're not going to opt to move out from there and you're going to have the other teams that need to rotate all the way around if they want to get to the south side which is super hard because you don't want to do the blind rotations that's why i say at least but mm. we've seen those happens time after time here <laughs> the past two days so who knows maybe we'll see a team trying to do that let's see Senex looking over the top Knowing that they have players down in the compound below. Still in a two, um, two-way two split here with Mika and Brax go up the hillside. New circle is popping just about a minute's time. And everyone else, of course, until then, will try and see how well they can position themselves. Entropy, actually, I mean, they were out on the east side before. But now they're wrapping even further north to try and see if they can get themselves into a better spot. You can see them up there towards the northeast. They can wrap in behind Havoc, but... Oof, that's going to be a tough angle of approach. I mean, they can stop up there, they can scout forward and realize that there's players over on that hillside. But if they try and wrap even further west, as we can see here too, there is no free entry to this circle from that side. The whole thing is also, if you draw a line from El Alsohar, just horizontal, you have that kind of big valley down there with the road going. And that is super hard to cross. Yeah. So if they're going to opt to go in from the north side, not only do you need to face the team that is on the north side of Wait, that uh, valley. DC? But then you Don't have tell to me he fight DC'd. Don't tell oh, me he no. DC'd. Maybe he doesn't see him. <laughs> yeah, he could be. He's just uh, walking <laughs> he by. He didn't see him. Wait. No way. No, no, no. Maybe way. Roy saw him and he what? saw, wait, he wouldn't be crouching downhill and he opted not to shoot him. That would, that would be the be most the gentleman ultimate. thing ever. Yeah. That, that would, would be, be the, the most the gentleman play ever. I highly doubt that's the case because these guys are, are are tasked with see something, shoot something. Um, but but if that's the case, that'd be amazing. Is he still running? I think he actually stopped running now, correct? Looks like he stopped, yeah. Oh my but lord. We have to we have to write to them afterwards. We have to write to pull up and ask if they actually saw him and didn't shoot because that would be the most uh, gentleman thing ever. Okay, looks like Icarus is back now. You see him moving around there <laughs> on the western side. We see a new circle of course pop up as well. He's uh -oh. got head towards the center. Here we go. Two of the top three teams fighting each other here now. Yep, the pull up. We said it was going to be a tough one, but if there's a team that want to kind of sit tight and come about not have to do much, have to do too much, that skate, rather take the aggressive push early and then get to uh, to chill out for a good while while everyone else is fighting. Let's see if it's going to pay off, though. We still have two of the Shift W players not inside the compound. Mika is up the hill, and Braxco is currently trying to get in here with the vehicle. You can see that up on your minimap on the bottom right side. He's going to be crouching in and crouching into the compound. Now Mika, as well, on a bike, trying to wrap down Mali. Does oh, hit good Chris. Molotovs. Does hit Chris. Two from forward, but they're not opting to make a push on it. They hear the first stage going on. They know that they hit the Molotovs. But at the same time, you don't want to push it. Kill your guy does the first push, actually. Jumps out. 
Anonymous Just didn't hear anything on that one. Oh, Chris. Crazy's in the other room. Spots the first oh. one. Gets him down as well. These buildings are so incredibly hard to push in. Chris does get taken down, but does manage to get out of the window first. They can't find the flush on him. Kiliakai, it's on you now to do damage in return to Koa. No, he's oh, down to beat. Koa. Falls as well. Kiliakai from the other side with a narrow angle. Bounces the nade through. And now there's just one more player from Skate left alive. And fortunately for all these teams, no one's really in a position to third party. Me did get back alive. Nogi is downstairs trying to hold this angle, but smokes are really, really limiting vision. As I said, no one was charming in. Now they are. <gasps> that nade is outside. One forward. Nate is outside. Sprague, Sprague. Wait, what? Okay, fair enough. Second nade takes him. Thought first one was going to do the damage. Still two alive. Chris flushed. And Vanir on the hillside now in a good position to do something too. Shift W trying to recover from this. We saw that Skate oh, recovered man. a little bit. They got two guys up right now. But they're going to get the rest on Brexco here. Now, they're going to be careful as you saw there. Uh, Vanir was uh, getting a little bit third party from the north side. Getting that flush on Chris. One good Nate here could be a double knock again. I mean, Nate's have been a little wonky both today and yesterday. <laughs> He's going to be blind <laughs> for like 15 seconds with that one. No audio, no visuals, no nothing. You know what? Get yourself an energy drink while, you're, <laughs> while your eyes are getting better. As you can see, most of the utilities from both of the teams are used now, used up, or both the Nates and the Molotovs. They often used them early on, trying to get an upper hand in that fight. Meanwhile, we're going to see a new circle pop and... That compound with Shift W and Skaters is still inside, but uh, meanwhile, you also have Rise and Win just oh. in the center in, in the junkyard there. You saw it on the map as well, just there. So freaking many players on the north side of this circle. Where team are literally the only team on the south half of this. Everybody else are fighting in from the north. And Entropy, the one that kind of wrapped in behind everyone, uh, are in between five different teams right now. I'm not sure how they haven't lost a single player yet. But they are in a fight now with uh, Veneer, and we see them trading back and forth, and here comes the fight. <gasps> Yellow gets uh, taken down as well. What a spray coming through its lips here, getting the knock initially, but solid damage coming through from Atomical as well. Atomical. These sprays are on point, but Dix with the mini from below takes him down. Last man standing from Havoc down there, Dix. He's far outside the circle, but doing some damage here to Entropy. Entropy needing to revive one more player though, but they gotta be careful because Vanille could be pushing on that as well. Oh, and deep. Apex. I believe only two left alive trying to hold off here. Skate trying to deny any sort of approach up the hill. Understandably so. Again, these buildings are so incredibly difficult to get a proper push on. Teggers falls down. Lipsia falls as well. And now Heroic making the push towards pull up. They were the ones not to. Wait, I don't think you can. That, yeah, you can't throw nades in that blocked. window. It's been changed. <laughs> it's it's no 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 bit. You can't you can't do that. I guess he learned that now. Um, Miramar remastered. Remember, guys, there are now windows that aren't really that easy to get through. Big size to do, and that's having out on 16th Ooh. place. Meanwhile, Apex or it's Calvin. Goes out on 15th. Yeah, Surfy in the meantime getting a good double. I actually like what Intrepid Fox were doing, trying to wrap south around reading that uh, that everything was kind of uh, exploding up towards the north. Unfortunately for them, where team were ready and waiting on that approach. Infos now in the meantime, trying to play it slow down below here. And uh, well, Paige, one knock was confirmed before. Now they get one more. Benz is up close. Roy on the other side trying to play the overview position. Issue is he's outside of the circle. And with phase four connected, you can't go down here, buddy, because then you're not going to get rest. And that's why you see Heroic stay on this position because they know if they get knocked, they're still going to be inside a circle. Mm. And there's a high chance that you can get the revive. And they only need to hold up, pull up. Once they do that, they came from the north, uh, Heroic. They know that the circle is going to be clear around them if they take care of pull-up. Yeah, and the good thing for Heroic is they've made so much space. They've played aggressive early to make sure no one's on their nearby east vicinity. So they can kind of play with their backs turned towards the center of the circle without having too much to worry about. Intrepid, well, they will fall down. Bill, I'm the last one to die there. He's going to go out, and now the remaining three pull-up players trying to wrap around Heroic. Don't want to take that fight. In the meantime, Infos full speeding towards the center of the new circle. Got themselves a good spot. Oh, well, at least a spot. Have themselves a shack to play around, but Ryzen and Win are the ones with the golden position inside Junkyard. Entropy getting themselves into another fight here, this time against Enterprise. 
they have just been fighting non-stop throughout the later uh, stage of the game here so far. They got themselves eight kills on the board and still three men up and taking the next fight here. Look at Lipsia. Oh, he is in this spot. No position. helmet. Nope. They've been battling on that north side of the map. Surprised to see that they are still in as good a shape as they are. Eight kills. They lost Atomical earlier to the snake. Now he spots oh. one. Did he see him as well? I think he oh. did. Oh my lord. That makes an instant headshot. Takes down Lipsia. Wasn't at full HP. And that's going to be him going down to one bullet to the face. Carlo gets one, but they will fall. Dead Get once ready, against though. there to do damage. And the last down's down. coming. The last dance is coming in here from the west side to take care of Xenix, the last man standing from Yikes. But now, they're gonna try to do something against Enterprise. The other team that they saw fighting Entropy here, they heard everything, they waited for the knocks to happen before they opt to go in. They got their way into the circle's way, so mm -hmm. they can basically take a little bit more time. But at the same time, Corexi, from a far distance, taking down Godrilla. Yep, that's uh, <laughs> way across With the map. With an SKS. There. Yeah, exactly. Well, don't don't hate on the SKS for us. What do you mean, best team out there? Uh, at least if uh, at doubtfully. Least... <laughs> I'm still trying to get people to play the SKS. Well, it's a, it's a tough <laughs> battle, but I'm trying. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh no! Oh no! He had a, the Mali. It was you're standing in the fire. He can't get out. He can only throw in the Mali. What are you doing? Roy goes down, gets stuck in the buggy. There can't get away from it. Benz is gonna potentially bleed out. Hello, Benzy. Rest, 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 what? rest, rest. <gasps> that oh. he doesn't even have any health <laughs> the left. Final tick. Misa now down to blue. Well, uh, that's what you get for crashing the compound, I guess. They will get away. Unfortunately, Mika will fall down as well. I'm not sure they're going to be able to get a rest up on him. He is going in first bleed, I believe. So might be able to stay alive. Nugi actually making a run for it. I thought we were just going to give up the points here, but no, not quite the case. Enterprise, 10 kills this game. Remember, they don't have a win yet. But, uh, well, they need all the kills they can get in order to at least get to get two wins today. Uh, contest for the top spots. Yeah, they've been fighting a lot, and they're looking for some more kills here. Yanni goes down to Flamido. Where was that from? from, from the, oh, oh, that's a straight on top of it. <laughs> Taking the entirety of M4's out. Nuki here still two first aids left. He is, uh, oh, he's gonna be a pain. He's gonna be a pain. He won a kill shift W. They're the ones that took them out. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see what he goes for. Last first aid being used now. So are you gonna help out shift W by taking down Detrix? What's gonna happen here down to the very last take as well? Looks up top spots, one headshot, body shot, finds the knock on Detrix. No Enterprise players nearby to help Braxton. Thank to kill you, as buddy. Well. I'm gonna take you out in return. And he's gonna get Killer Kai back up on his feet as well. Because of that knock, now they can't, uh, Enterprise can't really push Shift W yet. They gotta try to get those reses up. Oh, that is a tough break. Again, Circle going in the direction of Rise and Wind. They've been in here for, uh, well, quite a while, honestly. They looted here to begin with. Kovalevi, I don't think, has <laughs> driven more than... Uh, I think, in, in, in total, Kovalevi has probably moved around six meters this entire game. But uh, yeah. again, sometimes you catch nine, and it works out for you. Having said that, catching nine doesn't mean catching wins. There's still battle to be had. Let's see around the side. Elska finds one. Detrix finds the other. Shift W taken care of. Last dance still alive with three. They did lose one earlier. And Heroic out towards the west. Four alive there as well. Enterprise though. They recovered. Three guys still alive. They got 12 kills. And we're in down to the top six right now. That's some big names of course still here. Heroic still all four up as well. Still fighting... I guess pull up as well, not anymore because they are taken care of now by Wear Team. So basically, we're gonna see Heroic and Wear Team fight off yeah. probably on the south uh, western side exactly. real soon. I mean, if Heroic are smart, they try and kind of push Wear Team into the dump on take the fight. It's rise. We're not gonna happen right now. Though in the meantime, the fire on the hilltop it's gonna ruin. This is really when Heroic should start aggressing towards where team because they know right now that the two teams on top aren't really overlooking their position <gasps> and we know how scary heroic can be in these positions that's Karks. a good flash yeah maybe a little too far on it i'm not yeah, sure if he's bit. blinded or not second one over the top that should be good though don't flash yourself that should be him blind oh my lord nice spray coming through doesn't get yanni on the second transfer let's see nate over the top cooked primed thrown Forward. That's good. Is he gonna get it? Yes, he is. Money. Straight on the money. Takes him down. Has to make a run for it now, though. Double kill for cards. So at least double knock. 
to start things off. There's still Tetrix left to deal with Mummy. Over the top might be able to help him out here. You gotta reload, buddy. You cannot push this without any bullets. Hotsim oh, takes him down. Triple for Karks. And we're down to the top four now. You see that Rise and Win. They got four men up. The road four men up. The last dance. Two men standing. One knocked. And uh, where team? Down to one player. Yidi. Last last one up here against Heroic. Oh, All wait, surrounding wait. him. Rise and Win pushed out of the buildings. They wanted to get in on this. They wanted to try and see if they could third party. But now they're realizing, okay, the fight actually slowed down. We didn't see any casualties on the Heroic side of things. Let's back off here. Having said that, Kovalevi is staying open. And that might be him, baby, taking down the post. But just now, all of a sudden, last hands can pick over the other side. But the help is there. Elska able to kind of suppress Mommy there. I thought Mommy was getting himself a free knock. But unfortunately, he didn't land the bullets needed to take down Kovalevi. Circle again into Junkyard. We go literally catching all of them here but again circles don't equal wins you still have to best the teams that's been battling the whole game the rough one here is that heroic and the last dance they're gonna basically need to face each other because that compound is down between uh, those two teams mm -hmm. so whoever tries to push first towards the compound is gonna get shot by the other team so they need to take care of each other and rise and win they can just sit comfortably Shoot them back, hold yeah. them, uh, hold the teams back, and not do anything more than that. Well, they say comfortably. They uh, <laughs> seem a little shaky <laughs> to me. A little worried having two teams overlooking your position because that's kind of the threat, right? I mean, even though they have the comfort of the compound, they also cannot just look into a wall and expect them to fight one another. They have to keep peeking, but because they have low ground on this, as you can see here, the uh, the heroic players will get line of sight before they do from the look on position oh, and that damage there. That's the push. That's the push coming in. They can't leave themselves exposed, though, to last dance over the hilltop. That is a great push from Heroic, and they're just going to go bit by bit, not too far, step by step here, getting closer, getting the information. I mean, if Heroic could kill somehow last dance and then push into Ryzen, wouldn't that be huge? Four alive still for Heroic. Four alive as well for Ryzen Win. Three up on the hilltop. Issue for Heroic right now is that, well, Last Dance don't really have to go anywhere. At least not for the next good while. And I think that's now why Heroic are kind of uh, putting a little break on it. They don't want to over-aggress into the compound before a, a third party, uh, like before, before at least Last Dance becomes a threat to Ryzen Win as well. And you can also see that the last dance, they had one Bronco left up there. Mm -hmm. One vehicle that they could use to crash down to the warehouse and start playing from there as well. Yeah. So good for them that they managed to hold that one out. Yeah, vehicle not going to be used before it's absolutely necessary. And also, I mean, <laughs> knowing or at least expecting that there is still four alive inside the building, the odds are that there is also someone lurking somewhere inside that warehouse. And you can't just blindly... Uh, kind of pull into it. We'll see though what ends up happening. Heroic moving ever so much slower. They can still kind of wrap out on the left side, but if you kind of look at the minimap, there is still more space for last stands to be inside the circle without being ambition. Final circle. Well, didn't really grant anyone any favors other than rise and win. Straight sender. We're literally ending inside of Junkyard in this one. This is the rough part for rise Wait, and win as well now? because... They need to focus on both They're of going. the teams. But, well, oh, they were going early. They went early. One goes down. Yuri taken out instantly. Karks is down and next to Das and Mika as they push out and take the fight. Moment, you need to do damage. Remember, they're only three. If Heroic can get the wipe on these guys before anything else happens, that would be absolutely huge. Kovalevi is up close. Gets tax on correction. Oh, oh, what? Correction. Oh, what was that turn? How are you going to peek be peeking him like that? What? <laughs> that is that should, just a slaughter. That should not be legal. What? Correct, he just got tagged down to 20% HP. He and he said, you know what? Well. I'm going to eagle peek you. <laughs> I'm coming back. You're not just going to shoot me. I'm shooting Holy. back. Holy... Welcome to Heroic Correct. You aim on point, that's for sure. And all of a sudden, the numbers advantage is in the hand of Heroic. Jumping oh. forward, does it take full damage? No. Mommy stays alive, Beamy. Don't overaggress here, though. There are still players, but remember, remember, Rise and Win committed two to the Shack play. They only have Elska up close to Heroic. Right now, it's a 4v1 against Elska, but Heroic are not in a hurry to take this fight. They've done it before where they lose players early in the endgame and they don't win the game because of it. They're going to play it slow. They're going to play it smart.
They're gonna try to get as much uh, uh, information as possible before making a decision. Mama getting some good tag on Mikas there, forcing them back for now, and maybe they can make a move happen. Right now, the last dance, they're stuck behind that warehouse. They can't go on the left side. As you can see, Beamy being up there on the breakout, seeing so got full vision around the corner. Oh, they're actually pushing inside. I didn't expect this to happen. Let's to see clear. if it's going to pay off for them or not. Still one holding off outside, trying to uh, stay within control. Ilska is literally looking into a wall. He is as hidden as can be. Would have wanted the DPS in this situation. Let's see if the M4 is going to do the damage needed. One comes around, two comes around, three comes around, but T-Bone spots it instantly, takes him down. And now it's a 4v2v2. 2 v 2. The dot is in the middle. They can push up to this wall, but they will have to get around it. Unless if they can get the kills before. The good thing for Heroic, though, is that right now, Last Dance and Rise and Win will have to fight and Heroic really don't have to do much here. But look at Heroic though, they're trying to set himself yeah, up already. Yeah. You can see that Corex is going to be on the roof basically. No, he's going to jump off maybe. And they're just trying to set himself up. They know that this fight is happening and they know that they can just set him up and they're going to get the center point more or less and make sure that no one can leave that warehouse later on. Look at this. It's just going to be a line of shots a, against whoever wants to peek this. This is Heroic setting up perfectly. Perfectly for the end game. I don't see a universe where they don't win this one. Let's see what's going to happen. That Mika's trying to get out of the building. Barely a vest left. Takes a headshot as well. Only bandages too. Remember, they've literally been in this building the entire game. They haven't had a chance to loot anything else. And let's see now if they can hold off. Smoke's being thrown, trying to prevent them from exiting. Beamy over to the left side, trying to hold the flank. Correct, he finds the first one. Mom goes down. Great game for last dance. Plenty of kills for them. But this win is looking out of reach. The good juggling from Heroic as well. Not just one guy oh, peeking, oh, but they're just taking turns on who's taking what peak. Timo finds uh, Mikas. Karx does find Karx, but that's the last dance going down. It's only Daz left here from uh, Rise and Win against three plays of uh, Heroic. And they find him. And that's the second win for Heroic with 13 kills. That's going to put them up there. Now yep. we have four teams with two wins. If you weren't scared before in that top three, all of a sudden things are starting to look a little more dicey. I did not expect Last Stands to run down when they did. I thought they were going to hold out for as long as possible, hoping that Heroic was going to be forced to take the initiation first, but they took the car down only with two of their three players as well. One goes down in the transition. And I want to say with the knock, with the absurd knock, uh, knock from Corexi that I hope we get a real slow replay of, that, that was GG. I mean, Heroic had it once yeah. they got the first one down. Yeah, and I think the last dance when they went down there, as you're saying, you were not expecting it. No. They want to do something that the teams are not expecting as well. So they're trying to do the unexpected, drive down straight away because... They might have been thinking that Rise and Win, they're going to be focusing on Heroic right now. They know that we need to go down, but not yet. So they don't need to focus that much on us. And then, of course, they kept Mama up there trying to hold mm. that angle while they were driving down. But they were not expecting uh, uh, T-Bone to find a knock on them on the way down with the vehicle. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely insane performance from Heroic. And keep in mind, I mean, they were battling battling from start to finish once they approach the circle they got in real late like one of the last teams to even join phase two they get in super late on that west side and they mm. were fighting for dear life the entire way through the fact that they get to bring vehicles in for that long they must have swapped them out for opponents uh, vehicles at some point because they were fighting on foot for five circles straight they never lost a single player i believe they only had one or two players knocked throughout the whole thing that is heroic pubg and again like i've said with vp before when they get to play vp pubg when heroic gets to play heroic pubg they can be unstoppable and uh, well they proved to be here as well but you also saw the execution when they got those initial damage on Kova. They didn't even get the knock. The initial damage, they know that he's not going to repeat it. That's when they took the approach, the push towards the compound itself. Mm. That shows you the kind of experience, how much they know about what's going to happen. Reading the game, reading the opponents, knowing what to do and when to do it. It's, um, it's, it's, keep, keep, <laughs> can't help but think back to pull up. If they saw Corexi there. <laughs> and they didn't kill him when he DC'd. That's, oh, yeah. uh, that's, I mean, that could have been the game changer, <laughs> right? Corexi had massive impact on, uh, on that endgame fight. Had they had to force their way down just with three after the DC, that could have been a whole other game, but fortunately not quite the case. Now I'm even more curious to find out if uh, Pull-Up actually saw him and opted not to shoot. I highly doubt that's the case, but it would have made for a pretty good story.
he must have missed it somehow. Either yeah. I mean, maybe he was driving he was on up the, the hill. He was looking at other stuff. Yeah, it, maybe he was looking at other stuff, looking at the map or something. But there's no way he would have missed correct sales. No, but I mean, and I mean, he would uh, have left even if he saw him. There's also, no way he would let him go. It's no, not exactly. It's it's again one of those. Oh my lord, the double hit shot from T Bone there. That one from Correxi, beastly, absolute beast mode but but i mean to be honest the uh the situation there it's it, i remember casting a game once where ibiza was a solo player left alive he started sprinting through an open field there were like six teams that could see him but no one did once mm. sometimes when you make that play that seems to make no sense it can work out for you and well heroic that did everything that made sense here 13 kill win and enterprise esports for us first time we really see them go out and deliver they had a ton of kills early on in the game uh, yeah, I, I mean, I don't think they had too many kills in the previous games, 20-something-ish, uh, exactly. so basically 50% more kills in just one game, and they were basically just fighting time after time after mm -hmm. time, and same with Entropy, we see them with 8 kills there on the third place, but... Here we go. Overall, Heroic oh, is going to put himself the on the second tie. place. The tie with Shift W. <laughs> oh, we're in for a good one, guys. That's for sure. Sitting tied at 60 right now with the closest team being Skate at 50. Skate needs to catch up on 10 kills on Shift W, Heroic, or Last Dance to make it in. Because if we look down below that, it's M Force who's the next threat. Entropic and Rob Trucks are both already out. So M Force, they need to get a win and a ton of kills with only two games left remaining. Yeah, and th this is gonna this is gonna be real rough. You gotta remember also, last dance, heroic, shift W, skate, uh, top four right now. They're all four with two wins. They're mm. all four still playing as well. Yep. This is, uh, <laughs> we're setting up for a good final two matches and we will get to them in just a short moment. But before that, a short break. We'll see you in just a few. Updates to Sanak and our newest battleground, Tago. A weapon balance pass, a new progressive weapon, and a new way to leave your mark on the battlegrounds. All this and more as we crash land into the update 13.1 patch report. First up, Tago is receiving a number of updates, starting with a new way to drop in. Occasionally, while flying over Tago, the transport plane will experience an engine failure, forcing it to make an emergency landing. This will give players significantly less time and altitude from which to jump, and aims to provide a more tense early game. If you stay inside the plane until the end, you'll take 50% damage and be forced out. But hey, any landing you walk away from is a good landing, right? Just remember, when the engine's on fire, everyone's dropping hot. You'll also find new care packages on Tago that drop much more frequently than regular ones. These will drop in addition to normal care packages and contain ammunition, healing supplies, throwables, and more. We've also increased the spawn rate of the new self-AED item, added the emergency pickup, C4, and spike trap to Tago, and slightly lowered the spawn rate of some throwables and attachments. The self-AED can now also be found in Tago's secret room, which will require you to find a key, much like the one on Parama. Seek it out for valuable weapons and equipment. Sanak has also received a couple updates this patch, including some new small cliffs and rocks for additional cover on the beach of the Northwest Island. We also relocated the temple near Camp Alpha and added some more cover along the pathways here. In addition to these spawn and map changes, we've completed another weapon balance pass. Most notably, bolt-action snipers have received a few significant buffs, while DMRs will be a bit more difficult to use at long range. There's a lot to go over here, so check out the patch notes for all the adjustments to your favorite weapons. Speaking of DMRs, the next progressive weapon, the Buzzkill DMR, has been added to the game and can be acquired from its new contraband crate. The skin can be upgraded to level 10 for a more and more unique appearance, so try your luck with the crate and get upgraded. Other features in 13.1 include a new spray system to leave your mark on the battlegrounds, some UI improvements to the match results screen both in-game and in the lobby, kill message improvements, and more. Ranked Season 13 is also beginning with this patch, so get to work early and start earning your cosmetic and honor rewards for next season. Update 13.1 is here, so grab your buzzkill, seek out that new secret room, and be ready if the plane decides to drop it like a sock. We'll see you on the battlegrounds.
Just a few more games left to determine which three will make their way to the PCS5 EMEA Finals. And we have just been joined by yet another two-win team being heroic, and they have jumped their way up into the top three spot, overtaking Skate's position. So now, Frost, question becomes, with two games left to go, are we going to see the top four teams get a third win, or do we get even more two kill team or two win teams i i think that we're gonna see maybe another two win team yeah and maybe a team getting their first win as well uh i don't think any of the teams uh, that have currently sitting on two wins will get another one they'll be close we'll be seeing them in a probably top three top four uh of the game but not enough to close down games i think it's gonna be a little bit too much on the line right now a little bit of nerves coming in. And also, you're going to try to secure those kills. We're going to see those teams, with it being that tight right now, all of them wanting more kills, especially a team mm. like Skate sitting yeah. 10 kills behind two of the uh, other teams right now. Yeah, it's... Um... I don't want to say it's against Skate's play style to get kills, because they can get kills, but it's against their play style to play four kills. Uh, now, mm. of course, with the circle okay. going their way. I mean, this is amazing. Again, if you're a skate, you're playing for the win. Because if you yeah. get the third win, it means absolutely zero. If you get uh, minus five or ten kills the next two games, the third win is going to be your your guaranteed passage to, uh, to PCS5. Having said that, if they realize they have a game where, for example, like last game where Anuki goes for the kill to, instead of just kind of tanking out blue there, if mm. they get into a situation now where it seems evident they're not going to win, I want to see them see red. Like, I want to see them go full ham, play for kills as much as they possibly can. Don't play it like the slow passive control, be it, but the slow skate play style. Go aggressive and get those points. Mm. That is also a little bit scary because when you're trying to offer something like that and you're like, that's not your normal gameplay, you're basically changing up the whole uh, game plan a little bit. Yeah. That could be crucial to how the communication works on a team, how you usually play it, how the somebody usually flanks might not be doing that might be doing something else and suddenly something just crashes down on you because you changed it a little bit the whole game plan mm. it's uh it's gonna be tough it's gonna be tough here here's shift w on our screens here one of the top three teams currently in the third place trying to see what they can do currently tied with Heroic, which for now is not the biggest issue because as long as they can prevent Skate from getting more kills, it should be all right. And if we then look down the list, they should all, I mean, honestly, all four should feel somewhat comfortable simply because they have the amount of kills they have and and are ahead by quite a margin. The, the closest team with a win already is M-Force at 39 so if they can I mean honestly if they get themselves a real good kill win they they could be right up there in the mix with the rest um and to go even further down we have enterprise at 40 kills mm. but they would need to win the next two games to uh to even be a contestant in this one and of course while we've seen crates here before that's that's quite a lot to ask from them it's a lot of ask for and you gotta remember though, m-force was the team that won the first game we played two days ago mm-hmm since then, it hasn't happened too much. It had one game where it popped off, had 10 kills. But except for that, it's been single digits and not really the stellar performance we saw from them in the first game. Oh. Okay, we got some action straight away, though. Yeah, go cool, Levy. Rise and win. Had a chance to win the previous game. Ended up, unfortunately, not doing so. Billum, 15 bullets, only 23 HP. Ooh. Goes aggressive, but loses to the burst action M16. The burst action M16 is so good on close range like that. Basically, you just need to aim for stomach. Don't even need to go for the headshots. No, it's uh, it's it's a scary gun. Regardless, Kovalevi is going to swap it anyway. Oh, how rude. Not even playing the burst action M16 the entire game. Imagine if that became meta again. Remember the good old days when DMRs didn't even matter and you just played double M4? But you also ADEX. had the 6 and 8X. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or, no, there was no 6. It was only 8X. Yeah, exactly. You had that on. You played the 8x M411 and the the, the red dot M4 on the other before people actually, knew how to spray with scopes. Actually, before that, you had everyone playing M16 only because that was Ooh, totally sir. Holy, what? Okay, Levy. He, <gasps> That's pretty territy. terrifying. And look at the amount of damage he did to Pyros yeah. and Stale uh, as well. 
Oh no, pull up. Are they pulling up on this? No, they had the compound. Yeah, I know, I was just up. I was just imagining them just flying past the compound <laughs> and going for the fight there as well. Uh, They're looking up. for kills yeah. and this is yeah. what they want. I, I like but it. No. They know they need them, so it makes pretty good sense. Yeah. Last dance. Going for a fight here as well. All kinds of <gasps> hell breaking loose early on here. Rise and win pushing up, getting one, getting two. Now realizing there's a full team in the compound. Next thought, that peaks over once, but it's met by an entire firing squad and has to back off. Regret straight away, but they do secure himself two kills there. Apex. Oh, Calvin peeks over. Here comes Apex. Why not have a fourth team join the party? Uh, is there a fifth party going on? Maybe, but Nier is the driving in over oh, on the other side of the map. I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> but we, we might as well. We might as well have a crazy one here, and we do indeed. Tegas peeks on, overtakes down Das. Mika's flushed out as well. Simsy does get knocked. Hopefully he'll get back up alive. Seems like he is getting rest. And Kovalevi realizes there's a little too much going on up here and backs off, goes down to the compound again. Rise and win. Loses two players. Meanwhile, we see that Misa have found a uh, uh, skate, their first kill in this game. Mm -hmm. Early on, six minutes in. And um, yeah, just still looking for more kills. They were playing from El Posto. They were in this circle. They haven't moved too far. And that's one of the things, right? You can see... If you were looking on the maps room right now, you can see how congested it, how mm. much people yeah. already knowing basically where the game is going to be ending, or if everyone thinks it's going to be ending. Exactly. So that oh, is one distance. Stop the headshot coming in and takes that. Not a whole lot you can do about that, unfortunately. Good shots connected. And as you're saying, for us, completely right. I mean, with the terrain and with land ratio still being the way that it is on Miramar, there are only so many different areas these matches can end in. And, uh, well, the power grid side of things is one we've seen it go to many, many times before. Yeah. Apex, they're finally going to crash in. Calvin still on the hillside trying to get some cover. Kova does go down. Take his find. Elska actually finds Simsi. The trade coming in. Good. But that's about it. Good peek from Elska, but also really nice push from Apex. Full uh, forward with three. Keep Calvin up in the crow's nest and uh, provide the overwatch. Solid play coming in. Page realizing he's getting pushed on by now. But oh, Phoebe as well pulling up on this one. Senex ain't gonna let him have it though. Trying to go for the flush. Not gonna happen here either. Page. No, he's actually gonna be Corexi. Finding the first one. Corexi finds the second one, one as well. The hero play pulled up on the compound below. Takes out both and they might just get Phoebe back up alive. That might be crucial, but we can see that Duff is getting a little bit closer. It looks like they're not going to try to come in to go for it now. It is just way too far. And uh, T-Bone is going to go for the revive <laughs> on Beamy while this is happening. But look on the west southwest side. You see Shift W. They're just getting inside the circle. They know that where team is going to rotate just behind them. And they're setting themselves up right now. They want some more kills as well. The amount of impact Corexi has had on these matches already... I mean, one thing is that you get to join a new team, but this is not just any team. This is one of the very, very big <laughs> names within EU PUBG. There's got to be some pressure on your shoulders, and he's just delivering every hold single on, chance he on. gets. Look on the bait here. Uh oh, 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 Skiri, get away, get away. There's a full team sitting up here waiting for you. That was a big bait. We'll get back to the activists right now. We have pull up, uh, getting pulled up by Apex here now. Apex going super aggressive in this game here. Yep, nothing to lose. Backs against the wall. Even with two wins, I doubt they'd be able to qualify this if they get something along the lines of 30 kills per game. And who knows? Maybe they can. That's what they're going for right now. <laughs> yeah. It's all or nothing for them. And they're trying to make it happen. Flash. Boom. Want to wrap around the side. Simsy finds one. Gets traded in return. Third knock for Simsy. Bliss finds the second. Nice peak. Vancy does get traded with the one nade, though. One versus... Two right now, I believe. Maybe one v one. Actually, yes, it is. Bliss found three, and that's Apex down. And look at this. He's gonna be able to get all of them back up alive because there's no one nearby. He's gonna be able to get his entire team back alive. A great hold there <laughs> towards the end. Actually, Bliss being able to find all of the rest of Apex. But what we were saying earlier that I was talking about was that Shift W, the two ones that was trying in the front, that knew that uh, where team was coming in behind them. They stopped, they pulled up and stopped on the left side of the road, while the other two, the back ones from Shift W, kept on driving. So where team thought that Shift W kept on driving and mm -hmm. set up a camp. I don't think, no, they didn't manage to kill anyone from where team, but 
it was a good execution on that. Wait, and now we see the new circle. <laughs> I thought this was a replay, but it's Misa <laughs> sitting in the exact same spot, shooting at another player from Havoc in the exact same spot that they lost the player in just before. It's as if they and forgot him there. Yeah, with that new circle, of course, that's why we see all of there from this first circle. Basically, all the teams are already inside the next circle here. Yep. Southern shift expected it. And oh, if there's one team that's sitting good right now, that's heroic with control of the entirety of Montenuevo. <laughs> we know phase yeah. four is going down in that direction too, given the uh, topography and how the land ratio works. So not going to complain about that. Of course, there is still one more circle to play until we get it confirmed, but it is going to shift away for quite a few of the mountains towards the east. So we'll see. Unless if the next circle hard shifts east, it should be headed towards Monte. It's a big split there having no heroic. It's about yeah. five, 500 meters between the, the two splits. So they got to be careful with the pull-ups. Of course, they're being on the south side and no teams are southing of them. So all of the teams are going to be coming from the north and there's going to be a lot of fights before they reach them. But here might be one team that might be reaching them soon. Let's see, Mika trying to regroup with Chris up by the shack. They as well know that it's uh, it's going to head in this direction. Kill your Kai. Trying to make the same run that Mika did. They're not realizing that they're passing literally all the teams in the server. Not quite sure what it is they're aiming for. They're driving around like confused. Uh, you know, like the chicken running around without a head. That's kind of what we're seeing right now. Just going in all directions. Trying to stay alive. I remember WTSG doing this on a wrangle once down by a farm. Yeah. Running in circles for 20 seconds. Running each other over two and all somehow winning the game. Maybe uh, they're trying to pull off the same thing here. It's a replay. Plus... Ooh. Getting the double, followed by the third on the last there is out performance. Good nade thrown from Intense there as well. Yeah, good nade, but sadly not able to recover from it. Now, Shift W, two guys uh, down here. You see Chris sitting by that shack. <laughs> and they basically sacrificed those vehicles now yeah. as cover. And uh, if they get blown up, they might not be that good of cover anymore. No, let's see. Namba somehow connects a headshot on that one despite shooting his mini as fast as you'd shoot him. Normal AR. Ooh. That explosion gets pins down low. Not low enough, though. M Force able to get the first knock. But no, Atomical actually steals the kill. <gasps> Are they ready with nades now? What's happening <gasps> here? Let's see. Uh -oh. Roy. Realizing he's getting real close to opponents. There are only so many spots you can play in the open from around here. And, well, this one is already taken, buddies. Let's see how much Chris can do from up above the drive by Commences. But Vancey ain't got to succeed. Taken down in Doxa while he had a kill stolen before. It's going to steal one in return. And as you can see, Puff is getting just a bomber from everywhere. Actually, it's just Correxi himself again. taking care of it. Correxi Correct does not care. He's just... Stellar performance from Correxi. I No, it's even better than that. It's just amazing what we've seen from him. Time yeah, after time after time. It's phenomenal how well he's been playing right from the get-go. Again, it's there's usually the, the, the kind of play-in period. And yes, I know they've played scrims and they've played together for a little while now. But, but there's always going to be the little play-in period where you get used to your teammates, get used to the new surroundings, get used to the, the, the strategy and how they go about playing comms and everything. And, and he seems to be a perfect fit, at least right now. Yeah, 100%. It might be the honeymoon phase, but I doubt it. Uh, talk a little bit with Paige about it. They were pretty happy with his performance uh, when they tried him out and played with him. And, I mean, looking at this, it's just phenomenal. He fits into the team perfectly from the look of it. But, of course, we don't know what's happening behind the scenes either, what everything looks like with comps and stuff. Hopefully True. that is working out, but that's what it looks like, at least, to seeing what's happening how they've been performing here in the playoffs so far. Yeah, so now everyone shifting down towards the southwest side. And as much as I like Miramar Remastered, I'm a little sad that we can no longer clearly see the indicators on what maps or what mountains we're shifting away from. I mean, we know uh, yeah. in the pro scene which ones they are and, uh, and know pretty much the whereabouts, but it was very easy to tell in the past and now for new viewers coming in they might be a little more confused because all the mountains are kind of looking more alike now than they did before i get what PUBG is probably trying to do with it going oh god don't worry there's nothing happening with the mountains here <laughs> but uh but but of course we know there is and and it's just a little difficult to tell now for, for new viewers coming in heroic with those four kills on the board they've been taking over the last dance and it's currently sitting on the first place here of course they're tied up on both wins and kills so far. And 
It's not over yet. Two more games here. Oh, let's see where team trying to rotate on in, realizing they just got beat by a car, and I don't think they had the time to see if... Well, okay, no mind. He's... He's inside the circle, oh. so that's something. <laughs> Imagine if he sat in, like, the back seat and no one could see him. Yeah, that's a strat. <laughs> Until not someone a, sees you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not, not, not a very good strat, but could have, could have been. In the meantime, head down. Shift W, trying to stay alive. Unfortunately, a bit too tall there. Kill your guy, getting knocked. And if there's a team, when you're Shift W, you don't want to feed kills right now. That's Skate. That's what's yeah. keeping you ahead in this game, is the fact that Skate are behind. Let's see now. 1v4, guess who? How do you do? Guess who? Not at all. Guess who? Well, <laughs> death. That's what that's what that was. Interprint Fox is out on 13th place. Way team, they're just gonna try to continue their way into the circle here. Take it over the spot, but they gotta be careful. There was some shots get taken over here. Skate still playing on the western side with that high ground, and they can still scout out a lot. And I don't think they're gonna try to leave that just yet. No, I mean, there's a good chance that this one massively hard shifts to the west. And if it does, I mean, we talked about skate wanting kills. If this yep. one hard shifts west, it, it's going to be hunting season in terms of kills for skate. They're going to be able Let's to see. sit up there and shoot at absolutely everything. Let's see now. Circle. <gasps> yep, exactly as expected. Down in this direction, the teams in the top are all inside right now. And, uh, well, actually, on the, with the exception of uh, Last Dance, but they're close to it anyway. So we'll see how this one pans on out. All right. Let's look at this. You have Skate on the western side. They're going to stay there. They have the high ground. They can shoot so much from there. Yeah. Probably have their vehicle still. They haven't rotated more than uh, just outside the city. So they haven't gone anywhere. Heroic, they're sitting in the bottom uh, right of the new circle with a 2-2 split. They got the last dance just uh, outside of them. But they got to be careful with that split. If they get pulled up on... It might be hard for him to hold. And then you have Shift W that is sitting in the center. Two guys not able to do anything. Chris is sitting in a shack. And Micah is just uh, putting his head down in a dip there with some of their vehicles as cover. Yeah, you'd have to expect the heroic players inside the compound to leave once they realize there's no more pressure coming in from the south. That's why they're staying there right now. T-Bone and uh, T-Bone trying to make sure no one's wrapping in from behind. Beamy kind of looking uphill to make sure that uh, Last Dance or other teams from the power grid plateau can't wrap down towards it. This is a very silent pull -up. Sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> when you're far, driving so slower that you can walk. <laughs> But it might work out because yeah. look at Havoc, they're, they're driving straight towards them. They're going to get pinned down by this, Enterprise. This might work out. We'll see. Trying to wrap over towards the right side. If they go straight into uh, Last Stand, too, that's uh, that's going to be joyous for the likes of Skate. They want to they wanna catch up on the kills and having all these other teams still alive in the game and with the potential to get even more is going to be hard. Dead tricks. Not going for kills first time around. Not second time around either. Here is an entirety of Snipped already and waiting and somehow they're not getting the oh. kill. Rent able to get one. I'm not sure how, but those men should do so. Tritolite fell down as well though. So Gregan, last one left alive. He has a flashback. He's getting shot in the nope. back. Didn't realize that. And yeah, Havoc out on 12th place. And that's basically how rough it is when you're trying to rotate in like that, not being able to scout this out beforehand. There were so many teams all around them, and there was just a matter of time before they would uh, get killed there. Now you can see Enterprise, of course. We saw them uh, driving up silently, trying to find their position. They know about Snip. They heard all the shots. They also shot against uh, the last stance earlier, so they have the information about them being above them over there. Let's see now, moment trying to push further down. One good nade here could really be uh, <laughs> could be the death of them. Just picked up two and a couple of smokes from that crate there as well. Just un just underhand them, toss them in. Yep, exactly. Throw them in there, get the kills. They're all forced to sit pretty much on top of each other. Now he's gonna wrap further right side, realizing the people are above. That's real thing. He got that call from there a teammate, go. Janny. Solid nade thrown down, gets one knock. Yellow is gonna be able to find the other, but near hasn't had much impact on this game so far, but still. Finding Nox when they have to. Tixie with the vehicle explosion takes out two. And now it's just Sinister left alive. Sinister just around. I have nowhere to go and doesn't know where to look. And Mom is going to find him and take him out. And Dad is going to be snipped out on 11th place. The last dance now. Try to make their way in. But Heroic is closing in on them from the south side. Do they know? Oh, 
here they come. And surprise, only few left alive, but able to do damage regardless. Do manage to get the knock on one, but will go down and return. Now shift W under fire as well. They found one, will be traded instantly, unfortunately. Not really having the numbers. Up, but here comes the heroic push. Corexi again in there doing damage. Paige is going to get the kill confirmed. One more gone down. Corexi finding kill number five. And Mika flushed out down the hill as well. Chris still sitting in the center of the new circle in that shack, not able to do anything, but no one can basically reach him either because if someone tries to approach him, they're going to get shot by basically every team that is still alive here in this game right now. Mario team trying to wrap around Godzilla going, well, here's a oh, dip. Send the circle. Ooh, back off. <laughs> He's going to be fine for now. And uh, just like that, Heroic pretty much getting full control of the hillside. Is Chris going for the next shack? He's like, uh, I don't want to be there running. anymore. He's actually running for it. Or he's going for the crate. Please go for the crate. Please no, go for the crate. No, no. He's just going to go inside the <laughs> shack and chill. <laughs> inside the shack and chill. Are skate pulling up on that, though? Please tell they me. They might that. have spotted Please. him. They, they saw him run maybe. for it. They know there's a solo in the shack. Oh, no, Nugi. That's not where you want to. That's not where you want to mess up your vehicle. Nope. They're going further. I think they saw Chris getting in there. And now we're. we're they're gonna play the stick pair. No, they're oh, jumping no, on, they're they're jumping on, on Godrilla. Godrilla. They know he's there as well. Godrilla able to oh. find the first one. Gets away from the vehicle, goes for the flush. Takes him a little while, and unfortunately, because he went for the flush, he's gonna end up getting killed. Not because Tried he's gonna other ways as well. Mohamed over the top, not able to get the first knock. You would have really wanted to find it. Down to low HP, but might not be low enough. With that Molly, does it connect? I'm not sure. Doesn't seem like it did. Page was super low. Finding a hand to straight away on Mama. And takes him out. Following that up. And Heroic now on seven kills. One of the teams that were looking yep. for a lot of kills. And of course, the last dance as well. That was a big fight between those two teams that were in the lead. Yep. For sure. Entropy as well. Keep in mind, I mean, they have a win today. They are in a pretty decent position. Should the next circle go in their direction to uh, to maybe get one more. And while they're still behind in kills, I mean, uh, have a uh, godlike performance next game. And there is a chance. Nope. <laughs> still alive somehow. I, I don't know how he's not being killed yet. Oh, there you go. Oh, there we go. It was just Correxia. a matter of time, I think. Correxia able to get Lipsia down as well. So many. That's kill number seven, I believe, for him this game. New circle has popped, and uh, there's a high chance we'll see Heroic trying to dip down on where Skate is. Into yeah. that dip where uh, we saw Godrilla go down as well earlier. I mean, if, is... if Entropy or Vanilla wins this game, that's one more two-team win. And then all of a sudden, we're looking at a final game where any one team that wins of them... Like, should Vanir, should uh, Entropy win that game? It doesn't matter that Vanir only has 28 kills. If they get to four wins, or to three wins, sorry, that's 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 them through. Yeah. All right, let's see. See Tebow moving around a little bit with a vehicle. It's, it looks like they're just setting themselves up, trying to make sure that they can't crash down later on. They don't want to do that yet. They want to make sure that... Their south side is going to be totally clear. That's a typical heroic move. Making sure everything is clear around them before they make that final push. Yeah, Tebow looking for everything in Canada. Look above. at the kills. Yeah, plenty of kills so far. And also getting rather low on ammo at this point. Yikes, they will fall. Seventh place for them. Not a whole lot they can do from their position. Didn't manage to bring the vehicles in. And now, oh, did he have the angle there? Ooh. Almost, but not quite. And as oh. I say that, Tebow through the smoke. Takes out more yellow. Finds Skewy as well. Just one more left alive. One HP for Eddie. One bullet is all that needs to hit. Grexy, of course, Grexy. Able to find it, Surfy managed to make the rotation, but lost his entire team in doing so. Oh, that nade. <gasps> oh! <laughs> money! Right on the money. Beamy confirms it. We're team down. Now, Veneer is making their move inside the circle. They were just outside the have all four vehicles. They're going to opt to play here on the other side of the road. They have the dip here to play. Smart. But, yeah, they don't need to over... Overcommit it yet. They can play from there. They might even get the circle. And if they get the circle towards them, that's gonna be a real nice game for them. I mean, this was this was a really smart timing on the rotation too. They knew that uh, they needed heroic to look elsewhere in order to make the play seven kills for Corexi here. Look at this. Twelve for heroic. Off of a win look, with double digit flag. kills as well. They're going for skate. Yeah, but I mean go it's around. it's it's a smart play. They they, they want to get the kills, and if they can take skate down here. 
they, I mean, they're pretty much already guaranteed to qualify, being on top of both Last Dance and Shift W in uh, in kills already. Um, so, yeah. so, so, so. But of course, I mean, you can never oh, be too sure. Oh, here comes the nades. Yeah, they picked up plenty. Looking for the vehicles. Usually, that's where you're gonna find people hiding behind, hiding themselves behind. <laughs> yep. Because that's the cover. So. The issue is they can't really see the cars from the position, and they can't peak too high because the near will have an angle. In the meantime, exactly. Atomical is actually pushed out of the building as well, out towards the east side. So he could run up over the hill and play spoiler issue. As you can see here, the near might have an angle. Everyone waiting for that next circle to pop. Where are we headed? We're going towards the road, which means the near are still in. And most importantly for them, for us, everyone's going to play low ground now. Yeah. And as you said, the near. Having that dip on the other side of the road, Wait, they can Corexi basically just, just peek and shoot. <laughs> no way. Because That's Corexi not the guy Corexi you want to put her having on. a good enough game already. Gets an MK. He and he had a barrel already. He didn't pick it up. Oh, he must he have. He must have. He had a barrel already. There's no way you don't pick that up. Sikora, let's take down Paige. So trading one Misa is on knock number two, though, I believe. So should be bleeding out. I'm not sure there's going to be a rest opportunity for him. Beamy. Peaks on over, only with level one gear. Nate is on point. Correct. He adds kill number eight to the list for him, Molly, to kind of seal him off. There was an eight thrown, though, by Sakura before he went down. So Beamy will be knocked. The rest should be easy enough, though. But I cannot underline this enough. Veneer, while they are behind in kills, whoever wins this, either Shift W or Heroic, seals their deal and kind of secures their spot in top three, or both Entropy and Veneer have a chance here to if i know it's a lot to ask but if they can go out and win next game should they win this one they are through as well three of the teams that have won the game so far today is playing this top four right now yep but near got four plays up entropy and heroic got three plays up and then you have it's chris from shift w still alive <laughs> He's still alive in the shack imagine imagine if there's oh. a player to do it wait what's it you know they're over here, right? They've just killed like eight players in this position. Atomical pushing in this direction, getting Stolen. butchered. Veneer gets the kill, though. To be honest, they do need the kills more than Heroic right now. So it's it's only fair, I guess. Namba, Nate's thrown forward. They want to deal with one team at the time. Might as well take out the top of the competition. Molly's thrown in. Corexi jumping around between fire. Somehow able to avoid the Molly's. As I say that he does actually get tacked up. And in the meantime, with that happening, Veneer crosses over. Smart play from them. With only one play, though, they only want to send one trying to gather some information on what's going on. You can see that yellow, he has that ridge line to play with, so he's uh, definitely have some cover. He's not going to be exposed. Meanwhile, he's going to gather information, and you're going to get another angle on people, and yeah. that is so good. They basically just set himself up for the win itself here. Now, the big question is, did they know about Chris? That he went to that shack? They, they were playing the compound above when he went in. Yeah, I would imagine they do. But you never know. I mean, uh, to be honest, at this point, you can't really take anything for granted. So uh, I hope they will realize it sooner or later. At least you saw um, Yellow kind of looking over in that direction. Nate's thrown forward. No damage done to Corexi. We're waiting this one out a little while longer. I believe both... Wait, are they pushing this? Entropy are just not scared at all. I like it. Oh. Being confident. Okay, they know <laughs> Did they know this. he was there for us? <laughs> I think they did. <laughs> Shift W out, and we're down Ooh. to the top three. Corexi, it. actually not on fire. I thought he was. They were just getting tagged up. Still a lot of utilities being used here, but Entropy haven't been able to push this yet. Now, Veneer is making this their is push huge. across the road because of the new circle. As you can see, they're getting pushed out from the uh, left side of the road, and they need to push over. You're probably going to join Yellow on the other side there, trying to get more angles with a 2-2 two -two split. Oh, is that a it is 200! Damage. Corexi has been unstoppable today, but if you're gonna find some kryptonite, you might as well just put explosives on him and blow him up. Oh my lord, was that a perfect nade? And that's really, really gonna help out Vanier in this situation. Let alone the fact that they have one more knockdown. The amount of utility that's just been used from both these teams, regardless of who they go up against, should this be an up close kind of utility slash smoke slash flash slash whatever battle? Vanilla has utility for days, while both Entropy and Heroic has pretty much used all of it. Yeah, and Entropy didn't really make a move with that knock on Corexi. Look at Yort, he's getting super close here. This is gonna be a freeway fight we're gonna see most yeah. likely.
but Nia just have to play this one slow. The issue is they have three players on the shack, and that's going to be the first spot out of the circle. Uh, they do have smokes. I'm, you can see five smokes yeah. for Yord here. They're not in a hurry to use them. Much and rather have the other guys fight. And the, the reason we see Yord being this close is that he believed that both Entropy and Heroic already used up all of the nades, all hmm. of uh, the Molotovs. So even if he's within that distance of being naded, He's not afraid of that because they don't have anything else to use. So hmm. uh, I don't. <laughs> I love how Roy throw like eighteen smokes and then throw flashes in their own smokes, just in case you know people were somehow sitting inside them all of a sudden. With that said, let's see here. They are pushing further forward. Flammy has made his way up close here as well. In the meantime, Namba and Carlo trying to use what little cover, just one rock they have, with a couple of hey. smokes available as well. They're the first ones that need to move closest mm -hmm. to the edge. Meanwhile, Heroic is not that far out from the edge either. Correct. And they're taking control over the center. Eight kills for Correxi in this one already. Smart smoke usage by uh, Kylo and Namba, not just spamming all of them, but one at a time, move to the next one. One at a time, move to the next one. You gotta buy yourself as much time as you possibly can here in an endgame like this. Kylo does have level three Keanu AOG. Let's just see one on your position. I'm not sure, Keanu. Getting shot at by Kylo, but unfortunately, no shots connect. Look at oh. this. Both Entropy and Heroic is playing against Vanir right now. They're both looking for him. No, I some trades going back and forth here between Heroic and Entropy as oh. well. But the push is being made now. Carlo, oh. last one standing. He's, He's in the blue. Oh. The Gilly guy tries to stay put, but not going to happen. Beamy going to find him. It's a 2v4. Vanir against Heroic. Heroic won the previous game, and there should be no way. No way t is allowed to get rest here. Molly should be thrown. Flashes should be thrown. They should be pushing. Correxi, two spare it's barely a reload left available. Beamy goes down. Correxi, last one left alive. Doesn't find the first one when he had to, and he's gonna fall. He does find yellow, but not gonna matter. Veneer, smart play. Slow, schematic, smart gaming from them. Get them a seven kill win. That's not a team that will be joining on the top there mm -hmm. with two wins. Even though Veneer has a little bit less of kills, they are still in the fight. For a spot for PCS5. I mean, we still have one more game, and ooh, what a game, though! What a game from Heroic as well in this one with Kurexi. Yeah, how many eight kills you said? Yeah, I think I think it finished on nine kills and a knock. They had 16 kills in total. That is, I mean, that, 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 that that's wild. And being in a position where, at least now, they are guaranteed to qualify just because they have such a kill buffer to the other teams. Uh, yeah. Now I say guaranteed, it's probably somehow not going to happen. Uh, but, but I mean, they, they, they're, they're looking real damn strong, real damn good in this position right now. I would have to expect them to go through. And uh, with that said, I mean, as you said too, Vanier... It, we're pretty much at a point where we're requiring them to get a win in the next game too. But they have set it up for themselves. They have kept themselves in the race for the likes of Entropy. They could have had the same position, but unfortunately they fall short and they're now out of the race. Venero, they might be the team that takes the back-to-back -back win. Oh, I'm yeah, just saying, we still we haven't had have one yet today. <laughs> it was looking like Heroic was going to go for it, but yeah. it didn't happen. No, it didn't happen. There's a... Uh... There, 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 there's got to be a back-to-back -back every day, I guess. And uh, yeah, Vanier might just be the ones to do it. And if that was to happen, I guess that would be, I mean, at least the way it looks right now, that would be Shift W not qualifying because they are currently behind both um, both Heroic and uh, Last Dance in terms of kits. Yeah, I, I'm not sure how far behind they were, though. Uh, after this game here. No, it will seem just a short moment as we see the uh, highlights here. We'll, of course, see the leaderboard just after it. Pull up. Again, the ones being pulled up on. Mm. <laughs> it's uh, it's kind of been a back and forth on their name in that regard. They have both been attracting pull-ups on them, but also been the ones to, uh, to to full speed send it into the head of opponents. And surprisingly enough, they've had more success getting pulled up on than pulling up on opponents. Yeah, and as we saw, a lot of the teams were chasing for a lot of kills here, the top teams, because they're all sitting on two wins. They were looking for their kills to make sure that they got themselves to secure a spot for PS5. It didn't really get that many kills from uh, for Shift W, but for a team like Heroic, 16, was it 16 kills? 16, said? yeah, 16. That is like, well, yeah, that's... I mean, that's qualifying. That's, yeah. that, that's, that should be qualifying, unless... Unless if both last, like if, if Heroic zeroes out 
and Last Dance and Shift W go absolutely crazy. And uh, and also, somehow, Vanier wins the game. That would yeah. pretty much, or Skate for that sake, that would pretty much be the only way that doesn't happen. Because uh, with the way, like with the amount of kills they have right now, they're looking real, real solid. And also just, I mean, ever since the first Most Chickens tournament, we've had the likes of uh, of Batulans from Virtus Pro really, really put emphasis of importance of good nade, nade usage. And we see it three times in this game. A nade thrown literally straight on the opponent. Look at this. <laughs> Doink. That's a hole in one if I've seen one. Yep. People have gotten so absurdly good with utility usage. Not just spamming it like crazy people. Okay, f fair enough. Some some still do. But for the most part, people have gotten so much smarter with utility usage over the course of the last couple of tournaments. We see here Veneer, of course, with that 7-kill win and a heroic on that second with 16 Jeez. kills. The last dance, a team that needed kills. Same with Skate. We see them towards the top, but not mm. too many for Skate. They were 10 kills behind Shift W. So, catching up a little bit, but only one more game to go, though. Yeah. So, we'll have to see what happens here. But, are we fairy crafting here? I think we have to be, right? I mean, right now, they're sitting so. six kills behind Shift W. Vanier right behind them. As you can see, Vanier, get yourself a 25-kill game and beat Shift W. Sure, go ahead and do it. Alternatively, just, quote-unquote, get a win. Um, that's 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 their second taken uh, second ticket to victory. That would throw them straight into first place here. They have a chance. They could do it for any other teams here. Get yourself that one win. You are through. The only other way I would say the only thing that could change things up is Skate beating Shift W. But is anyone gonna hot drop anyone if you're secure yourself a spot for these no. by now? No. You don't think so? I. No. I I don't think even though. Even yeah. though, I mean, Heroic would have to be beat. Like, Shift W would need a 16 kill game. And then Skate would, no, it's not even no. I mean, Her Heroic are pretty much in. Shift W would need 16 kills, Heroic zero, and Skate or Veneer to win. I doubt that's going to happen. Uh, with that said, I don't see Heroic hot dropping either Skate or Veneer. Because honestly, for Heroic, if they don't pose a massive threat to them. The, mo the biggest threat would be Skate because they already have PGC points. Exactly. They have 135 PGC points, so they could be a potential threat for the PGC yeah. spot. And they already secured themselves for PCS5, basically, with one game left to go. And the only way Skate is getting in is if they win the game or get a lot of kills. But you can stop that right now. Issue is, if they hot drop Skate, they end up dying, give Skate four kills, and then Skate beats Shift W, then they pretty much gave them a free pass to the finals anyway. So honestly, I mean, also Heroic being Heroic, they don't, I, at least I haven't seen before them doing crazy stuff like that. I wouldn't expect to see it. It could be fun, both for us and for the sake of the viewers, to see something like that happen. And I get the idea that they would, they're a threat in terms of PGC points. And 100%, if you're in Tropic, you want them to hot drop Skate. I just don't think it's going to happen. We'll just have to wait to see, but uh, before we start the last game, we're going to take a small break, so we'll be right back.
One more match left to play for three teams to make their way through to the PCS5 Europe Grand Finals. Five teams have a chance of qualifying and only three will make it through. For Vanir, for maybe Skate, they would want a win to solidify their spot. At least Vanir would need one. For Shift W, for Last Dance, for Heroic, get kills or a win to secure your spot. You know what? I'll throw you a curveball. <laughs> we have a few more teams, but they're going to have to get themselves a 20-plus win to be able to get that spot, though. But it is still possible. You know what? If if M-Force... And if Shift W zeroes out, and M-Force gets a... Tw there will be a 20-kill game to get at 61. They deserve to qualify. Simple 100%. as that. If they get a if they get a twenty kill win in the final game with everything like really backs against the wall here, that that's 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 win deserved one hundred percent. I doubt <laughs> it's gonna happen, but then again, for us, I mean, we've seen crazier before, so who knows? Yeah, yeah, we've seen crazier before, and uh, I mean. We'll just have to see what they're going to be doing. All of the teams here. So far, we got ourselves a very neutral plane, and we were talking a little bit before, just before this. You were asking me. What kind of circle I would like to see in the last game? Mm -hmm. I said a kind of a central one. You said uh, what was it? I said I said the... east of Los Leones in the fields oh, down yeah. there. It's still inside. It is still inside. <laughs> just uh, by rise and wind there. Yep, it's gonna so, end on the end compound. Like six hard shifts straight southeast. That's what we're doing. 
we want to have a, a even playing ground for all of the teams here. Okay, so out. so with this circle, where would mm. be the most even playing ground to end the game? Oof. That's a good one. We don't want to be inside a city. No. I mean, that is all. And technically, that's actually the most fair it can be because everyone is just chilling in buildings. But, but it's uh, just too big just, of a cluster. Just, yeah, it's horrible. Yeah. I would say, I mean, with this, probably looking uh, like a couple of south shifts. And if this finishes like on the south side of Bandita, maybe. Is that is that a thing? Is that is that? No, there's two view. It's a tricky one. This one really isn't that easy because if we go into graveyard in the open midfields, that that's atrocious for anyone yeah. who doesn't have a compound. Um, then we have hmm. hacienda, like north side hacienda, northwest hacienda. Not in the compounds, obviously, but but in the middle of all of it, like on the north side, in between. Um, both the magnet compound up by water treatment, and then like in between water treatment San Martin and Hacienda. Okay, yeah, uh, that, I can agree on that one. Yeah, is that, yeah, that, that that's pretty decent. That's pretty yeah. decent. That's probably one of the best ones we could have in in this first circle. Oh, maybe uh, Venier. Maybe Venier, like between Cruz del Valle and El Asaha. It would be tricky mm. to get up there, but at least you can play in but the open to some extent. The problem is we have so many teams on the south side. Yeah. You have that <laughs> valley road screwed. there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it would not be a good playing, uh, a fair one. <laughs> True. I mean, once they get there, it would be great, but the whole journey would be pretty uh, pretty difficult, that's for sure. Let's see, last dance. Well, this is their last dance, at least for now, unless if unless if uh, they can get something going. Holy <laughs> they <laughs> Look at that damage. It's and he's not even six. playing in this last game here, of course. Uh, Nailup, they already played. Nailup has over 2,000 more damage than anyone else and the second closest is his teammate and they didn't qualify yeah and i'm actually a little bit surprised to see page up there and not correct because we see correct getting those knocks but it might also be of course page doing a lot of the damage and then uh, correct getting that last uh, <laughs> shot on them i guess i was gonna say correct kill stealer confirmed that's yep. just what it is he's just in there <laughs> boop, one bullet Boop, one bullet. He's doing an average of like 16 damage to all his opponents. It's just, it's he's, just Paige doing all the work for him. He's just baiting. He he's <laughs> waits. He calls them out. Hey, guys, there's a player up here in the open. Waits for everyone to shoot their bullets. When they get a few tags, that's when he starts shooting. <laughs> that's what it is, of course. I'm sure that's exactly the case. Come on. Come on, Simsy. Ooh. Do it. You can do it. Do oh, yes, please. Oh, with yeah, the, with yes. The oh, the 360 no scope. <laughs> please. Come on. Please. Come on, it's you got one close. more. You can do this. Oh, oh. How? I mean, for a player who has had his issues in this tournament on being unfortunate to get taken down early, if there's a knock, because he wouldn't even get the flush with it, they'd just rest him. If there was a player that deserved the knock there, that would be Simsy in that situation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how did Greg and lose? We don't, ask, we don't ask. We don't. We don't ask questions. When it comes to vehicles and grenades, we just we just go wow. And we continue <laughs> for us. That's that's how it is. Are they gonna chase Calvin? No, they're gonna take the compound. Uh, again, I mean, now I mean even oh. more so than the previous couple of games. So many teams with really nothing to win or lose. I mean, again, yes, of course you do want to fight your way up the leaderboards for 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 the sake of uh, being somewhat satisfied with the overall performance. But still, for the teams that are still very much in this, the five teams in the top, they have to worry about joker teams that just full speed send it in once they realize who's next to them yeah and i mean it still feels nice get a lot of kills uh, on the board even though you can't make it right go though they need the kills they find one straight away looking for a second one taking the shots guess who yeah shift w want to get kills early and brax found the first getting a little bit of loot as well you know why not just sitting in the open, looting with the entire team, possibly within range of seeing you. Doesn't matter. Okay. We're fine. That's interesting to see, though. He opted to go for four nades. That is, uh, that's a lot of nades being on Miramar. Yeah. 
Because a lot of times, being like the center like they are right now, you're going to be shooting a lot of people. You're not going to get that much loot later on. You might want to opt to go more for the bullets instead of being able to just shoot at people. But Brexco is going to go for the nades. He's going to expect people to maybe pull up on them later on and being ready to use those against them. And it's wild how much nades they take up in terms of space. And after yeah. the uh, the update that that I get, it didn't really nerve nades per se, but it, it made them like way, way more. It's it's insane. Oh, that's Double. a free kill. Double, isn't it? It's not a free. Uh, it's a free. It's a free. Yep. Thank you. Don't make me oh, look he's bad. He's just gonna commit for us one. Um, now M4s. They they're looking for kills. They're looking for a high kill win here. Yeah, they need it. <laughs> they need the twenty kills, right? So yeah. they might as well go for it. That's the first I, one. And that's what you're seeing right now. They no, just no, 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 they need through. a twenty. They need a twenty-one kill game because uh, Shift W just got a kill. Oh, oh yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> but they're good. they're going for it. Yeah, they have to. I mean, that's that's their way to do it. Um, and now I forgot what I was dance. talking about before. Oh yeah, Nates. Sorry, Nates. It, it's wild how much space they're taking up now. So if you have four Nates, that's you going way low on either meds, especially if you don't have a level three backpack. That's you going way low on either meds or or ammo. Because as far as I remember right now, one Nate is like fifty-seven six two bullets. It's mm. something along those lines. It's insane. And, yeah, and, I mean, that's why I was saying that. But at the same time, that change also made people being more careful with the usage of nades, being mm. more precise with them, training more with them. And that's why we're seeing so much better nades nowadays. Yeah. It's, uh... <sighs> it's tricky. It's tricky to get those right, but also equally insanely impressed. Or impressive to see the ones who actually managed to do it. That's the Vorix. He explored. Oh, nice headshot. Nice. Unfortunately, Mama, just before going down, managed to find the knock on Exvolution. So trading one for one. You're right now realizing that the uh, presence of M-Force is even closer than they maybe expected before. Godrilla and him will have to hold the fort or the church while... Uh... Oh, if that nade is in, is it? Yes, it should be. Does it go down the stairs? Don't no. no it Falls short. But look at look at the push from them. That Molotov did hit, though. Should Mama be right. just got revived as well, so they're still low, and they uh, M Force is putting the pressure again? on the land stance here. He can hit with the second Molly as well. So while they don't take them down, that's them spending a lot of time oh. on healing up just to get take damage again. Oh, God, really? That's a cheeky angle. They are not going to expect that at all. As I say that, will they? Yes, they oh. do. You're not it's supposed to lose those, God, really. You're not supposed to lose those. That's exactly what we saw Exvolution do in the first mm -hmm. game. Remember that on Aerogel? Yes. yes. Barrel too strong, I guess. Again, Exvolution with those turns on people that is holding the angles against him. That is just nuts. That is very impressive to say that he's knock player in the tower. Not going to do a whole lot. They'll get... There you go. Free. Another kill. Free one on that. One more added to it. Still a hell of a lot to ask. And <laughs> mommy underneath the stairs here. What more can you do? Are you going to just molly off? I don't know. I mean, the thing is, he needs kills as well in order to confirm his spot. Yes, the first knock. Let's go with the flash. No. Almost. Good trade. Oh, yeah, Good almost. Trade. That explosion too. Look at the HP with the hip fire as well. If that was a double and he got the kills confirmed, that'd be huge. Because look at this now. All of a sudden, for Shift W, I mean, even if Skate gets a good game, Shift W already has one. This could, if it kind of the stars align for both Skate and Shift W, this could now be last dance not qualifying if we get what a 16 kill came from skate and shift w with uh, another nine kills you know what I like right now you can see shift w on the top right they are pretty split up they're still playing their their normal game they want to be split they want to have control what? meanwhile heroic pulling up on snip here not page does find stealthy those, not supposed to lose those stealthy Getting traded. Seko up here. Sneaky position. No one's going to expect him to be up here. No. Until now, at least. At least Beamy wasn't expecting it. Jumped out on the vehicle on his side, too. That nade should be the best of him. T-Bone going to fall down as well. So off of an insane performance from Heroic with 16 kills. Taking a lot of damage here. I do believe, though. I mean, again, pretty damn certain that they have already qualified with the amount of kills that managed to obtain last game. Yeah. Sinister pushing forward. Misa running his Misa. teammate over. They need kills, but it doesn't count when it's a teammate. <laughs> that does not count at all. Skato in a 2-2 split on the north side, but 
Still, the fight between Snip okay. and Heroic. Impulse just wiped another team, by the way. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly how that happened off screen, but they meanwhile, just got another four kills. Meanwhile, Heroic is now just down to Corexia. Page did go down as well. They only got himself one kill, but as you said, they're sitting pretty secured for that PCS five slot. So they don't, it doesn't matter too much for them. Yeah. Shift W. Using my this is the scary. Transition. Yep, this is kind of terrifying. Now, I know it's uh, skate aren't guaranteed on anything here, and, and should Veneer or skate for that matter win the game, then that's Shift W out too. But the fact mm. that they lose players early, only having gotten one more kill, and skate are still playing it in slow with plenty of space up towards the north, that uh, that's a little terrifying if you're a Shift W player. And let's just put it this way. If we get circles going towards the north right now, we have so many teams towards the south side that Skate, sitting on the north side, they basically have free, free control over the whole area up there. And they can just farm people. Oh, Brax finds one more. 22 kill game for M4. <laughs> talking about talking about farming, yeah. M4, though, so they have eight kills on the board already. Yeah, I mean, they're doing everything so, they can. And they haven't lost a single. Oh, they have lost one player. Never mind. Yeah, they lost one, but Yikes is just south of them as well. They're by the graveyard right now. They're taking shots against everyone they can, basically. Oh, this next shift for us, this next shift for half the server is going to be brutal because either we go in the Mina side of things and all the guys that are currently down on the Hacienda Plateau have to move uphill, or we go down towards the compounds in the Hacienda side of things and all of Minas has to beeline it down the ridge. And that, that whole hillside is just so terrifyingly open. Let's mm. see who's going to get rewarded. Three, two, one. Where do we go? It, well, I guess uh, everyone's going to get screwed then. Yeah, <laughs> except for Enterprise. <laughs> if you're skate right now, you just full speed send it past San Martin up the hills and just sit and shoot at people. They're still not in vehicles. Skate. I mean, now they are. Nuki is getting uh, getting ready to move now. They, I mean, that might actually be a play. Go up on the edge of the power grid plateau. You will have to get down from there eventually. But uh, but but start farming. Yeah. They they need to farm. They want to farm. Let's see how this one plays on out. Foxes. They had themselves a good win on Miramar, but other than that, not a whole lot is happening. Oh, unfortunately, the wheels are popped on the vehicle. You can't really do a whole lot. And Kobo Levy again. I mean, he's been hitting bangers with the Amas all tournament. Yeah, time of time, we do see him on, the, on that kill feed. Look at the rotations right now. Skate is opting to go on and off the side towards the west right now. So we'll probably see them go into San Martin and then uh, probably high up on the power grid uh, mountain there if they can. Well, full speed forward comes Shift W. No stopping here. Where are they looking at going? The horizon wind continuing to shoot. And I think oh, Olivia actually connected one more there. Fortunately, not enough damage to find the knock. But Shift W will be continuing forward. Where are they planning on stopping? The issue is, as long as, <laughs> as long as there are still <laughs> players up on the hills, this whole lowlands area is incredibly hard to make. Oh uh, no! Any sort oh no! Of play He's in. blocking him. No! Grandy double <laughs> SKS kill. Guess who? Unfortunately, ending up going down there and, and Finn as well. And you can see here oh, again I don't know about this. As long as the hills are in, which they are for now, and you have two teams up there, playing this position is really hard. Yeah, I don't know about this at all. I mean, if, 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 if the hills used. are shifted away from next circle, which we know they will be, Shift W should be in, unless if it hard shifts southeast, Shift W should be in next. No, it, it can hard shift southeast. They're going to be in next circle. Like, they're playing for the long haul here. This next Look, circle should SKS. shift straight east. Yeah, it's guess best gun in the game. Mm. Easy. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> shift W should be in next circle. Pretty much yeah. no matter what, uh, with both Minas and, uh, and Power Grip Plateau getting shifted away from. So if they can utilize just a couple of smokes with their vehicles still for cover, they can play this one on foot and be in a good position for the end game. They could, definitely they could. And we see Skate, of course, finally making their move up towards the high ground there. They took the time, started things out, made sure that everything's safe before they do it, but taking a lot of shots here. And uh, that vehicle is... Not doing too well. No. Lost the wheel as well. They need nine kills or a win in order to uh, surpass Shift W, at least as it is right now. 
expecting that shift w would get something looking like more kills and there you Ooh. see that's exactly the shift we were like we knew this was going to happen with power yeah. grid plateau like the entire mountain stretch that skate is on getting shifted away from along the mountains or along with the mountains stretched down by snip we knew both those positions were going to get shifted away from and obviously uh, shift w knew this as well so while it looks like a play where you go oh my lord why are you playing in the open like that that's suicide well now all of a sudden that position is looking pretty good it looks pretty good, yeah, indeed. If they can hold it out. And remember, Brexco opted to go for the nades, so they have plenty of nades mm -hmm. to use as well. Yep, not They're not really taking any shots as well, so being very sparse on their ammo, they need all the ammo they can have. Oh, Dark Sir, doing everything he can to stay alive here. Luke down to pretty much no HP, but enough for him to stay in the mix at least. Uh, at least for a little while longer. Seiko peeked on over, realized there was an entire team up there, and he goes, nope, just start sprinting the other side. Cobra again. Caught on the run, and Cobra Levy again, able to find a kill. Double. Getting that knock. Again, M Force with the hunt for more kills. Yeah. For a high kill win. A lot Qualify to ask. for PCS5. <laughs> a lot to ask when there are only two players. Did he just nade himself? I have no idea what that nade was. <laughs> I think, I don't know if it was flashed or what happened there, but oh, that, that, that was confusing. Yep, solid play by Senex, wraps around, finds the knock on one. Maybe go for the rest before you start chasing the last kill here. Because there is only one left alive, docks up, level 3 gear does have full HP. So it's going to be a hard opponent to take down. We'll see if he can get the jump on the window. He does manage to do so, but the rest comes in. And now the fourth team is here to join as well. No, he's in all sorts of trouble. That was still on his first knock, though, but yeah. with that res coming up, it's going to be rough for him. Try and isolate with the smoke. What is it that they're looking for in that wall? I, I'm so confused. Yeah. <laughs> there is no one there, guys. Tegas finds Chris. That's one down. That's something that will be uh, joyous for, for Skate to see. Correxy doing Correxy things. Finds one more kill. There's a solo player left alive for Heroic. He's trying to do damage yellow, runs over Yord. Well, it's not a nade, but he can still find ways to take his teammates down. And uh, let's oh, see now. Correct. Oh, he's just doing that <gasps> nade yourself. Yeah. Or just one more nade for the memes. Let's see if it does anything with it. Yeah, it's not going to do much damage. Heroic yeah. out, but again, should be in. I don't see a world where they don't qualify at this point. Great, great performance today from them to make their way through. Sinister! Solid spray takes Kowal, leave it down. Get straight out by Mikas, but the blue is coming in and they need to move out anyway. Now can be able to revive that last man there. Daz already making his way. He finds a dip here. A little bit of cover for now. Skate though, crashing Ooh. into Shift W right now. Oh, this is massive. This is huge. Kill you guy. Just somehow ran himself over. Rax is still alive. Takes that one. Takes down Let's the go. second. And they, oh, I'm not going to say anything too early because Veneer could still win. But they just made their chances of qualifying a whole hell of a lot better. Such a good hold. But they gotta be careful. There might be more people that tries to come for you guys right now. Killia Kai still knocked and getting revived. Look, Takers, he's pushing up here. Apex, they are curious about this. They heard shots. They saw everything happening. <laughs> they have the compound. They don't really want to leave that yet. They don't want to leave it to someone else like Veneer on the yeah. north side of them. This is the point where if if somehow <laughs> Shift W sees Veneer in a fight, they'll just go in their bog and go, Yeehaw! We're, in, <laughs> we're engaging that battle. Because right now, it does not matter how many kills are other teams get or if they get more themselves all they need to make sure is that veneer does not win this game so even if they get killed by them if they can get just one player down that's pretty much job done at least in terms of what they could do with it solid plays coming through from brax there to stay alive not only get the double kill and wipe skate but also secure their I don't want to jinx anything. Uh, secure uh, their spot in this game for <laughs> top seven. <laughs> <laughs> but one thing's for sure. Skate not qualifying. That is a massive sigh of relief for Entropic. Because they were one of the threats to taking over their spot for PGC 2022. One. Yeah. I can't count years you, the, anymore. I'm too hyped. There's too much going on. <laughs> Jumping straight into next year already. Still, we still got this game to go and it and if it could still happen you just sitting there with a nade in his hand taking a little bit chill he's sitting inside a circle having not much to do he doesn't want to peek anything 
Lammy now driving forward in his two-wheel Bronco, I believe. <laughs> Fortunately, it's a four-wheel drive, so it should be all right. Let's see where near. They know what's at hand. Doesn't matter how many wins or how many kills they get, because they don't have yeah. any yet. There's simply not enough kills left on the server for them to qualify in that regard. They need the win. They have to win this game to surpass what would... No? Okay, so if Shift W can get six more kills, they surpass last the dance. Last yeah. That's their that's their guarantee. Shift W guaranteed if they can somehow, with two people alive, find another six kills. I'm not gonna say it's impossible because no. it's Shift W and it's Killer Kai and Brex. And remember, so. rem they actually only need five because, as far as I know, the third tiebreaker is best performance in the final game. Well, yeah, and Shift W is w. outliving Last Dance, which would be them having the better game. So if they tie, I'm very convinced that would be Shift W through because we had that happen and earlier. And they're going to be in the next circle, yeah, as you can see, no matter what, being in the center of the last circle. So now they got to hold the push from mm -hmm. the south side. That is the big deal. But again, they can't overpeak it. Yeah. And also, Calvin has been in this area for very long, and he is being a pain in the butt for him. You can see constantly trying to peek on over, trying to find an off angle, because that spot that Shift W in right now, that is a spot that I think Apex wants to take over. Mm. Especially with the circle shifting the way it just did. Yeah. Now let's see what's going to happen. Enterprise, they're needing to push up a little bit. They need to push towards that shack. It is uh, ready with that nade, ready for that crash. <laughs> That's not good. Good pre nade. Good pre nade. Oh, good pre -nate. 90 damage. Almost had him there. Did the second nade go in? I think it flew past, didn't it? Oh, they, that's it. They, Isn't it? Yep, it is. Yep. Takes him, takes him down. Regal explosion. Oh, actually, his second his last nade <laughs> takes down Yanni. That's unfortunate. But uh, with no one being on this side of the circle, they should be safe to get the rest. Look at Simpsy, though. He's going to okay. go on this. He heard it happen. But he's going to be careful. He needs to. Oh, he hears the bike as well now. He has four nades yep. and a Molotov as well. Yep. Good position to uh, toss stuff towards the shack. Also has a bolt, but there's also Benz on the other side. He's now seen him, and that's the entirety oh. of Benz with that info Here now. we go. That is a Hail Mary if I've seen one. Calling in some Mortar. Nope, that's off. No, that was from Breaks go. Oh, yeah, that one's that close. Is from Sim -Sim. 47. Second one needs to fly further. Too short, on, Sim -Sim. Sim -Sim. You gotta, You gotta, You gotta get a little more muscle on that arm. Ugh, nope. Short. Yeah. 43 damage, not enough to get him down. Does have a bolt in hand, though, but the entirety of pull-up notes of his position, I don't think... Yeah, he's running back towards his teammates. Had he had two knocks there, maybe there was a play to make, but Blue is already pushing in, and now Apex are pushing towards Shift W. In the meantime, pull-up trying to hold off Vanir head. They are all inside the circle, so no forced fights yet. But... Oh, looks like, oh the Kyle damage! Kai goes down to Diedrich's, actually. That was on the rooftop of that shack from earlier. Finished off as well. Now, Bresco, last man standing. Nate's coming in here oh, from the. Uh, Wait, what? Okay, not dead. Now he's dead. <gasps> now, now he's, he's dead. dead. <laughs> <laughs> and if now that didn't do it, the vehicle is gonna <laughs> run his corpse over. So, shift W out. Veneer, the only team to kick them out of this one. All they can do now is sit back and pray that the next circle goes anywhere except for east. Yeah, fight coming on here now. Enterprise forcing the fight against the uh, Apex. Seems to once again he rotated around, but he's gonna be a nuisance to Enterprise trying to get close. He still has one or two nades, I believe. This also means, of course, that both Heroic and Last Stance are now guaranteed oh. to go through. The new circle, though. Yeah, that is not a Shift W circle. <laughs> no. Nope. In terms of, if you're a Shift W fan, this is not what you want to see. Veneer is loving this, yep. on the other hand. Yep, they are very satisfied with this. Keep in mind, they haven't really had to fight a whole lot yet, so exactly. probably doing good in both vests and helmets as well. Oh, Grandy, he's been popping off with this, uh... With this SKS, this game, I know it hasn't been converted into that many kills. Only, quote-unquote, four. But uh, but he's done way more damage than those four kills show. Okay, but look at this right now. You have Apex, you have Enterprise fighting on the southern side. Meanwhile, on the northwestern side, 
you have Havoc, you have Pula fighting against each other. Vanir, they're just waiting. All of these fights are happening. It's the top fight right now. Vanir doesn't even need to do anything. They're basically getting this win yeah. served on a on a silver everyone, plate right now. Everyone are fighting each other and Vanir are just leaning back and waiting for uh, everyone else to kill each other. Yeah. And they don't need to even do anything. Look, they're just the, chilling. The, the like... issue is, should the next circle shift, let's say, let's say Enterprise kills Apex now without taking any casualties. If Veneer doesn't do anything to contest now and the next circle shifts away, they are going to have a hard time leaving. It could, Not really. If it goes straight west here and they have to leave, that could be difficult, especially if both sides fights end before they try to go. Well, then they have they have the roadside. They can go yeah, on well, a little bit south of them true, with true, smoke. True. Well, we'll they see. Can make cover. We'll see. One good nade here could be a, a quad kill. Let's see. Maybe a good flashbang from four blind four people as well. Havoc peeking on over. One guy seen. No damage connected. though. mutant in hand from Travel Light. Not off. We see that one in the late game. But Flaming and Keanu starting to charm in now from Yord? a distance. Yord as well getting that flush. Yep. Not that kills Sorry? really matter for them, but it's uh, it's it's it, it's still pretty pretty damn important for them to get something going here. Still good getting those shots in makes that they're not getting cold on their aim because they've been sitting their whole game. Mm -hmm. They're still sitting tight on the edge in tens. Falls down. Nate does confirm the kill and takes C. So down to just two. From Enterprise. Having some real good games today, but in the end, Apex will fall. Saw the performance from them in this match, but they will fall out in fifth place. Four teams left in our circle, just exactly excluding Veneer. They will have to move. Benz now under fire. Does he get killed up of this? No. Able to stay alive. Havoc, it's pretty much on you now to prevent this victory from Veneer. Three versus four versus two can veneer go back to back and qualify that would be absolutely insane veneer should be pretty fresh on utilities we've been mentioning this so many times but against two teams that desperately have been fighting their way into the circle look at enterprise 13 kills but only two players up havoc on the other hand just had a fight three man up three kills but they are getting pounded by Enterprise right now from the other <laughs> side of the road. And Veneer, they're getting into vehicles. They're going to put themselves into a better position now. Now is the time when the two other teams are fighting. No one's focusing on you, and they know that. How much did Veneer pay Enterprise to not focus them right now? <laughs> Let's see here. Kraken goes down to Jenny. This, is, this was their player inside the circle. This was the guy who had to play it safe. They're doing so much damage to one oh another. My. Finally, they will fall now. Four versus two. You need the back-to-back. -back. It looked impossible earlier, but we've seen these things happen before. And Kraken is on his first knock. There might be a rest possible, but not if Vanier has something to say about it. They have iron sight uh, minis. Red dots. Yeah, they haven't. <laughs> they have been so quiet on this side. Oh, Tread Light. Ghost Gotta Sword doesn't careful. connect it. Red Dot Mini too strong. The rest does come back up, so they're back to three. <gasps> the oh, nade! never mind. Yellow! Yellow, stops that. Yellow gets that nade, gets the knock out, die, straight after it. that revive. And now it's just Tread Light up there by himself. He's healing up. He's gonna need to move out, but what is he gonna do against four veneer players just focusing on him? And he <laughs> took SLR? They actually freaking did it. Back to back, Ross. You called it. We need a back yes. to back. And if there's a team to do it, that's gonna be Veneer. They will Look qualify in that. first place. And there you have it, Veneer. Only a five kill win, but you know that? That doesn't matter. Kills don't matter if you can get the wins. And Veneer did just that. Three wins in total for Veneer. We got our third back to back three days in a row. Veneer, the ones to pull it off. What a way, Frost, to make it through to the finals. Veneer in the open qualifiers, wow. they had three wins as well, making it through to this one, to the playoffs. And now, again, getting himself three wins. And that's going to solidify them, putting himself on a spot for PCS5. I got to say, congrats to Veneer. What a game. What a game. That's that's huge. And for Shift W, they were fighting, fighting, yeah. fighting, fighting, and fighting. But in the end, it's all going to be for nothing because... 
Well, I mean, Manir, they just flew straight past them and pushed them out. Wow, that, that, yeah, that is just amazing to see, actually. Um, Vanir getting that free win, though. Oh, I, I did not expect me. it coming into today that they would be the no. team taking home the first place here. They were in 10th with one win coming into the second to last game. Then they jump into fifth after that win last game, and now they leapfrog into first. That is... <sighs> And also, I mean, also, remember the win they had with yellow nading two teammates and no one punishing yeah. them on it? Oh my lord, what a way to go. And also it's Danish team, so I gotta be a little more proud of them, of course. But <laughs> but still, but still, that is absolutely wild. That, that that's that that's this format for you. I mean, come into the final day, teams that you you know they're capable, but teams you don't expect to see it from. This format allows for teams that are light years behind everyone else to crawl straight back into it. Uh, and it's a big quotation mark saying all it ma or like all you need to do. But really, what you need to do is get those wins in Veneer. Well, they proved that they could do it. I mean, it's so hard as well, getting those back-to-back -back wins. Yeah. In the last two games, you know that you need to win the last two games to qualify for PCS5. They, you can't put more pressure on someone. I mean, to be honest, when you had the last five circles literally go across the street uh, in a situation where there was only about 200 meters left in total north of that street. So sure, circle goes their favor, but believe me, I mean, they would have done absolutely everything possible to get the win regardless of where circles went. And they played it great. They, they I mean, they never had to move early. So why bother? Like, yeah. why would they care to do so if that would just limit their opportunities of getting the win? They played it super smart. They played it slow. They knew that the teams around them would have to fight first. Yellow even ran over Yort just to, for cinematic effect. They weren't getting enough kills, so they thought maybe if we just run each other over, that's going to be fun. And 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 they qualify. So, uh, I mean, that's that's it's just it's huge. You, you also got to look at where they were playing from. Like, they're playing from a smaller compound mm. that is like a priority two, priority three kind of compound where no one kind of wants to go to unless you're forced to if you can't find a better compound and because of that they know that well this is a pretty safe place there's not gonna be too many teams that will try to try push us here yeah. and they just play it on it very slowly they save all the vehicles even though despite they lost two, ve uh, two wheels on one of the Broncos this one right here yeah. they still managed to use that because they saved it they knew we might need them later on to get somewhere, to get exactly. some cover. And mm. it's such important decisions like that that got them this win. Mm. Despite only having five kills, it doesn't matter. They had seven kills in the last game. It doesn't matter because they got three wins exactly. and no other team in this playoffs got that. And while to think about, honestly, when we have so many, or so I would say so few teams getting mm. top placements so many times, can't help but looking at that sixth place team right there. The amount mm. of chances they had to win, absolutely insane. But here is your top three, guys. Vanir, Heroic, and Last Stands will be the three teams making it through to the PCS5 Europe Grand Finals. And I believe we have the interview ready with Keanu from Vanir. So let's wait no further and get him in there because we want to hear what this madman has to say. Keanu, congratulations on an absolutely insane route to the finals how does it feel thank you so much it feels like it's insane actually we're so ecstatic we're shouting all <laughs> over the place when we finish the game i mean yeah it was so That's, great uh, that, I, I i have to ask you i mean going going back to uh, your first win when when you push up on i know it's 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 in the past now and you want to talk about today but when you run up that hill yellow gets the accidental double knock on you guys is that just reset keep on moving or was there like oh no type feeling yeah, in that moment completely silent in our discord call at that point <laughs> it was so silent like we didn't know what to say and then you all just start shouting smoke us and we just call to you and then like uh, yeah it worked out at least so <laughs> Such it an sure important did win. i mean impressive impressive performance i want to hear frost frost do you have any any questions you want to ask yeah co coming in of course to the last game there was so much pressure on you guys you knew that you had to win that but what about the second to last game when you came into that one you knew that we you guys need to win two games to qualify what was the feeling in the team what, what was going through you guys mind were you just like well, we'll just take it as it goes, or how was it? 
I mean, we when we saw Shift W won the, the first Miramar game, we knew like, well, it's two wins or nothing, and I, and we called that from the beginning of the day, two wins, and we are through, and that's all we needed to do. We know how to do it, and we just went and did it. Was so, there? Oh, sorry, continue for us. Yeah, I uh, just wanted to ask, like, um, you guys came from the open uh, qualifiers. You guys got three wins there and got through it to the playoffs here as well. You got three wins there. What is the biggest difference from the open lobby to this one, the playoffs lobby? Well, in this one, there's always so many more people alive. You don't have the same space to play around with. Uh, and as a team that likes to play around with the with the edge sometimes when we don't really have anything to go to, and it's much more easy to play the open rounds. Like we didn't have that big of problems going into the opens, but here it's a lot harder because there's just it's just more packed everywhere. I, I, I gotta ask you, Keanu, now, of course, it's still a little day, so a few days away, I mean, actually a couple days away, but now you made it to the finals, and uh, now you know what it takes to win the qualifiers. Is there, like, what, what's the process gonna be from you from now on until we see you in the grand finals? We just gotta keep working as hard as we did before these qualifiers. Like, we have been scrimming so much, and we have been doing everything we can to prepare ourselves for PCS5, and we just gotta continue doing, practicing the way we did before. And is there anything in particular that you take with you? Because we've seen you guys, I mean, formerly as bystanders, play against the top of the uh, kind of top of the tournament before, where sometimes you've gone out and done phenomenally, and sometimes also it's it's kind of gone against you. Is there anything that you're going to be working on particularly to to, to kind of eliminate the, uh, the 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 less good performance and 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 do more of the like top performance like we've seen you do? I mean, we have worked on a lot of things, but our game plan. As general, in general, I think it's pretty good for MC right now. Uh, but we need to be better at uh, fighting our way in when we don't have an obvious path into the winning position. That's what we are working on always. Sounds good. Congratulations so much again for, uh, honestly, I mean, I know I'm Danish and I'm supposed to be rooting for you all the time, but <laughs> I did not think you guys were going to pull off two wins in a row. So massive <laughs> congratulations. Any final shout outs you want to do to fans and viewers? Shout out to our great organization who has helped us so much since we joined them. They have been really good at backing us up and helping us stand up when we were falling behind. Well, congratulations again, Keanu. Joy, enjoy the victory, at least for now, with your friends. And then we're looking forward to see you again in the PCS5 finals. Thank you. Goodbye. Well, that was Keanu for us, a, uh, a man probably uh, not I don't want to say as surprised as me because he looked pretty calm, but in joy and understandably so of qualifying to the finals. I can't believe he was still that calm. Man. They're probably <laughs> still celebrating back now. He's going back to the Discord and just going to be screaming. I mean, you could just see the joy in his face there the whole time, just a big smile and how much he actually means to him. And as you said, they've working, been working so hard. They've been gone through the open qualifiers to get into the playoffs here to just uh, dominate here mm. as well in the last two games, of course, get himself that first place overall here. And that's going to mean that they can put themselves into PCS5, which is one of the key points for them mm. if they want to get into PGC as well. Exactly. I'm sure he's already kind of opening the champagne bottles under the table, just <laughs> waiting for this interview to be over so they could go celebrate. That's it for us now, guys. The PCS5 Europe West qualifiers are over. MEA was played last week, and the Europe East qualifiers will be played next week. And so, of course, make sure to tune in for that as well. Massive congratulations. Congratulations to Last Dance Heroic and Vanir for making it through to the finals. On behalf of me, behalf of Patrick, behalf of all of PUBG, thank you so much for tuning in. We will see you in the finals. Get ready for PUBG Continental Series 5. After fighting through open qualifiers, 15 of the toughest challengers from the Middle East and Africa, Europe West and Europe East meet nine invited squads in high-octane regional playoffs. There, rosters will battle it out for a chance to compete in the PCS5 Europe Grand Finals, where they can take their shot at the $250,000 prize pool. And that's not all. PCS5 is the last chance to earn those all-important PGC points, and the Grand Finals winner will be invited to the PUBG Global Championship directly.
The Grand Finals action takes place every weekend from September 18th to October 3rd. Watch the stream and support your favorite team at PUBG Continental Series 5. We'll see you on the battlegrounds.